uh, Jumma, appreciate it. But uh, you on my backup page. Uh, if you want to uh, join, you know, be more uh, interactive with the rest of the chat, go to Rem TV, R E M T V. That's my bigger channel. But I appreciate the support. So genius. What's up? Y'all going to love this show today. And man's it already got y'all two extra hours. Was watching Haas go at B-Stinger. Yeah, I, I seen that. That shit corny. Like, why you keep picking on beast things, bro? Let it go. You get no cool points for that shit. Like, what do you get out? Of, what, what do you get out of? Uh, Bullying somebody that you know you can, you know, bully. And you know he got, you know, mental issues. He ain't all the way there, so why are you picking on him? Hey, what's the point of it? Nick will be. What's up, sissy boo? God damn it, I forgot to add Instagram again. And if you haven't subscribed to the backup channel, definitely go over there and subscribe. I only need, uh, I think, 105 to monetize it. I think we're like 105 subscribers away. Man's it. And I'm redropping all them general uh, genie uh, videos. Let me see. You've been dropping YP. No, nah, them joints is all like a year or two old. I've been telling y'all. And it's a whole channel. I got a whole channel of that shit. The video's old. I'm about to start doing more though. So I'm gonna drop uh redrop like four of them a day until I can uh make some new ones. Appreciate it. I've been trying to told y'all I got a bunch of skits on my channel. That's probably why y'all ain't get it when I say uh, I do a better impression of YP uh, than Knee Slap, but Knee Slap uh, production is better. And he do a better uh, setting. 
That's the whole reason why I say, you know, if me and him do some shit, we won't fuck shit up. Yeah, the only reason why I stopped doing them is because nobody was really watching them at the time. And uh, I didn't know that people couldn't find uh, the General Genie channel when you type it in. I ain't even see the uh, ones of me and Jaded going back and forth. Him doing Dr. NK. I don't know if y'all ever saw that uh, clip where uh, where he's like, you can get these black nuts and rub them on your mouth. That was Jaded doing Dr. NK. Marcus says, peace and welcome. We got we got a hell of a show today. Shit. Matter of fact, let me I'll play one now. While we wait. Uh, which one should I play? Which one should I play? Mm. Which one? I'll start with the first one. I'm going to start doing the uh, China Korea joint. This was doing the uh, the white man stage. Now, now I'm about to start doing the China Korea stage. But this is one of them. I think this is like the first one. Peace, peace, family. It's your boy, General Jenny Little Spoon here. And this video right here is about how I was drugged by my cat, Joss. See, the only reason why my cat, Josh, is not in jail right now, because that's a federal offense, you know, it's the general. You heard? Is the general, so that's a federal offense. My cat, Josh, drugged me with ecstasy. See, I don't do drugs. You know, I don't do drugs. Hold on a second. I definitely was. I, I don't do drugs. You know, so my cat Josh drugged me. I'm about to be in the Star Wars. It's the general, you heard? I'm about to be in the Star Wars and shit. And the only reason why my cat is not in jail right now because of me. Because of me. I just had that so, done smoking. I just wanted I to say to that. More realistic. You know, I just wanted to let everybody know. I just wanted to say that. Real quick, you know how it is, you know how niggas be hating on a nigga, you know, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, niggas be hating on a nigga, the general and shit, you know. So I just had to, uh, come and say that shit, you know, uh, you know, I got the game and shit coming. 
and everything. So, I just want to say that to the family and shit. You know, let everybody know. You know, if it wasn't for me, my cat Josh would be in jail right now for drugging me. You know, my bodyguard abandoned me. Funny part is, I didn't even know he had a cat. So, I just wanted to let everybody know. You know? Peace, peace, family. I do cocaine. Recordings just got better. I'm going to uh, put the link in the chat. Peace. I'm going to put the link in the chat for other uh, people who didn't get the channel. But yeah, I got a whole channel of this shit. If you go through my dip, my regular channel. Oh, the tranny joint. I forgot about this. One more. Yeah, tell Pablo to bring another eight ball. This some good shit. Ooh. What? Hey, I have nothing to do with that. I have absolutely nothing to do with that. I told you my evil gay twin brother, young Pharaoh, has been zesty his whole entire life. Now you find out that he messing with Transformers. I ain't got nothing to do with that. And, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, this is my, uh, cat's cocaine. I was just sniffing it to see what it smells like. I don't do drugs. Peace, family. I do cocaine. I do cocaine. <laughs> Alright, let's get started with the show. Uh, today... Is a double hitter. A double hitter. Uh, we got some uh, Umar threatening the YouTubers that uh, been making videos on them. Also, Tripsies went back into her archives and found a video that she did busting him out on them degrees. Hold up. And even funnier, my bad, I was looking for something, looking for this. And even funnier, I came across the video of Shaka Almost. I'm, however you say it, we call him Shaka Almost. Ether and uh, Seti and Pharaoh. I think it's funny because they, uh, Shaka and Pharaoh zesty to the motherfucker. So it's zest versus zest. <laughs> zest versus zest. You know what's crazy though? Because we was talking about the degree shit yesterday. And I asked Trip C's. I was like, did anybody like find anything on that shit? And she went through our archives last night and randomly clicked on the video. Yeah, it basically a zest doll. Randomly clicked the video. Didn't even remember that she did the shit. See, I don't think nobody knows is uh, if you don't know, uh, Kev Gills, the boy that uh Hassan threatened his kids. He threatened to uh, do something strange to. She's the reason behind his blow up. She's the one that was giving him all his information. She started the fraud department. She don't like to talk about it because it's, just, I get, it's a sensitive topic for her, but she's the reason behind uh, his blow up. He stiffened it to see how it smell, yeah. So let's get into this uh, Umar shit. Double D, what's up? Try to sabotage and destroy my work. And I'm not talking.
Peace and Black Power family. This is Dr. Umar Johnson, the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Happy Thursday to everyone. I'm calling out to you because I need your help. I need your help. Uh, there are four individuals who need to be shut down. They have consistently tried to sabotage really and destroy that, my work. And I'm not talking about videos. I am not talking about YouTube videos. You can't really miss nothing but the uh, couple genie little spoon videos. These four individuals have taken it upon themselves to contact every single place that I speak at and try to get the event canceled. Not only do they contact every single place. Hey, man, is it? Why I got the feeling he's talking about you? Why I got the feeling you one of the people that he's talking about? place I speak at in an attempt to get the event canceled, they do so by spreading fallacious lies about who I am and what I do. They're telling people that I smoke crack, that I went to jail for selling crack, that I went to jail Probably for is. smoking tr crack, that I'm not allowed to be around children, uh, that I don't have degrees, that I hate homosexuals. I just put the link in the chat for the uh, General Genie channel. Definitely go over there and subscribe. I hate police. These are some of the things that they're saying. Now, some of you might ask yourself, what does it matter what they say if the hosting organization or institution can do their own criminal hey, man, background? I know you wasn't calling around. What, <laughs> what does it matter what they say if the hosting organization or institution can do their own child abuse clearance on you. What does it matter what they say when the hosting organization can require their own FBI clearance on you? So the fact that they're making up these very, very slanderous lies about you selling crack and going to jail for doing crack, why can't the hosting organization do their own criminal background check on you. Pay a couple dollars, they can get a report on Dr. Umar Johnson themselves. Well, that's a good question. That's a very good question. But unfortunately, as you know, many of our people are extremely scared of white people. They are extremely scared of white people and they are what, extremely what? scared of any type of negative. Yeah, but you said the same thing uh, as you're saying about your record, about your degree. You told us to pick up the phone or uh, make a phone call or type it up. We can't find the shit until now. If press that they get. So when you get a email from someone misrepresenting themselves as a scholar, when you get an email from someone misrepresenting themselves as a pastor, when you get an email from someone misrepresenting themselves as a concerned member of the community, a lot of black people. Right, I ain't scared of white. I ain't scared of white folks. I'm scared of what they capable of. People are so in terror. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even say that. Of bad publicity, so in terror of white backlash, so in terror of any type of negative criticism that they can get from the media, they will automatically pull back from you. So what these four people do is they send emails. Actually, come to think about it, I'm always scared of two things something happening to my family and spiders that's it i don't give a fuck how big or small i hate spiders emails out all across the country uh to every organization if you look at my speaking list they have contacted every single person and agency that has invited me to speak all of the black parent training sites have been located, have been contacted. All of the black parent training sites have been contacted and they have tried to intimidate. They say the creator don't make mistakes. She, what the fuck is a spider? They and bully them into canceling the black parent training uh, trainings that we have scheduled across the country. This is what these four Negroes are doing and they're doing it with a letter because they send me the letters The letters say that I smoke crack. There's videos of me smoking crack. I've been to jail for selling crack I do. No, I ain't scared of spider-man. I actually uh, like I said 
one of my favorite movies is Arachnophobia and Eight-Legged Freaks. Swear to God. I do not have a criminal record. I do not have a criminal record. I have never done time in a prison or a jail. I just get the heebie-jeebies after watching it. I am a certified school psychologist for crying out loud. I work in schools for crying out loud. I am a child and family therapist. I work with families and children. How in the hell can you have a criminal record working with families and children? It is. I know spiders ain't bad, but I'm scared of uh, spiders because something happened to me in my childhood. My uncle had a tarantula and he was watching me. I took a nap and he thought it would be funny to wake me up with the tarantula on my chest. Absolutely ridiculous. But these four individuals have went too far. Some of you are good at research. I need their home address and I need their job address and I'm going to give you their names. One of them is William Clay. He is based in the Washington, D.C., Maryland area. Yeah, His awesome. name is William Clay. If you go on YouTube and type in William Clay, you're going to get videos on school to prison pipeline. You're going to get videos on post-traumatic school disorder, which is a concept that Dr. Umar Johnson. It wasn't a friend. It was my uncle. And uh, uh, the spider head, it didn't have no venom. And I killed it with, with the yellow pages, so. Invented. It is a concept that Dr. Umar Johnson invented. He stole my idea and wrote a book. He stole my idea and wrote a book. And he does seminars on the exact same topics that I do. Does he have a doctor? Yo, that's not cool, yo. That's real dangerous. You doxing people and you know what you know your uh, followers are capable of. You know how far they would go. That's, that's, that's not cool, bro. I don't know. Um, is he a certified school psychologist? No, he is not. No, he is not. No, he is not. William Clay on YouTube. He's another one of those wannabe Umar people. They want to be me. They want to do me. This Negro... Especially if these people got families. Like, that, that, that ain't cool. I can give you my CLL. CCL too. Especially if these people got families, this, that, that's not, that's dangerous, bro. You playing with fire when you do shit like that. That's why I keep warning motherfuckers, like, from the, from the rip, I'm letting you know. You can do whatever you want to me. You put my family in harm's way. I'm not retaliating with videos. Contacted the church in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I was supposed to speak on February the 23rd. He contacted the AME church in Tulsa. The pastor didn't pay him any mind, so he went to the bishop. He told the bishop that I sell uh, drugs. I went to jail for doing drugs. There's videos of me smoking crack. This is what William Clay did. I need this motherfucker's address. I need this motherfucker's address. I'm going to go see him this weekend. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Find Willie Clay's address. Find out where he worked. I'm going to see him when I get to D.C. this weekend. I'm not playing no fucking games no more. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. No it only stings with it's true. You willing to go that far? That far? Hmm. Hmm. It only, like I said, it only stings that bad if it, yeah. <laughs> Umar talk about he about to slide. If you're willing to do that much, there got to be something to it. No more games. Find William Clay's address. And when you go to his website, I don't know the website, but he has a website. I tried to find the website. And I'm pretty sure the uh, bishop, you know, you, you can't change his opinion about somebody unless he has some type of proof of what, you know, what he's saying. Because if people, come, you know, say somebody come to me about tripsies or, you know, I'm not just going to jump out the fucking window unless they, you know, you got to show me some type of proof. And even if you got 
you know, some type of proof. I still, you know, you know, I just wouldn't jump out the fucking window. King Kong consciousness is about to tap. <laughs> right. I tried to find the website. I tried to find the website, but I can't find it. If you go to his website, he has my videos on his website. He's using my material to advertise his website, but he's trying to sabotage all of my speaking engagements. William Clay, a wannabe Dr. Umar Johnson. William Clay, a wannabe Dr. Umar Johnson. Enough is enough. Find his address, please, and get that shit to me. He's number one. Number two is homosexual Gerald Palmer, based in Kansas City. He's a reverend. He's not a real reverend. He doesn't have a church. He doesn't have a congregation. He's another one. You can find him on YouTube, Gerald Palmer. He calls himself Reverend Gerald. He calls himself. Shit, I would think he would want to go at the Monty the most. He right around the corner from you in Philly. And he sent you a chocolate. I mean, uh, yeah, what was it? Chocolate? A white chocolate dick? Shit. He'd have been the first nigga on my list. You got me fucked up. Self Reverend Gerald, but he's not a reverend. He's another wannabe person who ain't got shit going for himself except trying to take me down. Find that pop that coward's address. Work or home. Find it. I'm pulling up on him. Mukasa Africa. He's been hiding out lately, but he started the whole shit. He a little bitch ass nigga from Philly. Yeah, everybody that he name it sound like they not that type of person. It don't sound like, you know, they, they're they a violent person or, you know, got a street pass. We used to work at the same charter school, Kepera Charter School, okay? Find that bitch-ass nigga because he started this. He started the whole thing five years ago. I think he's in the D.C. area. Mukasa, Africa, I haven't forgotten about you, okay? I'm going to see your bitch-ass, okay? And another one is Andrea Stewart. She's the one on YouTube, anti-Afro Spengali. Anti-Afro Spengali. She's in California. Yeah, I want to pull up on her when I go out to Cali next month for the parent training. Those are the four people I need. William Clay of the D.C. Yeah, area. Her. Mukasa Africa, who was in Philly, but I... Monty did a lot of shit that, you know, would have made him first on my list if that was me. He called it, you know, he kept calling his personal number, leaving messages. He went up to the school, trolling him. And then he sent him a dick. Oh, hell no. He right around the fucking corner. And what I heard from uh, Tariq Nasheed in one of his videos, he said niggas didn't already ran him out of Philly. I think he's in the D.C. area, okay? Uh, all black. Uh, So-called Reverend Gerald Palmer. He's in the Kansas City area. Andrea Stewart, who is in the California area. And I want to give you one more. I want to give you one more. Uh, Lenore Honor. I'm tired of this bitch nigga, too. This is the, the weak-ass dude who got nothing but YouTube videos about me on YouTube. L-E-N-O-R-H-O-N-O-R. I had enough of him, too. I don't know where he lived. I noticed that about all these so-called black power niggas. Oh, we need to bang on the white man. Bang on the white man. But when you really look at it, they only want to get violent with other black men. I don't know. I don't know what city he in. Find out where these five people are. Please find out where these five people are. This shit is going to end right now. There is one thing to make videos. Monty Woodgrain, I'm gonna fuck him up too. So if you can get Monty's address, it's time for me to see Monty too. I've been as patient as I can be. Yeah, I wouldn't go to his address. Oh well, if that's if he uh, got his own crib, which I think he does. But I think Monty, both his uh, parents are police officers. Both of them. And I'm tired of this shit. And let me also say this: for those of y'all who claim to be supporters. If you send me bullshit from these motherfuckers, I'm going to block you. You are not a supporter getting your fucking rocks and kicks off watching this bullshit that these people put out. It's not funny to me. 
You send me another video claiming you a supporter, I'm going to block your ass. Because why are you watching that bullshit if you claim to be about black children? Monty Woodgrain, I'm in your ass. Lenore Honor, I'm in your ass. William Clay, I'm in your ass. Gerald Palmer, I'm in your ass. Anti Spengali, I'm in your ass. In Mukasa, Africa, I'm in your ass. Fuck court. Fuck the court. I want Mukasa, Africa's address. I'm going to find that little bitch. Monty Woodgrain, Lenore Honor, Gerald Palmer, William Clay. Now, out of all of them, William Clay no, and man. Gerald Palmer are the main ones trying. Did any of this? How long is this video? Four years ago, I ain't never hear uh, Umar pull up on nobody. And Monty around the goddamn corner. He don't hide. Monty definitely don't hide. I seen a couple videos where he told niggas that uh, they can pull up and uh, rumble. A couple of videos. So I know that nigga ain't hiding. Prince of Pain. He said, Prince of Pineapple Pizza. Trying to get the event shut down. William Clay and Gerald Palmer are the main ones trying to get my event shut down. Why would you sabotage a training for black parents? Why would you sabotage a training for black parents? Why would you sabotage a training for black parents? I'm out here trying to help our people and our children. It's not my fault you's a nobody. That's starting to get annoying, nigga. You don't got to say shit three or four times to get the point across. It's not my fault you's a loser. It's not my fault you tried to be a speaker and failed. It's not my fault you never got your doctorate. It's not my fault you don't have my stature. It's not my fault you don't have my platform. It's not my fault that the only way you can get attention is by slandering somebody. It's not my fault people are not interested in flying you around the world to speak. It's not my fault you are not me. But I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of the bullshit. William Clay, Gerald Palmer, Mukasa Africa, Lenore Honor, Monty Woodgrain, Andrea Stewart. I need a home. And what him and Farrell don't understand is once you know it, once you start making threats, especially as many as they did, and none of these motherfuckers, you know, you don't do none of it. How, you, you think people are gonna actually believe you? Home addresses, I need job addresses. Find these six people for me, please. I'm out. Uh, I'm pretty sure his followers found them niggas. I'm pretty sure they found them niggas. Where that Trip C's video at? Here it is. So if he's going around telling people that he's a clinical psychologist. She really found all his info. <laughs> People forget. Uh, Somebody had proved it. No, you the, didn't. Uh, techie for her profession. He said, then <laughs> hop on the flight and come see me. Okay, so we received some information regarding the notorious degrees of Umar Johnson. Now, one could ask, why is it an issue? Yeah, I already read that. Okay, the info we received are a few copies of a court case in which Dr. Umar Johnson was involved to act as an expert witness to examine a child who was diagnosed to get special education. The disturbing part of this evidence is that the case took place between November 2009, January 2010, but the PCOM had passed the dissertation degree to someone with the name Umar R. Abdullah Johnson in 2012, who started in 2010. Now, you saw on that website, it said it took five to seven years to be a clinical psychologist, osteopathic clinical psychologist, or whatever you want to call it. 
Right. This means that if Umar Johnson did get the degree in 2012, then he was acting out. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really like guns like that. I'd rather fight you. Side of his jurisdiction. I only got him just in case, you know. Since he had no, no degree nor license to act as an expert witness in 2009. And on top of it, Millersville University does not have the authority to assign any doctorate degrees in psychology. Take a look for yourself and ask yourself if you still think that this person is indeed entitled to earn your tri trust even when he lied to anyone, including the authorities to whom he has to answer to. Sounds like federal case waiting to get indicted. We're only showing you the evidence so you can judge for yourself. Think while it's still legal. So it says in 2009, it has it. You know, every time they give me a new doctor to go to, like if I have to go to a specialist, I'll Google their name. And it comes. That's why I be trying to tell niggas, like, don't set tripsies off. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If she really wanted to, she'll find a whole bunch of shit. She's a techie. comes up with freaking reviews and shit. There is not one review for Umar. Not one for Cuddly. But it's got his Twitter page and YouTube D-Red. Peace. Right. I understand that. Refresh D Red, that might do it. That's because it say the stream okay. Why, it said you know, good, my, my, yeah. It still say good. A lot of niggas are uh, scared to fight. So, if he's going around telling people that he's a clinical psychologist and a principal, where was he a principal at? Whose school would he was he a principal at? He got some kind of degree, some kind of janky degree somewhere, and it ain't for what he say it is, that, that allows him to call himself doctor. I didn't know you was in Chicago, man. Okay, they say the only proof they can find of him yeah, working in the school here. system is here. He was a psychologist for this elementary school. At the bottom, it says 2003, 2004. The site probably hasn't changed since. And if you look back through archives, it looks like it hasn't. Okay, so let's take this and go to Internet. And where is the Wayback Machine? Okay. So we'll paste and we'll search. Yeah, see, Blissful, but they say the charter school, it was a charter school, but the charter school went under, and it was something about the paperwork. Hint, hint. Yeah, y'all crazy out there. Y'all be beefing. Them niggas be beefing right across the street from each other. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We'll go back to 2012. So here. This is the okay. So close this. So the William H. Harrison Elementary School. It On top of that, too, motherfuckers that kill niggas just because they're in the opposite gang. I never understood that. Exactly, BC. Okay, so the William. Henry Harrison School is a historic school building located in the Yorktown neighborhood of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was designed by architect Erwin T. Catherine and built in 2829. It's three-story brick building. They don't have a website anymore. I believe it. And see, this is this school. It says St. Malachi Catholic School. 
So apparently this school building just changes hands. But as you can see, this place is debunked. But if you go to the Wayback Machine, it does have his name on here as a psychologist. But I thought he was supposed to be the principal of this school. And this is from 2003, 2004. Trip C's ain't no joke. She found a school and everything. Yeah, that's what I heard. Word on the street. That was his name. I'm trying to tell y'all, Trip C's ain't nothing to play with. She chose to play the background. She chose to play the background. And I be trying to tell niggas. Especially in the chat when they be coming at her. <laughs> she the type that'll dig up your whole fucking life. If she really wanted to. That's the school I said he was from. Oh, shit, that is? Okay. You know why he was fired? Anybody ever find that out? Okay, so this site never changed. The first time that they clipped it on the Wayback Machine was 2007. And this is the same page, mind you. Look, to the October 2nd, 2007. So y'all don't think I'm being janky. Then you flick over. Flick October 5th, 2007. Same page. Flick again. October, let's see. 2011. You flick, same damn page. 2013. Same page. Because he kept recommending that the parents sue. Oh, okay. I mean, how in my opinion, I'm pretty sure he was uh making money off of the uh mixed diagnosing kids at first until he figured out that he can make more money exposing it. I'm pretty sure he was participating at first. How much more proof do people need? You got the video for that? Let's see if you pull it up here. This is this is a school in Chicago. Shit, when I first met Trip C's, her and Tahaka Bay had a problem because Tahaka had a polite trial. And I think he was the only one with it. And he was trying to, like, spoon feed people and sell it. I don't know how the fuck she did it. Not without Leon on it. That's cool. I don't know how the fuck she did it. But she got it and uh put it out for everybody. He said he doesn't make money. The school does. Wink, wink. Bullshit. I just saw a, a video Don't of Mike you know? Green making fun of Lenny, too. Does uh, the dude, uh, Leon, got any dirt on him? Is there any scandals around the dude Leon name? Because I just saw a video of Monty going at him, too. So there is no record of him working for a public school in Pennsylvania from 09 to 13. Search any combination of Umar Abdullah and Johnson, and they write. Oh, wow. OpenPAGov.org. Man, she even found out that he was lying about his... <laughs> oh, shit. 
Also, why would the government, the public school system, hire this man as a principal, given his controversial beliefs that he publicizes on the internet? Psychologist, I can understand he seems to have a real degree, and maybe there's yeah. a shortage of labor there. Yeah, definitely. Load them up, send them. <laughs> you talking about you a white man? It's always somebody that ain't got no kind of picture that knows somebody that knows somebody that know them, whoever it be, Umar, Tommy, Polite, whoever, and they've always done good. Man, stop. He said, I have no intentions in writing this, but if your cousin knows him, do you have a In my opinion, I think Monty just go at any, you know, black leader, period. Even if they don't got no scandals. I think he just got something against all of them. Access to ask him questions. Why? If so, you should ask him these. Why is he using a crowdfunding platform to raise money for such a large project? Because don't go fund me, take like half. Since he did use a crowdfunding platform, why did he not use Kickstarter, which is much larger? Was it because GoFundMe lets you keep the, the funds even if your project is unsuccessful? Where can we find links to his curriculum? Where is his business model? What is his five-year outlook for the school? How will the school remain profitable open after he reaches his $4 million goal to open the school? And remember, that's only for buying the property and bringing the property up to date. Where is the money from the first time he tried this? Where are his other esteemed educators spearheading this project with him? Ain't these some of the same questions I asked earlier? If none, why has he not reached out to anybody to form a team of educated and motivated individuals to really gain momentum? Good question. How is he going to educate our youth when he clearly doesn't understand how to utilize his own education? How, he, how can he teach our kids when he has no other esteemed scholars on board with his ideas? Didn't apply for a research grant for funding. Yeah. Hasn't parlayed his ideas into a media campaign to generate, generate buzz. Has little to no proven track record of success in these ventures. Won't start small and work his way up toward his lofty goal. And his whole business model is based upon begging for donations rather than generating the income in, income a more industrious way. Does he post on the collie? <laughs> yeah. God damn. It <laughs> is plain and simple. He's a fraud. <laughs> <clears throat> Dr. Umar Johnson was supposedly hired as a pr principal for a charter school in Philly. That's why I don't understand why Trip C stopped at Polite. I wish I was here in the beginning. Because she was the main one. Like, she was getting fucking scoops on a uh, Polite case that nobody knew about. She's the only person I ever see hit a thousand... Uh, subscribers in a couple days around August 2014 he never gave the name of the school but shared pictures of his office on Facebook however on a radio show Mandy have you ever heard any of this shit before I never heard any of this But then again, I really went you know, on his Facebook page. He revealed two months later that he had resigned from the position and didn't give any details. So he worked there for about two months. For those who are serious about donating to this guy, this should be cause for concern. He can't. She probably on the road right now. Stick with a principal job at a small ass charter school for more than two months. How in the hell is he supposed to run a residential school, which not only includes a school, but residential dorms? Right. Right, uh, Carolina kid. He resigned. <laughs> so Umar teaches the same place Tommy works at. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you already know the answer to that when you posed it. He'd be a damn fool to kickstart yeah, something of that, that magnitude that must reach 100% before funds are exchanged. But you get my uh, point, though, right? She be finding shit that nobody else got. This is a shame. This is sad. And you know what? I was talking to my homeboy. Yeah, Blissful. That's what I was thinking, too. Now, my homeboy don't get on the internet too much, so everything he done heard about Cuddly, he done heard over here at my house. So, last night, we was talking, and <clears throat> I was like, yeah, you know, Umar, da 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 woo woo $300,000. He was like, hold on, wait, that kind of money? I was like, yes, that kind of money. And he was like, damn, I said, I told you, I could throw on a dashiki and be... Now you see why I don't be arguing with her most of the time. Cause she, I'm telling you, she find out shit that nobody can find out. Richard and a mofo. <clears throat> That's why I don't get why she stopped that for life. Let's see what else they say. Okay, I decided to check out a speech he held in Detroit. <laughs> I decided to check out a speech he held in Detroit. I clearly went I quickly went from thinking he was simply idealistic about this school of his and was just in over his head to confirming he is in fact a con artist. In the Detroit speech, he spoke at length about people in the audience sending him resumes to teach and work at the school. Ah, I thought he's a hustler. If he cared about his people, he wouldn't excite their hopes in such a way. <clears throat> yep. And they might have hired him on contingency of him passing the background check. He went from talking about the school and the children to playing on the economic vulnerabilities of those in the audience, whom many are either unemployed, underemployed, or locked in an unfulfilling career. That's what call, con artists call the hook. The purchase of the school isn't any more, anywhere close to being realized, not to mention operating costs involved, and yet he's asking for resumes. Game. Damn. This is why Common is right. When you start seeing morality, trust, and brotherhood through skin color only, you lose your sense of critical thought and your vision. I think you he, he only uh asks for resumes just to make it look good. Because if you're thinking about it, why are you uh trying to hire teachers and you ain't even halfway done the construction? And becomes blurry. You leave yourself open to exploitation because you see anxieties and hostilities that aren't there, race war, and start seeing connections that aren't there. He's my friend because he's black. White politicians have been exploiting racial anxieties of whites for centuries to their personal advantage. Umar is getting in on the act. Public Enemy broke down the Umar Johnson types. Listen to this song carefully. Night Train. You think he's down for the cause because his face is looking just like yours. Okay, so. And the most dangerous part about Umar is that he goes through such great lengths to keep a lie going. That's a fucking dangerous person. Anybody that will go through that great of length to keep a lie going, imagine all the other shit he lied about and all the other shit he'd be capable of doing to keep a lie going. Let's check this out. <clears throat> 
So this is from September 27th, 2014. Breaking, let me lead or let me go. Prince of Pan-Africanism abruptly resigns from public charter school principalship. But hold on. This didn't say he was the principal. This says that Waylon Wilson is the That's true. That's true, uh, Mr. Switchy. But if I was a scammer, I don't think I would go through that great of a length. Like, too much energy and time. Principal. And Uma oh, Johnson uh, is the psychologist. Hold up. Is that the video? Or is this not the same place? Let's see what this is. Let's see. Oh my God. Hold up. Yeah, okay, so one. let's search. Oh my God. Is this really what I think it is? Is he is he really saying this shit? <laughs> I hope. Oh my god. Not the one I was talking about. Heard this shit even better. Are aliens real? Yes, aliens are real. Because an alien visited me in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Oh, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida right now, but I used to live in Jacksonville, North Carolina. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida right now, but I used to live in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And when I was in the third grade in Jacksonville, North Carolina, nine years old, eight years old, me and my mother were looking out the window and we saw a UFO. We said, is that a UFO? I said, now nah, that might be a plane. Maybe that's the military Wait, how long ago was this? This was only a month ago? Oh my God. Expedition military air. It was a UFO. So we watching this UFO, it kept swirling around. It was way up in the sky though, but it had all these lights and it was going in a circle. And my mom said, okay, it's time for you to go to bed. So I go to bed, but I'm not sleeping. You know how you laying down in your bed before you fall asleep? Oh my God. Jacksonville, North Carolina. And the next thing you know, this yellow thing walked into my room. It was about three feet tall, shaped like a man, but no features. No, it was just pure yellow light, shaped like a man with no features. So why didn't you say this shit in the beginning of your career? Hmm. Why you wait so long? That's what that's what uh, make me realize these niggas is lying. Or motherfuckers would have thought you would have knew you was crazy from the fucking rip. These niggas is oh my god, pure yellow light, and I'm scared as shit. I want to call my mom or my dad, but I'm scared because we just saw a UFO like two hours ago, and this yellow this little yellow man, stocky too. He was built like he was a bodybuilder. But all you could see was yellow light in the shape of a man. No eyes, no nose, no mouth, pure yellow. And I'm acting like I'm asleep because I don't want him to know I'm woke. And then all of a sudden, it ran up to me. And I've heard of so many different descriptions of uh, aliens, but I've never heard of a yellow one. This is new. Punch me in my face. No. I just knew I had a black eye or a broken him to know I'm woke. And then all of a sudden, it ran up to me and punched me in my face. Aliens are sneaking in niggas' room and socking niggas. <laughs> oh, shit. So the aliens just running up on niggas, stealing the shit out of niggas? Hmm. I guess, I guess the aliens is racist, too. <laughs> they don't like niggas, diva. I just knew I had a black eye or a broke nose. I just knew I had a black eye or a broke nose. I just knew I had a black eye or a broke nose and it ran out the room. 
And I got up and ran into my parents' room and I said, I just got punched in the face by an alien. They said, boy, go to bed. I said, Umi, we just saw that spaceship. It was real because right after you sent me to bed, the yellow, this little yellow man with no face made a pure yellow light, came into my room, punched me in the damn face. It felt like I had a broke nose, but I didn't. So let me ask y'all this. My alien experts. So if they punched you in the face, how come your mom didn't notice, like, your nose swollen, your eye black? None of that. You just said, I knew I had a black eye. And now you're saying uh, you think it broke your nose. Ain't no way your nose getting broke without bleeding. I'm going to my alien experts right now. Does anybody have an interpretation for the yellow being of pure light? It was pure light in the shape of a man, three feet tall, came into my room. I was awake. I was wide awake. I was not asleep. I had just gotten into the bed. Lights was out. He came in there, three feet tall, pure yellow light. I tried to act like I was asleep. Somehow he knew I was woke and punched me in the face. Does anybody have an alien interpretation? I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm not I got to hand it to him, though. His story is different than everybody else's. He didn't do what Farrell did. Took a bunch of different stories from people and then try to blend them together. Not making this up. But see, some of y'all have never had spiritual experiences, so I know this is completely. This is, see. Calcified pineal gland. Calcified... If you study spirituality, that nigga was going through sleep paralysis. If, if anything, you study unseen beings, the mustard if man. you know what that yellow being was, because I'm still trying to figure this out. I don't think it was an ancestor. I don't think it was an Orisha. I think it was something else because we just saw the spaceship. But if you have an interpretation for it, wasn't a demon. It wasn't a demon. It wasn't it wasn't an evil force. It may not have been a positive. I was I was eight or nine years old. I was eight or nine. I'll never forget it. I will never forget it. I will never. I am baffled right now. I didn't even go lie. I guess the alien could see his future and knew he was gonna be on some bullshit. So let me let me get it over with and punch this little nigga in his face now. Forget it. it's the first extra terrestrial supernatural metaphysical paranormal experience I ever had. If anybody has an idea of what the, could it have been an ancestor? Do ancestors travel on spaceships? Do the ancestors, is it possible that the spaceships- All oh, right, the bull from Sin City. <laughs> Walked up on him and punched him in his face. Out of all traits and behaviors I've heard about aliens, I have not once heard aliens punching a nigga in the face. Just for no reason, walking up, punching niggas in the face. I've heard of them, you know, performing surgeries, just, you know, creeping up on niggas, looking through their window. He the only nigga that got punched in the face. And usually uh, aliens don't abduct black people. The first recorded alien abduction was a black man and his, and his wife. But after that, there's only two other people that I know of that are black and claim they got abducted. And two of them are crazy hoteps. Pharaoh, him, and the first uh, person to ever get abducted. Our ancestors. What do y'all think? Is it possible that the spaceships, the so-called aliens, yeah, are ancestors? Jersey, it wasn't evil. It wasn't evil. See, I'm dealing with a lot of Africans in the feed with calcified pineal glands. All you know is weed, sex, coochie, BBL, Air Jordans. You have, you don't know nothing about anything right. outside of that. That's why I said what I said. The alien knew he was going to be on some bullshit when he got older. Let me punch this nigga in his face now. <laughs> mundane physical. Most of you all are trapped in the mundane physical. Maybe the punch gave you the knowledge. I thought about that. 
did it put something in my head? I thought about that because, you know, oh, in Ifa, God. your soul is in your head, your Ori. And it punched me in my Ori. Maybe it was the Christ energy anointing me as the black Christ. Oh, my God. I'm still, if you have an interpretation, God is my witness. I'm not making this up. In the presence of the Almighty, in the presence of my ancestors. No, that was your mom. You were sleepwalking. And your mom punched you upside your head and make you go back to bed. <laughs> I swear to you that that yellow man came in my room, three feet tall, pure light in the shape of a man. The outline was a man, but the whole body was light, made of yellow light, bright yellow light. Stood there for a few seconds. I tried to act like I was asleep because I was scared. And he ran up, punched me, and ran out. And I was dazed for a minute. I was dazed for a minute. And I thought my nose, well, I was broke or my nose was black. And I ran into my parents' room and they didn't believe me. Yeah, that nigga was having sleep paralysis while he was sleepwalking. <laughs> and one of his parents punched him in his face to go back to bed to wake him up. Get, wake up, nigga. God is my witness. Does anybody, if you think you know what that yellow person was, that yellow thing in the shape of a man that came, I think he came from the spaceship because we saw the spaceship the same night. I think he came from the spaceship. If you think you have an interpretation, please text me. Maybe y'all can help me make sense of that. 215-989-9858. 2159, it was not a nightmare because I was awake, my Negro brother. My calcified pineal gland having Negro pen. I was wide awake. I just told you that. 2159899858. My calcified pine. You know why I think he's lying though? Because if you watch any of the alien story abduction stories, the ones that sound the most believable, they always can describe what the what the alien look like and give a description of their face. I kneel gland having Negro being brother. I told you I was wide awake. I was in Jacksonville, North Carolina. He was wide awake, but don't know what the face looked like. That's where I decided to be a psychologist. This happened the same year I decided to be a psychologist in the same house I was living in. Was it an Orisha? Was it an... I don't know about you, but if I saw an alien as a kid, that would have left a scar, like a trauma memory. It would have scarred me. I would have never been able to forget that type of shit. An ancestor? Was it an alien? What punched me and what did it put into my ori? What did it put into my soul? That three feet yellow being shaped like a man. Who's calling me while I'm live? And your story literally just changed. <laughs> Nobody noticed that neither. He literally just changed the story. Somebody suggested that they punt, the, the, the alien was putting knowledge in his head. He said the yellow telly tubby. Brother Robert with the magazine. You want a magazine interview? No problem, Brother Rob. Listen, y'all, I don't answer the phone. I need y'all to text me. Y'all keep calling me. I'm never answering the phone. And I never heard aliens putting knowledge in their head. The most I've ever heard was they uh, adjusted, you know, uh, 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 what's it called? The helix or something like that. They adjusted something that we've been cut off from. So they can, you know, you can receive more information. I never heard of them putting the information in your head. I'm never, I don't answer the phone. Text message. Stop trying to clog my life up with your issues. Text me. I don't answer the phone. I told y'all that. How many times I got to tell y'all that? 215-989-9858. He literally just let somebody add to his story. Did you hit the cash app for Black History Month? Did all of y'all on my live hit the cash app for Black History Month for FDMG. If you didn't hit the cash app for the first day of Black History Month, I need you to do that right now. 
Did this nigga just say, hit the cash app for Black History Month? Yo, this nigga is fucking crazy. How the fuck was he a psychologist? Dollar sign FDMG school. Dollar sign FDMG school. Do they don't evaluate these niggas before they, you know, let these niggas get that type of job or degree. I'm pretty sure they evaluate them first before they start letting niggas are letting them evaluate other people. I am baffled. Dollar sign FDMG school. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Me and Nick Cannon had a good conversation on the N-word. Me and Nick Cannon had a good conversation on black males wearing dresses, Hollywood celebrities wearing dresses. Me and Nick Cannon had a great conversation on the Snow Bunny crisis. Me and Nick Cannon. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't Nick Cannon wear a dress on uh, all that? I could have sworn he did. He definitely wore a dress on all that. I had a great conversation on mental health and special ed. The Nick Cannon interview was very good. It was very good. Two and a half hours of power, the Prince of Pan-Africanism and the King Nick Cannon. Snow Bunny's never Black Queens forever. Snow Bunny's never Black Queens forever. Black Queens forever. Snow Bunny's right. never love seafood. Seafood, soul food, ethnic food. Seafood, soul food, ethnic food. Seafood, soul food. That just actually reminded me. Uh, you know how I, I, I realized, I'm sure that Nick Cannon didn't put a Pharaoh video out because he realized he was full of shit. Because he put Umar's video out. Food, ethnic food. Ain't nothing like some of that. And at a time that he was getting in trouble with the uh, whole Jewish thing. Spicy Senegalese fish soup ain't nothing like some of that cassava potato greens with the shrimp chicken and beef. Where my Nigerian queens at? You know what? Where my Nigerian queens? We got any Nigerian queens in Jacksonville? Bring me some cassava leaf potato green with some lamb. I can't eat no chicken right now. No chicken. I'm about to get some spiritual work done. No chicken for 16 days. I can't eat no chicken. No chicken. So my Nigerian queens, I need some lamb, turkey, shrimp, lamb, turkey, shrimp, and some cassava or potato leaf. Nigerian queens, where you at? We got any Nigerian queens in Jacksonville, Florida right now? Right. Oh, my God. This guy right here is a... Damn. What's wrong with you zesty yeah, dudes, man? Go do that stuff somewhere else. Where my Nigerian queen? A goosey soup. Pass me that fufu. Pass me that fufu, my mind. And that a goosey soup. You in that tight, long Nigerian dress all five, five, thick in the thighs. Bring me my fufu, my ma. Bring papa his fufu, my ma. Bring papa his fufu, oh, my ma. I about that. I love Ethiopian. That's all I eat is Ethiopian. What you talking about? Ethiopian? Where my Ethiopian queens at? I love my Ethiopian queens. They're not as curvy, well, though. Like we said, some shit as in the interview. South African and West African and Central African queens. But they drop dead gorgeous. I love my Ethiopian queens, my Eritrean queens. Just stop commenting before you get in trouble, nigga. Now, my Kenyan queens? Oh, yes. Ooh -hoo. Them Kenyan queens? Mambasa. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm coming back to Kenya, too. Where my Kenyan queens at? I'm coming back to Kenya. With my Liberian potato greens and cassava leaf. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love African food. That's all we're going to have at FDMG. If you don't eat African food, okay. don't come to my school. FDMG is Little Africa in America. I'm going to say it again. FDMG. I ain't going to lie, though. He ain't lying about the African. I had I did it one mess with one African chick one time. It was a, a one a one time thing. 
And I, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. Is little Africa in America? I'm never single. Every single mother is my unofficial wife. I'm never single. Every single mother is my unofficial wife. I'm never single. I'm never single. I'm just not officially married, but I'm never single. I know you can't understand, overstand, and understand that. I think I got this video on my list, too. Well, Maryland Congress. Right, I ain't even gonna lie. Couple pumps. Ugh. Oh, you have to give me 10 to 20 minutes. I got you, I got you. Soon as I got up in there. Ugh. He ain't my husband, right? No, he says single black uh, moms. You said it starts all bogus? Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. How, How we doing there, gorgeous? <laughs> all right. Crazy part. I was drinking that night too, and I don't know about, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but when I drink, it take me a while. Not that night. Ooh. I want to try your black eyed pea hummus. Okay. I also want to do <clears throat> sesame kale salad. Large or small? Large. Okay. And what is tempeh? What is that? Soy. Let me go with the. Uh, I'ma try the smothered. The tempeh. How we doing there, gorgeous? How we doing there, gorgeous? How we doing there, gorgeous? I forgot about that, Jimmy. When he was on Rolling Martin arguing with the bull. Going to the paint day at school. Uh -huh. Shit, I don't know about y'all, but that's how you know it's good or not. Folks, Dr. Umar Johnson recently was on uh, 105.1 FM out of New York, The Breakfast Club with DJ Envy, Angela Yee, and Charlemagne the God. During the interview, Johnson talked about a whole range of issues that led to him uh, being the talk of black Twitter last week. Uh, and a lot of people were questioning his education, educational credentials. Now, people ask me, what can we expect from a Donald Trump White House for black America? And the answer is real simple. You can expect exactly what you got from a Obama White House, absolutely nothing. Black people know they're not American. Hey, who they are like hell to protect that identity nobody. because they don't want to be identified with who they really are, and that's being African. As long as you have a skill, you can always feed your family. But if all you got is college degrees, you might end up in an unemployment line. I'm a psychologist. Ain't too many black people running around looking for a psychologist to reveal all the skeletons in their closet. All right, folks, uh, joining us right now, Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, you. First and foremost, um, uh, it, it was amazing looking at this whole reaction. I mean, I'm sitting mm -hmm. here, uh, you, uh, you know, again, people asking all kinds of questions. Things are blowing up. Uh, and so many people jumped on saying he's not a real doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where did you graduate from and mm -hmm. you got your Ph.D.? Mm -hmm. My undergraduate education was from Millersville University. Uh, three degrees, po political science, psychology, master's in school psychology. Oh, so you said went to that Pennsylvania certification as a school psychologist, which I've been for almost 20 years. After that, I got my educational leadership master's degree and principal certificate from Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And I earned my doctorate degree from the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, American Psychological Association approved program, one of the top psychology training programs on the East Coast. Six degrees in all, 
and anyone can lift up a telephone and call and verify those degrees. So when, when you see folks uh, who... The fact that he went to Millersville, nigga, I know you had a couple snow bunnies up in your life. I know for a fact you had a couple snow bunnies, a, a, a bunch of them. You went to Millersville? Shit. Ain't nothing but snow bunnies up there. Now, uh, I think there's a couple. I think it's Lincoln and there's another one in Philly. I'm in Pennsylvania. You said you seen them do it. Who, 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 who questioned uh, your degrees, your response? It's because my narrative is a whole lot different from the average mainstream black scholar. I don't parrot the narrative that the American social order wants black scholars to parrot. I tell the truth. I don't scratch unless I itch and I don't dance unless I like the music. And because they're not used to having someone with a traditional education posit non-traditional views, people will automatically start to question his credentials. How did he get this far believing what up, he believes in? Well, you have to play the spook who sat by the door. When I got accepted into those three universities, they didn't know what I believed in. They didn't know what I st stood for. But as time went on, it revealed itself. But I'm unapologetically African, so I'm not really concerned with what people think about me personally. Um, I have a job to do, and that is to awaken the sleeping consciousness of African people, not just in America, but all across the world. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, you said during the interview, you said that uh, Mandarin was one of the official languages in South Africa. Wait, you're talking about you seeing them on white women, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you, you guys should definitely elaborate on that. Africa. Yes, sir. And others said you were dead wrong. Yes, because I didn't clarify that I was speaking of it being an official language in the public school system of South Africa. So I should have clarified that Mandarin is an official language in the Republic of South Africa's school system. <laughs> It's not an official language in the country. It's an official language in the school system. And I was speaking of schools, but I didn't clarify that. So that's my responsibility. Uh, also, uh, during that particular interview, uh, you, you talked about a, a variety of issues that also uh, got people uh, talking. One of them uh, dealt with your views on interracial marriage. Yes, sir. And so, uh, Next, and, and, and so explain that for folks who did not hear it. Uh, certainly. Simply put. Ah, uh, you bullshitting, homie. I ain't even gonna lie, I don't fuck with Umar, but I, I think uh, the way Roland Diddy was corny as fuck on this show. Any black man who is with a woman who's not an African herself is gonna have a difficult time getting respect from me. I believe black men need to be with black women. The black family is under attack. Only one out of every four black women gets married. The black woman is last likely to get married. She's the last married, the first divorced. We have what, two thirds of our children being raised by working class and impoverished single black female led house homes. The destruction of a nation begins in the home of its families. And if we wanna save black people, we have to save the black family. So, and in order to do that, black men have to commit themselves to black women. So, our, so when you talk about not getting your respect, so, which, so if that's the case, you're saying uh, Senator Barack Obama, excuse me, President Barack Obama didn't get your respect because his dad uh, married a white woman? Oh, not at all. But to elaborate on that, it's not because of, it's Umar. I think he, he was trying to like, uh, what did they say about the, uh, the black cop showing out for the white cop? I think he was, you know, trying to please his, his, his handler. Show, oh, show his handler that he, he loyal. Uh, uh, with Harry Belafonte? Not at all. I want to be very clear about something. As Pan-Africanists, the product of an interracial union is an African. <laughs> I have heroes who are biracial. Some of the grandfathers of Pan-Africanism were of mixed racial ancestry. You don't blame a child for how they got here. But I'm asking you this here. True. Harry Belafonte has a white wife. No respect for him? City it would be very, it doesn't city, matter. It city, doesn't matter your social status. So no, 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 I didn't say social status. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the one who put the work right, in. Right, but you put so, him so, out. No, 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 I'm asking you. So mm -hmm. Harry Belafonte. Yes, sir. Sidney Poitier, Julian Bond, Vernon Jordan. And you're saying, naming all them to say what? No, these are all African-American mm -hmm. men who have Who have done some good things. No, who have married white women. But you said you, no, any, any black man who marries a white woman will not get your respect. Can I respond? Yeah, go ahead. And what I'm telling you is this. I don't care who you name. 
I don't care how much work you did for black people. Your greatest commitment to black people is being committed to a black woman. It is still a contradiction. Yeah, I agree with I agree with uh, Umar deserved to smoke. I'm just saying, like, as a pro black, a so called pro black man, it just looked weird to me. No matter how much you think you did for the struggle, if you really were concerned with black people, you would commit yourself to a black woman. So it doesn't matter how successful they are. It doesn't matter how great you may claim them to be. At the end of the day, and they say, you Marcus, really think uh, enough about uh, your own people to marry a woman who looks mm -hmm. like you. Frederick Douglass. Yes, sir. An ancestor of mine. So when you say ancestor, what does that mean? Well, let me break it down. Because, again, some have said you tried to claim mm -hmm. that you are de a descendant of Frederick Douglass. Okay, so let's deal with that. So hold on one second. Here's a statement from the family. Uh, let me go ahead and read this, please. Um, the family of Frederick Douglass has received numerous in inquiries about Umar Johnson questioning his relationship to Frederick Douglass. There have also been questions about his legitimacy of his PhD and the handling of the donations he's received for his school that he is promoting. We can tell you with 100% certainty that he is not a descendant of Frederick Douglass. With that being said, Mr. Johnson is very careful not to build himself as a descendant, but he doesn't correct people when they refer to him in this way. He calls himself a blood relative, which is a nebulous reference designed to make people think he is a descendant. We have researched his explanation of being a blood relative to the I don't think y'all get what I'm saying. I'm not saying choose Umar or be on Umar's side. Great abolitionist. Some of the information he provides is accurate, but an extremely important piece of his explanation with regards to a documented relative of Frederick Douglass is false. The information he recites correctly is from the public record, so his knowledge of our family ancestry is far from definitive proof. Two things there. One, he's not a descendant of Frederick Douglass, okay? I would concur with that, all right? But then, too, you also heard that some of the things he says is correct. So the question becomes, he's either related or he's not, okay? So, now, are, you, so are you related? I'm about to answer your question okay. if you allow me to do that. I am a blood relative of Frederick Douglass. My name is on the family true. We have a family reunion every two years. What they're talking about, and I wanna make sure you're clear, they're talking about whether or not I come through the loin of Frederick Douglass, which I do not, nor have I ever claimed, okay? I have more videos on YouTube than any other scholar. I speak around the world more than any other scholar. Show me where I've ever said I was a descendant. I've only claimed one thing, kinsmen. How are my kinsmen? If you ever read any of the autobiographies of Frederick Douglass, he talks about growing Does anybody know where, where those videos at? Where he, the first time he said it? Because I remember watching that shit. He definitely said he was uh, a direct descendant. And then he switched it up to the uh, the cousin, who's allegedly his stepbrother. Right. Growing up on Tuckahoe Creek with cousin Stephen. Cousin Stephen is Stephen Bailey, Dr. Umar Johnson's four times great grandfather, whose grave I just visited last week. I go every year. Okay, that's my four times great grandfather. He married my four times great grandmother, Caroline Wilson Bailey. From that union came my three times great grandfather, George Washington Bailey, the first oh, black public school teacher first? on Eastern Shore, Maryland. He married Grandma Annie. They had Grandma Caroline. Okay, she had Grandma Vivian. Grandma Vivian married a Spanish speaking Cuban immigrant, Grandpa Cicero. They had Grandma Ida, who's still alive. <laughs> who married James Johnson, who had my father Jamal, who married my mama Barbara, and from that union I was born. I am a blood of belly, I am- And that's what I mean by him going through great fucking limbs, bro. You memorized another person's family tree. That's crazy, I don't even, I can't even memorize my own goddamn family tree. Not married in. What they're talking about is strictly descendancy, something I've never claimed. Am I akin? Do I directly come from the loin of the first cousin and potentially half brother of Frederick Douglass? And the reason I say potentially, the slave master who owned our family, a white man named. Farthest I can go back is to my great grandparents, my great grandma's parents. And the only reason why I know that is because that's where the white guy comes in. Aaron Anthony raped Frederick's mother yeah, and raped Stephen's mother, my ancestor. And there's significant evidence to suggest that. Some people could still argue, though, that they were not brothers because it's not conclusive. 
Fine, throw that out. Yeah, I'm still a kinsman because I come through the blood of his first cousin. You talked about again respect. You respect. For I don't talk about respect. No, I no, get no, tremendous no, respect no, from no, my no. people. I, I, I'm not talking about that. Um, do you respect Frederick Douglass? Obviously, yes. But he had a white wife. He did. So I, I, that's what I'm trying to. Try, try, try. I'm gonna clarify. Why, why? Why is that an issue? Why? I mean, why is that? If if you put in the work mm -hmm. and you have the history. Who, who cares who you marry? I already answered that question, and I told you I don't care how much work you put in. If you don't commit yourself to a black woman, ultimately he right. wasn't totally committed to the struggle. Even Frederick Douglass. Even Frederick Douglass has to be criticized, as I did on The Breakfast Club. Now, if some people don't consider you family after like the second and third, has to be put in context. He didn't marry the white woman until he was an old man after his wife, Anna Murray Douglas, of 50 years, a blue black chocolate woman through whom all my cousins were born. He was an old man when he did it, but nonetheless, he did it. And yes, he has to be criticized on that because a black man needs to be with a black woman. And it is a contradiction. I don't care how much work you think you've done for black folks to not commit yourself to a black woman. Oh, tight one second. I got more questions when we come back. I would argue the reason black men marry white women is because they wish they were white themselves. And having the white man's prize. How the fuck was this man a psychologist? That's what I can't wrap my mind around. It got me baffled right now. Baffled. His queen is a psychological symbol to myself that I am equal to him. We're back with Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, in one of the, in that particular statement, uh, the family also addressed this here. Uh, you talked about taking over uh, the buildings or the land of a black of a black school that was shut down. Yes, HBCU sir. St. Paul's College. Uh, and you were raising money for it. First of all, yes, how much money has been raised, and what's the status of that project? Well, St. Paul's has. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I just said that because we just watched the fucking video of Trip C. He's proving that. And I wonder if uh, Roland told uh, Umar that, you know, what questions he was going to ask <laughs> and if he was going to do this. It's been sold approximately three to five months ago. I was told by the auction company in charge of the sale that it was been sold to a developer. So how much money was raised? What the people people gave all the people gave. How much was raised and what's the status of that? Seven hundred thousand dollars. And the status is we're still looking for a school and the status is my start date for FDMG will be 821 18 or if at all, it may be delayed to 821 19, which is the anniversary oh, of the wow. Nat Turner War. We say looking for a school. Oh, wow. I never knew he said this shit. We are in year 2024. <laughs> Why not start a charter school? I mean, you can start a school. Because charter schools are owned by the state, and I'm a Pan-Africanist. I believe what is to be yeah, done for black people you, must man. be done by black people. Why do I want a charter school? So you want, so you want a private school? Exactly. Lauren. Independent school. Lauren. Um, so the question of <laughs> interracial marriage, I yes, mean, come on. Man. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that he could have started it off as a charter school, and then as it you know, grew, he could have turned it into an independent school. Man. You're too so many other we got 43 we got 43 million black people in this country and that means over what? 190 million white people you're going to sit here and say that if you a, got a black person black a white person get married a black person white person get married one can't understand the other person's struggle you've seen it's not you've seen tim wise right you've seen it's reverend about wallace you've seen white people who understand racism system. very well that doesn't the mean they're going to do anything the other about thing it that is obviously well, true well, is they understand racism when you see things like the murder of Medgar Evers, like the murder and, of Martin Luther King. They understand and, racism And what fine. did they do they about it? They understand us gaining just fine, and that's why murder happened. Based on right? what? So the idea that somehow... You don't understand his problem with this interracial shit. He claimed that our genes dominate. So if our genes dominate, what the fuck does it matter? What does it matter? Still a black fucking kid. A white person can't understand our struggle? No I could way. care less what they understand. I'm no asking way. you, what have they done systematically he already to told improve you that. the opportunities he of white folks? He that. did not tell oh, me yes, that. Oh, yes, you did tell me that. He did not tell me that. You're going to tell me that guys like Tim Wise and Reverend Wallace don't understand what about race in America? Tim Wise? They don't understand race he in America? He articulates racism. So all what has shit, I'm on that shit, the boy, uh, with, with, uh, uh, Smart Brother. No, what the fuck was the boy name on uh, Minister Society? That was dating the white chicks. He was like, I'm going to do what uh, the white man has uh, doing to our women for 400 years. What's that? Fuck them.
has he no, done to there systematically There are no white people that understand race in America. There's, there's not no a white, white person in, in America. There's no white people understand race in America. There's not a white person. Uh, them going to UG. There's not a white person in America who has ever worked to systematically eliminate the white privilege that they benefit from vis-a-vis -vis your you, oppression. You're you lying. Know, Eugene, you know, Eugene, 190 so, million so, people. I just don't agree with the niggas that only date white women. Prince of potato salad. Man, the racial dating is a sensitive subject for black women. Shit, not anymore. It's like, I can count at least like 10, 20 women on social media. Like actually doing videos with their white husband. Yeah, preach. Well, in America. Eugene. In so, America. so. Oh, 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 we're not going to go there. We're not. I have called me a liar, and you're cool. Well, it's a fact that watch you're lying. You it's a fact that you're lying. It's a fact that you're lying. I understand you. To say that. To say that. To say that. See, that's what I didn't like. He allowed him to call him a liar, and then when the, he retaliates and call him a coon, he don't say shit to the bull, but shut Umar down. That one, one, no, everybody, one second. Several things I don't allow. I don't allow the N word. I don't allow coon. We can talk to one another and disagree, but I do not use racial epithets against and black that's people. that's fine, but he called no, me no, a liar. No, 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 so I, the language no, no. These Ra on racial both racial sides. epithets will not be used on this show. And that's fine. By anybody. But how we talk no, no, to each but, other needs no, You to can say whatever you want, but no racial epithets will be used on this show about black people to black people. Eugene, your question. So from your paradigm, from your perspective, civil rights acts, isn't an act of, of white folk stepping up on behalf of black. And even, even if, you know, the racial part is, you know, he write about him not allowing no racial epithet. It's just the way he did it. It seemed like he was only directing it at Umar. And he, you know, he seemed like he was helping the bull. Folk, current criminal justice reform legislation moving isn't a current act of white folks stepping up on behalf of black folk. Folk that funded the civil rights movement in the, in the 1560s, isn't an act of white folks stepping up and have a black folk. I'm sorry, as an American, because I define myself as an American, sure an African American. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I live in a country that moves forward together. Uh, Mia, I think you knew here. I'm not, I'm not sure if you've ever been here before, but my wife is black. All my kids are black. And I say that as a Republican, we move mm -hmm. forward together. Yes, we have individual. Well, technically, my wife is Puerto Rican and black. Our dad's a full blown Puerto Rican. But if you look at her, you couldn't tell. Struggle. Yes, we have struggles. I'm not talking yes, about we have. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, we have. We have systematic. We have systematic. We have systematic. systematic. We have systematic. Finish, 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 finish it. Yeah. Finish it. 15 seconds. Then you answer. We have systematic struggles. And together as a country, moving forward to defeat those struggles. Really? So, based on what you said, I want you to give me examples of white folk, not individuals, but systematically. Why can't they be individuals? Excuse me. Why can't they be excuse individuals? Me. One second, one second. I know you can't wait one to second finish, answer, but let me One finish. second answer. Can I finish? Go, go. Okay, I'm going. Okay? You cannot name anything systematically done ever in this country by white people to equal the playing field for black folks. The Civil Rights Act, Congress literally sits behind us. The Civil Rights Act, the Voting Rights Act, are you of them? And if you didn't hear what I said about my grandfather, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a white man. Think about that. Are you Johnson. aware? Hey, can Both I, of one, them. White people second. are proud of you, son. Let me ask Scott Bolden. Real quick. I, I think the, the terminology and the narrative being used is a little misleading, not from you, but from this dialogue right here. Okay. Um, you know, it's one thing to sympathize with the struggle. It's another one to be to empathize with the struggle. Very different. When you talk about marriage being a political choice, and that one of the things, arguments that you made that I tend to agree with is that... that a That's definitely true. Uh, Carolina kid, a, a school psychologist and like a regular psychologist are different. If you don't marry a black woman, then she can never support and comfort and value your day to day struggle as a Wait black woman. Wait a minute, woman. ain't that basically like uh, your counselor? Like you know, the counselor that you go to talk to? 
man. Uh, that being said, uh, I do think that the, the level of the rhetoric that you use in regard to your Pan-Africanism uh, is, um, is, is difficult for many of us, quote, in the mainstream to get our arms around. But this issue about black men and white women in the civil rights struggle is not a new discussion. My mother was a civil rights activist in mm -hmm. Chicago, and she would often... So I never, I never seen or heard of a school psychologist. I heard of counselor. So he was a, a counselor, a guidance counselor. And he's calling it a, a psych. Oh man, that's crazy. And uh, complained that counselor. one, you can't sleep black, you can't sleep white and talk black, Thank if you, you will. And Thank that's you. always been in the American struggle, American African American struggle with ourselves. Yes, the other thing is that we struggle with our own psychology about okay. self love and okay. otherwise. <laughs> and if we can get our arms around that, oh, that wow. does make sense. Okay. But you would have to say that you know and, 190 and, million and, people. But you're and, being too. One, one second. Answer the question. You'd have to claim. You nigga spruced up. Guidance counselor. No, go ahead and respond. respond. Go ahead. I have never heard any guidance counselor call himself a psychologist. <laughs> and I agree with, 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 with my brother's Scott. comments. Mm -hmm. Brother Scott. He brought up the civil rights bill. But what he did not talk about in relation to the civil rights bill is there were two words included in that bill that ultimately served to take away from black people what that bill was intended to deliver. They added gender and they added sexual orientation. And as a result of that, white women and homosexuals have been able to strip black America from the intended gains of the Civil Rights Act. So there was still racism in that bill if you will study that history. But Umar, your question was, did anyone, has anyone black ever systematically done, I mean, no. has anyone white ever systematically not done anything? Thing. Systematically, systematically. white America. So LBJ, wow. LBJ would be the answer for that. No, I want you that's to the government. No, I don't think you that's heard the question. That's a systematic move. No, you didn't hear the question. I don't know how nobody noticed that in the fucking first place. When I first heard it, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe in college. He was like a, 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 a psychologist in college. But I didn't know it, it was in uh, elementary and even in uh, high school, I never heard of that. How the fuck nobody ever noticed that? Question. I, what I has? No, you fine. did not. No, yeah, you I didn't. Did. Yeah, You're I did. so quick to defend white <laughs> yeah, folks yeah, that you're not listening. No, I'm not trying to defend white folks. I have 45 seconds, <laughs> so restate the question and give an answer. Okay. You got 45 right, seconds. Let's get an answer. The question was, mm -hmm. what has white America done? Right. Not individuals. <laughs> Systematically not individuals. cannot. But I definitely think the people that he arguing with is one of our main problems. Definitely one of our main problems. Because like, even if you feel the way, that way, you shouldn't say it out loud. Because I feel like it basically, like, it gives the other side ammo. Like, how they saying now racism don't exist? You give them ammo to say that shit. You won't even let me finish. Yeah, because you're you, that in love with white folks. Put you won't even let me finish. Point on everything. Finish, finish literally three times. Twenty seconds. Three times. <laughs> there is no bigger no. system than the U.S. Twenty US seconds, I'll finish. The no. US and in twenty seconds, I would say that the panel that you have here, <laughs> who are extremely intelligent, do mm. not represent the everyday black man and woman struggles, and then because of that, they can articulate. And you represent forty-three million people right, in this country. I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't when niggas be like. Uh, we need to stop begging and, you know, do shit on our own. You shouldn't say that shit out loud. Because I know a couple people that feel that way. And they have legit points, but they don't say it out loud. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Yeah, right. Like I, I, they've even gotten to the point where they literally, I've literally been told on my uh, channel, there's no such thing as racism in America or it doesn't exist anymore. Should I have had people even tell me that the, uh, all the uh, shootings 
from cop the cop killings. Look, see, I, yo, I be art. This is the main thing I be arguing with Jaded about. But he doesn't say it out loud, you know. What that video you just? This nigga got caught in 4K talking to a motherfucking snow bunny. I think uh, some issues should be discussed privately. Look at it. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. Jaded, you can still kiss my ass on the top. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. But I can say he got some very, very, very interesting and, and legit points. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. You got it. You got it. Look at it. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. In my opinion, I agree that it exists. I mean, yeah, I believe that it does still exist. But I do agree with the fa uh, the point of uh, it was created purposely to keep like the the uh, lower classes divided. All right, that's it for Umar. Wait, I think I might got a couple more. Information is not enough. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism. I want to talk about the five cornerstones See, of revolutionary yeah, oh, activism. Right. Because the conscious community is addicted to only one cornerstone of revolutionary activism. As the King Kong of black consciousness, it is my responsibility to check the whole community when we are falling short of serving the people. As the King Kong of global black consciousness, it's my responsibility to check the whole conscious community when we are falling short. What are the shit to be honest, me and Jada got a lot of shit that we don't we bump heads about and don't agree on. But I still look at him at, you know, and respect him at, like a big brother. I even go to him uh for advice. What are the five principles of revolutionary activism? What are the five foundational stones of revolutionary activism? I don't care if you're a pan-Africanist, black socialist, black Islamic nationalist, black Christian nationalist, New Wapian, Hebrew, God and Earth, communist, integrationist, black Christian, whatever you do, all revolutionary activism, if it's going to mean anything, must touch on five areas. But the reason why I say that is because before, like, the slavery and all that other shit, it was classism. Where they went by classes. So, you know, if you, if you look through history, when white folks were just, you know, all together by themselves, they did, the, you know, they did the same shit to themselves. Hey, Remy, you have some more... Piss on live. And didn't wash your hands. Must touch on five areas, brothers and sisters. Are y'all ready for the five areas? Are y'all ready? Stage you party. Like block me. party. I don't have time for coons today. I'm sorry. And you're a beautiful sister too, but I don't have time for coons today. And you're a beautiful sister too, but I don't have time for coons today. 
And you a beautiful sister too, but I don't have no time for coons today. I'm sorry, sister, you had to go. My beautiful sisters, let me say something to my queens. I love my sisters now. You know I ride for my sisters. I ride hard for my sisters. I don't let anybody disrespect black women. Y'all know how I get down. Y'all know how I get down. But I'm going to say this to my beautiful African queens. My butter almond, my butter pecan, my hot fudge, my African vanillas, my sweet cocoa butter queens, my sweet peanut butter queens, my, 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 my caramel queens. I'm just my nutmeg, my hot cinnamon queens. Listen, if you coon out, you will be sent to the block party. Okay? It's consciousness over cookies over here. I don't care how good you look. Think about it, Double D. How would I, who pees that fast? It's consciousness over cookies over here. I don't care how good you look. It's consciousness over cookies over here. She if you coon out, I'm sending your ass to the block party, 5-5 five, five or did. not, you getting sent to the block party. Wow, this was after the scriptures. And he's still trying to say that? Consciousness over coochie? After the scriptures? Conscious and curvy or not, if you coon out, you getting sent to the block party. There is no sexy sister privilege on my live. There is no sexy six sister privilege on my live. There is no sexy sister privilege on my live. If you coon out, you get blocked. Now, let me get back to my message. Consciousness is always over the cookies. Politics is always over the punani. Revolution is always over the romance. Let me get back. Hit the cash app while you at it, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app while you at it, because I'm at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. We getting these renovations done. I found it. The HVAC is officially done. We waiting on the inspection. The HVAC is officially uh -huh. done. We I waiting on the inspection. The HVAC is officially done. Everything got tied in this morning. We waiting on the inspection, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. Everything's tied in. Everything's up and running. The video where he went to go pee and didn't wash his hands, he had a uh, red hat on, right? A red hat and a do-rag. I'm I didn't pee. I dumped something in the toilet. I dumped something in the toilet. Think about it, y'all. How many times did I have to pee and I told y'all I got to step off and take a leap? I wouldn't lie about some shit like that. Why would I lie about peeing? Come on, y'all. We waiting on the inspection. It's judgment day. Black boys, I got you. Black boys, I promised you a school and I will and deliver I you a school. I'm not one of these fake, phony, conscious people who just talk shit and build nothing. I said I'm not none of these fake, phony, conscious people who talk shit but build nothing. I said I'm not one of these fake, phony, conscious people who talk shit but build no. oh, nothing. Now hard. let me get into my message today. Nothing let me get into my message today. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. International Africans hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. International Africans hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Yeah. International Africans hit the PayPal, PayPal. Right. I told y'all when I had to take the Browns to the Super Bowl. Why would I lie about Pete? Dot me slash FDMG Academy. I'm talking about the five pillars of activism. Don't call yourself an activist. Don't call yourself a nationalist. Don't call yourself an activist. Don't call yourself a nationalist if you ain't dealing with these five pillars. Y'all ready for the five? Pillar number one, information. Teaching, training, and raising the consciousness. Information is important, but it is only one fifth of the struggle. Information is important, brothers and sisters, but it's only one fifth of the struggle. I said information is important, but it's only one fifth of the struggle. You writing books? No problem. You having lectures? No problem. You putting out documentaries? No problem. You having seminars and conferences? No problem. Information is important. That's number one.
I think I found a video. But ain't nobody answered what I, uh, my question. Did he, didn't he have a, a red hat on, a red Philly hat and a do-rag, right? But some of you ninjas don't do nothing but inform. And if all you do is inform, you are useless. If all you do is inform, you are useless because most of you are information capitalists. Let's talk about information capitalism one time. Can we talk about information capitalism one time? Can we talk about information capitalism in the black consciousness community one time? Let's talk about information capitalism. This is when people make you pay for information. And I don't have a problem with that because you have to pay for my book. I don't have a problem with that because you have to pay for my book. But I'm taking that money and building the school with it, though. I'm taking that money and training parents with it, though. So if it's information capitalism, what are you doing with the revenue from the information you sell into black people? Because I'm the only one building a relevant institution. What are you doing with the money you get from your information capitalism? Are you starting a practical organization? Are you building an organization, an institution? Are you organizing? Are you fighting against racism? What are you doing with the revenue from your information capitalism? We don't have a conscious community. We have an information capitalism community, the ICC. Let's stop calling it consciousness and let's call it what it is. Yeah, I can't remember neither. Well, let's find out. Oh, wait, wrong video. My bad, my wife texted me. I got a little distracted. Ladies, too. Ladies, you can go to trade school, too. Okay? And for my young ladies, don't ever let nobody tell you that you can't do something because you're a woman. One of the things I find with our young sisters is that y'all often reduce your opportunities. And y'all often... uh I got to put some socks on my feet. This floor is cold. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. One minute, one minute, one minute. You said this is it? I thought it was. I just couldn't remember. I only seen it one time. to do this on Instagram too but for some reason Japan is fooling with my Instagram okay so all right where were we da, 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 da. I want you to go to trade school okay but ninth grade you get your list together 10th grade you narrow your list down 11th grade you visit the schools 12th grade should be your easiest year 12th grade should be your easiest year 12th grade of high school, you should not be running around. Damn. You could at least put some goddamn hand sanitizer on it. Hold up. Hold That's up. a Monty video, too. Now, I ran across this video, compliments of uh, one of my subs. i never seen this video. And y'all saw how he lied and said his feet was cold. <gasps> his pro-black feet was cold. Hold on a second. Instead of just telling y'all, listen. I have to use the bathroom. Let me pause this or whatever the case. I think did it twice. This man goes, takes a piss. We can hear him taking a piss. Flush the toilet and don't even wash his goddamn hands. Now, are you surprised? No, because when he accidentally exposes dirty ass um, 
Fred Sanford junkyard looking living room, you should have known. But that's the thing that's cracking me up. He shows over and over again why he's not fit to run a school. The man is not even fit to wash his goddamn hands. He got Mr. Pee Pee hands. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Are you for real? And some people may say, because you got people that still defend him no matter what he does. Oh, oh, what is it? Listen, listen. Would you want a man? What kind of man? Goes to the bathroom don't wash his hands. A dirty man. And he had the nerve to fix his lips and say that people are trifling black folks. Damn. Hold up. Rewind. How are black people trifling because they don't want to give you no fucking money. But yet, you expose your own place by accident. About a month and a half, two months ago, it was dirty as fuck. This video that I showed y'all in the beginning of this, that clip I showed y'all in the beginning was over a year ago. You're doing a live video. You run to use the bathroom. You don't even wash your hands. Matter of fact, you didn't even give you enough time to shake your damn dick. Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. When you take a piss, you have to shake that motherfucker. True. Sometimes you got to go like this to make sure all that piss out because if you don't do that, when you... Put your boxes back on. You're going to get some drip, drip. And we too grown to be having drip, drip. Umar had pro-black drip, drip. True. Let's Even the people that uh that believe in, say, uh two, uh, what they say, more than two or three shakes, you're playing with it. You ever heard that? I never understood that because you definitely need more than two or three shakes sometimes. Let's keep it real. With pissy hands. Were they pro-black pissy hands? Come on, man. Stop playing with me. What kind of man does stuff like that? A man that's not fit to run a school. He's showed over and over again why he's not fit to run a school. Lying about this, lying about that. As soon as a person asks him so much, he gets defensive. Well, if you didn't donate, come on with that bullshit, man. All this, oh, we need more money. Motherfucker, what are you going to put some money into it? You can't run a school. You, you, you got to have a massive following to raise enough money to to even build or fix up and do whatever for a school. You can't just depend on getting enough money to buy the school and then forget about the taxes or the utility bills or the repairs or the staff. What's going to happen next? You're going to get the school built, I mean remodeled, and then next thing you know, how you going to pay the staff? How are you going to have enough money for the, the taxes every year? Oh, you're going to need more time and labor for that. This video is not going to be long. But I'm just sitting back and I'm like, hold up. This man is a walking joke contradiction with Mr. Pee Pee Hands. The pro-black Big Papa Pee Pee Hands. Was Frederick Douglass approving you not washing your hands? If I'm trying to figure out, was Frederick Douglass approving you not washing your hands after you took a pro-black piss? Ain't that a bitch? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's, that's just crazy, bro. That's some nasty shit. I mean, seriously. I mean, that's uncleansy. I mean, like, I don't know, man. I'm tired, man. I'm going to take my ass to bed. I just got in the crib, but I wanted to make this video. I say I got to make this video because when I seen it, I'm like, no, this man did not take a piss and don't wash his hands. That's a dirty ass one. You're supposed to be... Uh, which what you call yourself, Big Papa or uh, uh, whatever? Man, I'm, I'm sleepy, man. But mm -mm -mm. it is what it is. But hey, that's on y'all, man. Y'all keep doing y'all. Antonio, he said this guy is the last person to speak on Jermaine Shoemaker's skin. Are you talking about me or Monty? You got me more more clear about that oh wow oh wow monty ran a scam on disability yeah the only thing i know about him is uh him talking to that having that sexual conversation with that underage girl That's the only thing I know about him.
right, let's get to this shock of Rose Farrell. Zest versus Zest. You said it's more than that? Oh, wow. Oh, I, I definitely spoke out on Monty a couple times before. But I only knew about the underage girl because I, I had the audio. And he think, uh, it, you know, it wasn't that bad or, you know, it wasn't sexual. Bro, you asking for details. That's a sexual conversation. Like, why would you want to know what that girl did with him? Like, even if, you know, you you just ask, you know, you, you asking her, you know, did y'all have a sexual relation? It's not even that part. It's the fact that you was asking for, like, details. You say he wanted pictures, too? Oh, wow. Oh, Wow. He think because he was like, yeah, my wife was, my wife knew about it and she was upstairs. That's what made it look more suspicious. You should have said your wife was standing right there. Because <laughs> the fact that you went in the basement to talk to her, even if your wife knew about it, why did, you know, why didn't you do it in front of her? In my personal opinion, I wouldn't have had no conversation with a period. Especially not on the phone. I could see if it was a group setting. And your, and your, 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 your cult following. I could see if it was in a group setting or, you know, a live stream or something like that. But on the phone, you're bugging. I ain't got nothing to talk to. Uh, I ain't got no nothing to talk about with a teenager on the phone. That ain't my, my child. Or somehow related. Or nephew, you know. The fact that he did that was inappropriate. I couldn't do that. He said he wanted pictures. What would you need pictures for? That, I didn't even know that. That shit makes it look worse. Yeah, I definitely need to speak out on that. I need to find the audio again. Because I didn't know that part. Because even if you you was trying to get the pictures to expose him, she was underage. So you couldn't have exposed it publicly because it's child pornography. So why else would you want the pictures? I'm pretty sure he knew that. His parents are cops. Oh, wow. You talking about that suit that he wear, uh, wear doing high, high sign Campbell? Oh, wow. Playing with glizzies. The fact that he actually went to the store and bought the motherfuckers. Peace and Black Power family. Welcome to Sun and uh, Studios Black News 102. I'm your brother, Shaka Amos. I'm here at the House of Consciousness with our brother, the one and only, Sonnet. Even if, you know, I understand some people, you know, use them on their girls or whatnot, whatnot. Even if that was the case, I'm not using it on her. She can use it on her goddamn self. You know what it is? So, um, then... We here, uh, just here to continue this. But that, on, on, on the other hand, that also means you can't please your woman, and I never had that problem. Why on some fools that that was that unreasonably disrespect disrespecting people, disrespecting myself, disrespecting uh the house of consciousness, disrespecting uh, my brother Sanetta, 
and disrespecting the elders, this and elders in general, disrespecting people who never disrespected them. And my thing is because of the role that I play, because of my own capabilities, and it's because of my own principles. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a principal person, deeply. And my thing is, you don't get to pick a fight and start a fight, and then say, "Why are you? Why? Why are you picking on me?" You know, and your and your 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 cult following, your retarded followers, they don't get to say, "Yeah, I can." Oh, why are you picking on young Pharaoh? Leave the young God alone. And, and if you got any videos, you know, exposing or you know that will expose them. Let me put my email in the chat. You can email them to me. And, and, and y'all, you old niggas, why y'all focus on, on, on your face? The real question is, why don't you flip that question on the side of his head and ask young Pharaoh Allah why he focused on the old niggas so much, on the, on the old head so much, that he had to let all of our names come out of his mouth. We wasn't talking about... That's a good point, though. Because Pharaoh de definitely was claiming that, all oh, all these old heads jealous, and they hating on me, but da 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 but da 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 And then you think about it, the only people he, like, try to expose or go against was the old heads. And then when they respond or say something about him, he act like they picking on him. About him? Infudishi was not talking about young Pharaoh Allah, was he? No, no, no. Infudishi was not talking about young Pharaoh Allah. He never, never mentioned the man by name. Hard. I never was talking about young yeah. Pharaoh Allah. I never mentioned him by name before December 4th. But if you look at the date on December 4th, 2016, this dude is just on stage disrespecting everybody. And the way I am, if you know anything about me, I don't let disrespect go just like that. If you know anything about me, about my past, about the life I've lived, you'll ask around. I'm a principal person. I don't. One thing I don't do is I don't start. Number one, I don't start fights. But if I did, I would not start a fight that I knew I couldn't finish. You understand what I'm saying? Not finish, not just finish, but finish on top. That's how I come on, come on, bro. I didn't make it this far in life being stupid or just. Actually, didn't uh, Shaka just have some uh, great allegations recently? I really didn't believe it for the simple fact that it was a, a woman that was making the allegations. Now, if it was a boy, a man, then we got it. Then we got a problem. It's, or being a bully, because I'm not a bully. The one thing I can't stand is a bully, and that's the reason. That's the real reason I personally don't like young fam. I'm telling you. Dude is a bully, and he uses his following to bully people. You understand what I'm saying? He'll step back. He'll do some evil shit. You ever watch in a movie where somebody do some evil shit, and the only people who know it are the people who watch it, and you want to see that evil motherfucker get caught? That's young Pharaoh Allah. He's an evil dude, man. Real talk. Evil because he's deceitful. You understand what I'm saying? Say it again. Dishonest too. Yeah, he's dishonest and he's deceitful. He tries to paint a picture so that his life can look like a... His life for him is a movie. And it's a film in the eyes of his followers watching. So for him, it's live TV, whatever you call it. Whatever, all right, cool. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, and I hope all the, all the little... Um, I got to come up with a name for, for his followers. The little... All, all the, <laughs> the fact that he's a so-called straight man and talks with a lisp on purpose... Hmm. Hmm. Even the people that like got like a chip tooth or like something, some deficiency that causes the lifts, they still try to talk different. That nigga don't try to change it or nothing. I couldn't, I don't understand that. I was going to call them Farrex. But instead, I was thinking the faggots. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't want to do that. I'm not trying to go there. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm still riding on Young Pharaoh Allah, and I'm gonna keep riding on Young Pharaoh Allah until he does the right thing. 
and I'm going to keep riding on Sawat's stupid city until he does the right thing. Real talk. And what is and the right thing? Well, first of all, what Even if the nigga was born with it, still no excuse because once you get to a certain age and start, you know, understand shit, you say a lip. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I couldn't, you know, <laughs> I couldn't do it. With all the shit that y'all was talking, my video, either in both of y'all, both of my videos, either in the both of y'all, have been out now for weeks. And the streets is talking about it like crazy. It's not just the lips, it's his mannerisms. Not just in New York, everywhere. Everywhere. Miami, California, Texas, London, Africa. All they talking about is how Sawa Stupid Teddy and Dumb Pharaoh Allah, and those are the names they actually use it for y'all now. Real talk. All they talking about is how y'all got done. How y'all got ethered. I think yes. you put it all finally. That's all they talking about. I'm going to show you the emails. I'm going to show you. All you got to do is go to the videos and read the comments. Yeah, that was one thing too. So my real question for dumb Pharaoh Allah and for Sarah Stupid Seti is, where's your response? I, look, I put my shit out there. Where is your response refuting everything that I showed? Grenadier, you're right? You Grenadier, you're right? Dumb motherfucker. Where is it? Where is it? Where's your response to show that? Oh no, yeah, Shaka. That's another thing that, that cracks me up about him. Like when he's trying to make fun of people, his jokes are like really elementary. Sarah, stupid, silly, dumb Pharaoh. Wrong. Wow. Grenadier, wow. right? Was only mine wow. at Mont Cordelius. Where's your response? Dumb Pharaoh, Allah. Hold on, y'all gotta see this. Since you teaching the people, you want to open a university. You want people to send you money so you can open up a university, but you're stupid. Really? 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 Come on, man. Have more respect for the people. Have more respect for yourself. You wanted to come up in the house of consciousness, right? H-O-K, with no debates under your belt. We pay dues to be who we are. Real talk. I pay dues to be who we are. Reggie pay dues to be all fucking uh, it took us like a couple months to stop doing it this definitely was a joke for a while because the thing about it is he can write a song he just can't fucking sing and i don't know why people ain't telling that listen to this shit It's like JJ Icefish with a deep voice <laughs> and a list. This shit is hilarious. Put a one in the chat if you've seen or heard this song. The whole that version is JJ Ice.
who the fuck is around him. At first, I thought he was like one of those niggas that rap and sing they hook. This nigga really think he can sing. And nobody told you that. Every morning, my first text to uh, Trip C's was like, and at the end of the night, how everybody doing? I hope y'all living y'all life like a pharaoh. Every <laughs> doing that shit for like four months. Pharaoh, 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 That's what I would say. Who the fuck produced this song? I don't give a fuck how much money you paying me. I will at least tell you, bro. Bro. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it, it's a good song. A catchy song. But you should have let somebody else see. Another song too that he actually sung on TV. It's like, bro, I know you can hear your own voice. You can't tell that you're singing off key. I don't understand how motherfuckers, you know, like him, Pharaoh, and JJ Icefish, like, really think they they got vocals. <laughs> Nigga, you can't even harmonize. There's niggas like Drake. That can you know harmonize and sound good, and then there's actual singers. He can't even harmonize. But now y'all see why I think this shit is so funny. That him and, you know, him and Farrell was going at it. I know he left the studio with the copy. Right now. Well, shit, if he wasn't. He was actually trying to sell that shit. He was actually trying to sell that shit. He said, what the fuck did I walk into? I'm gonna start uh, beginning my lives like that. Peace, peace, family. I hope everybody living their life like a pharaoh. Yeah, I know this song is old. I mean, that don't mean everybody ain't here. Be here. You understand? Even polite, polite pay dues to be here.
aside from his shenanigans or whatever you want to call it, I stay out of that because it's none of my business. You understand? But the point I'm making is that at least we all came up in this institution through the ranks. You understand? The only reason Sonetta and Polite ever offered me a debate was because they saw me putting work right in the middle of the street, off rip, off the top of my head, over two different people, and they got crushed right in front of everybody. Because you're supposed to get crushed when I open my mouth. It's supposed to be like that. That's what this whole thing is about. The lock, you hit the nigga with the lock on the side of his head. Yeah. I open my mouth, you get crushed. Nothing else to talk about. So where's your... For those of you who just got in the building and you walked in me to me playing the song, I wasn't playing that shit because I like it. I was playing it to give y'all context of why I thought this shit, this video I'm playing is funny. Because it's too zesty diggers arguing. Response. Sound like stupid city. I thought you said they had no bilingual dictionary to ancient Egypt. That's what you were teaching the people. What if but I can say about Shaka though that Pharaoh won't do, that nigga will rock out. That nigga definitely will rock out. If you go check out Shaka Amos Ethers, some of stupid setting, you're gonna see. I showed all of the dictionaries, the bilingual Greek Egyptian dictionaries. How two stupid motherfuckers like y'all gonna open up a university? What y'all gonna call it? Stupid university? Ignorant, ignorant university? Ignorant you? You gonna call it IU? Like you got LIU, Long Island University? What you gonna call it? IU, ignorant university? Damn, I know he was salty as fuck when uh he saw Pharaoh make all that goddamn money off his university. Y'all made black people look stupid. That's why I'm sitting here. That's why I'm gonna keep riding on y'all. Because I'm here to prove to black people that we are not stupid. Unless you a follower, if you want a young follower, a lot of followers, you are stupid. Yeah, you and I'm looking in the camera and telling you that you a stupid motherfucker, male or female. I'm telling you that. Okay? To my oh, I learned a lot from him. No, you stupid ass. You didn't learn anything from him. All right, let me put it to you like this. No, no, no. They did learn. They did learn What's that. Whatever he taught them, they learned. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Whatever he taught you, that's what you learned. But you think because you learned you something learned right that thing. what you learned right. is correct. Right. You see, that's the, that's the distinction you all fail to make. You think because somebody's entertaining you with a lot of facts that all the facts are correct. No. Correct facts. That's what you want. Not right. pseudo-erroneous facts. When people was calling Young Farrell pseudo from the beginning, there was a reason for it. He got offended by it, but people were telling the truth. Man, that's a good idea. I think I just found a spot for you. I think I just found a role for you to play. Dude, you've been in this game for how long? How long you been studying hard? You gonna come up against people that have been studying hard for 30, 40 years and think you got wins? Come right. on, bro. Just you, you, came out of jail. Just came out of jail and you saw you, you went on a YouTube site and read a few little passages and you think you know something? Come on, man, dude. You disrespected the whole game, dude. Real shit. When I'm done with you, you're not gonna want to show your face any. It's not easy to uh keep up with, you know, keep up with making new jokes and shit. It, it really ain't. Most of the shit is just my personality, and I'm good at remixing shit. But eventually, that gets old. Where? Look, anywhere. Go to Hollywood and become an actor, because that's what you are anyway. That's what you are anyway. You're an actor. Right now, you're posing as a scholar. Go to Hollywood and become an actor. Real talk, because you can't rap. So go to, go to Hollywood and become He said, he said, go to Hollywood and become an actor, because you can't rap. This coming from another nigga that, that can't rap. I'm an actor. That's why I didn't put your whack ass rap on my song, even though you sent it to me. Wow. Yeah, real talk. You know you shitty. When another shitty rapper that think he can sing on top of rapping call your shit shitty and won't put your song on his verse. You know, time out, time out. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you ready to get to the PowerPoint? Yeah, let me say this real fast, man. Hold up, hold up.
I'm getting to the PowerPoint, but I want you to understand. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh, still live, though. All right, go ahead. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, cool. And I, I hope Shaka didn't ask him to be on his song. And then he sent in the verse. <coughs> and he still didn't use it. That that'd be even worse. Now here's the thing. Um, let me say this, man. You know, a lot of people getting on Sinetta talking about oh Sinetta, why you still riding on Pharaoh? And said, Look, this is bigger than Pharaoh, okay? Right. That's what I was gonna entitle this lecture, like, bigger than Pharaoh. The family, the okay, excuse me. Family. Yeah, and for real talk. Hey Darnell, I've been saying this shit for I don't know how long. All them videos that I posted is, is at least a year or two old. It's a whole channel, too. It's about, the. It's about look, it's about the people being miseducated. We have a right. We have a responsibility. Right. We have a responsibility to show you when you're being hoodwinked. And by who? That is our responsibility. If, if not, then what the hell are you watching for? We might as well just let you go ahead and believe every lie that's out there. Right. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Right? Uh what was what, what the lie they got? You know, oh the Mayflower came over here, and that's how Chop the white people got tree. Yeah, George Washington never told a lie. He chopped. I ain't even gonna lie. I fucks with the information that uh Shaka present. It's just the zestiness. Chop down the cherry tree. We want to let, let you believe all the lies. Ancient Egypt didn't have no bilingual dictionary, right? Right? Oh, the hieroglyphics is, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, enigmatic and incomprehensible. Yeah, that's what we're going to deal with that today, dumb Pharaoh Allah. We're also going to deal with that name, dumb Pharaoh Allah. We're going to deal with a lot of shit today. Okay? I was trying to hold back on you, but I'm not letting you use your age as an excuse. If you was old enough to pop shit and talk shit, I'm from the old school. If you old enough to step in it, you gotta get it. Answer this question okay. real quick. Why did Son never let him on the platform? That, okay, yeah, no, that's a good question. Because with between y'all, I don't care anybody. Sonetta gonna get mad. I blame Sonetta for all of that. <laughs> what you mean by that, uh Manzik? You can't slang. What you mean by that? <laughs> oh, I was thinking about that while I was putting this PowerPoint together. And let me tell you why. Hold the fuck up, man. I, I love Sadetta. No, Sadetta <laughs> let him on the platform just like he would let no, any other true. young brother on the platform. I think, hold on. That's you can't blame me for bringing a young brother on because I don't know what his motives is. Come on, Shaka. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you funny motherfucker, man. <laughs> intelligent i knew young pharaoh young so-called pharaoh i knew he was fugazi from jump when it comes to scholarship I, i'm not you can't sing though oh. hold on let me i ain't got my glass yeah you said you you he can't sing though my bad i ain't got my glasses on right now let me go put the mother anytime i'm talking about this brother please keep in mind i'm only talking about scholarship i don't know what his character is like as far as wanting to genuinely help people or um how he treats his family or you know that kind of thing i can only go with what i've seen and if i gotta judge you by your scholarship then i'm, I'm talking about him strictly from a scholarly perspective dude is garbage and we say in new york we don't say garbage he's garbage and you know, where are you from upstate or buffalo i don't know what the educational system is like in buffalo but apparently it's really really bad it's really bad because at the end of the day, dumb fat all I want to say this to you, brother, because I know you're watching. I know you're watching. I'm not, look, I know you're watching. I know Seti's watching. So let me say this to you. Wherever you from, wherever you from, you were the big fish in a small pond. You had your little following. I saw you had your following, you know? And you still got your following. Although now a lot of people starting to see you for what you are, and so they're backing off, but I'm, I'm noticing that. Exactly. Um, and a lot of people talking about it. But you was a big fish in a small pond. See, you're not in a small pond once you let my name come out your mouth. See, uh, you oh, I thought you were talking about uh, what I said. 
I'm gonna text you. My name come out your mouth, you jump into the ocean. In the ocean, you got killer whales. That's what you fucking with now. From a scholarly perspective, I'm talking about scholarship. That's what you fucking with. You fuck you swam out in the deep ocean talking small pond shit. And you should have left the orchid's name out your mouth. You don't do that. When you ever seen a little guppy or a little bass or a salmon swim up to a, a orca or kill a whale and talk shit? You ever seen that? Saw that? Hell no. So why the fuck you? What do you think that applies here? You think that applies here with scholarship? Let's go. Let's get with it. Nah, it don't, bro. So Let's anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna man. give up PowerPoint. Wait, hold on, hold on. We're gonna give it the PowerPoint. I gotta shout out some people. I gotta shout out the First Lady of the Loud Valley Movement, Kim Atanka. Eleanor Harvey, out my, 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 my LA people, my Los Angeles, California people, bailed my black ass out of jail. Yes, she did. <laughs> you heard? Real talk. So um let them know that's why you ain't come right away to do the uh, part yeah, two. Yeah, real talk. And that's why I didn't come right away to deal with part two. Cause I'm you know, brother got shit to deal. I'm a brother <laughs> this shit like everybody else. So you know what I mean? Um, you know how it is, you know, females, they don't want you to do, break up with them and all kind of craziness. But anyway, um, uh, uh, so, damn, it threw, threw me off, man. But anyway, the point I'm making that is, look, and I'm going to say this for the... And my bad, I ain't been engaging with the chat as much. Fucking arguing with my wife in these text messages. We're not arguing, but... I've been texting my wife. I don't hate young fellow Allah. I don't wish any ill will towards the young brother. I don't hate Salah Sutton said I don't wish any ill will towards him. I neither one of them. I want them to live long, healthy lives. But you're not just going to disrespect men who earn the right to be who they are. And you're not going to use us to come up and think you're going to get that for free. So you wanted to get my attention, young Pharaoh Allah, or dumb Pharaoh Allah, as the name you earned, dumb Pharaoh Allah. Now you're on the radar. Hold on. Yeah, you wanted my attention. See, that's to tell you. I always tell this to, to young people. All attention is not good attention. Tupac said that in, in his song. He said, when they see your picture, they come to get you. All the, You don't want all the attention. Because sometimes the wrong people are going to be looking at you. So you should have stayed off of my radar. My radar is like the worst place you want to be. It really is, because it's, it's made in a way that you don't understand. OK? Right, let's get so we're about to get it. I waited all day. Come on, bro. We had you know we talk to the people. Yeah, but you so, gotta okay, go to okay, the that's true, that's true. All right, so look. Shout out to Kim and Tom. Yeah, we still got two hours left. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. My bad. Shout out to Wendy in the stillness over across the pond. Uh who I'm else? You, though. Uh, oh, shout out to T C Ackerson and Grace Pangea. Shout out to the Queen. Absolutely. Someone who I have great affection for. Um, great affection always will. All right, we're um, We are. Ah, okay, here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, scholarship so at its best, family. Oh, I got it. You said Shaka earned the right to be gay. Uh, how is that, Jaded? <laughs> Shout out Black Brainstorm. That's my show. Y'all know about it. Shout out. Black Brainstorm is still on, people. It ain't over. We just getting started over there. Uh -huh. But then on the other hand, if Shaka really was gay, would anybody care or be surprised? Not me. Uh -huh. You know, but um, I had to come home to do what I got to do. You feel me? Somebody got to mind the front yard. You know what I mean? You don't, let people, you, don't let, you don't let people just walk in the front yard and do whatever they want. It don't work like that. Feel me? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, real talk though. Foul, young, dumb Pharaoh Allah. Dumb Pharaoh Allah, not young Pharaoh Allah. You, you graduated, no, you got demoted. You got demoted from young Pharaoh Allah to dumb Pharaoh Allah. Predicated on Grenadier right, or as you say, Grenadier right. And Montanadius. <laughs> okay? You got deno you got demoted to, to dumb Pharaoh Allah. Uh, oh, and another thing. Hold on. Put the camera on me real fast, please. I got to say. I got to no, say. I don't want this. you to get sidetracked today. Not, I want you to stay focused and bro, let's get it in. These things were thought of before I did this, so I got to say. This. All right, let's go. All right. This is for all you sisters who are sending me messages asking me to talk about this particular subject matter. I'm going to talk about it right now.
That's what makes it so funny. Now you get me. Two zesty ass hoteps arguing. It's like two snakes hissing at each other. He said, not nah, being just funny. That's it. Now, but then I'm going to blast you because you're wrong. You're sending me messages asking me to comment on the fact that it's a lot of dumb females that follow young Farrell a lot and that they think he's right no matter what he says, mm. right? Even if he's wrong, they don't care. And so they go on the videos and they protect him, even when he's wrong. They said that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit, I But now these sisters are sending me messages. Does anybody want to watch this PowerPoint? You see a hair pulling match. I ain't gonna lie, he does bust him out on a lot of shit from what I saw. But do anybody want to watch the PowerPoint? Right. So let me uh go to this video. Hey, uh, what's the name of that other song that he did? Jaded, the one that Trip C's like. Was it uh Egypt was a black land? Right. Uh, asking me you can call me call on the street. This is all that he sung on TV. We should probably have his show. I'm not going to lie. It's a catchy song. He just should have got somebody else to sing it. For Dr. Bill. My hotel. My hotel. Funniest part about it, I can't imagine the producer face the first time he walked in that goddamn studio. He probably his first thoughts probably was, "Oh, this a rapper." If he matter of fact, he had that goddamn thing on his head. So that's a dead giveaway that this nigga crazy. 
But then you know you're like, all right, I shouldn't judge him. Maybe he, he maybe he got some bars. And then this nigga starts singing. Oh my god. And the funniest part about it is he really thinks he, you know, on key and sounds good. He obviously does if he had enough uh, fucking balls to sing it on TV. What a guitar player. Uh, didn't he have a guitar player or something like that? The one thing people ain't thinking about is the studio makes your voice sound better. And if he sounds like this in the studio, imagine how he sounds live. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can find that shit. Because Jabari had a TV show. Yup, there it is. Boom. This nigga dressed like a whole Egyptian. Oh shit, I forgot about that. He didn't have a problem with that then. Oh, Trying to speak ill. Not only did he have a fucking guitar player. I don't know how he got the man to agree to this shit. He must have paid him. Nah, Jabari wasn't on the guitar. That's the only way motherfuckers agree in this shit. Is oh, of Anika. Come on, man. You know, sir. Who would have. I don't think Jabari ever heard him sing before either. All the lies you've been told, baby, let me set you straight. What we did back to the spray, you just don't know. Let me show you the past so your future can look bright. Help you walk into the light, help you see yourself. I've heard them say oh that God. we wasn't even there. Baby, let me make it clear. We were the ones. If you pay attention to what I'm up. Sound like somebody slaying a, a cat. Or a dog or something. First heard this, like, oh, who's who slaying a dog in the backyard? We need to call animal cruelty. About to show, there's no doubt that you don't know. We were the ones, and I'm going to show you who. Who left the time he was, said she was black because. That's the way that fine man has show you. Oh, my God. Keeps up with a black man. Keeps up with a black man. Because that's the way that fight down and now. Once we came from the southern land so hot. No, they think that we forgot. Remember the time from the horn in the west. These black people made their way. See them coming for Friday. And here we are. Now, uh, let's move on from that. And that's the fucking crazy part. Even the people that went at him, I still haven't heard somebody tell this nigga he can't sing. That's the most baffling, crazy part about it. I still have not yet to hear somebody, even the people that was dissing him, that he was going back and forth with. I have yet to hear any of them niggas say, nigga, you can't fucking sing. I want you to know that if I had enmity for Shaka, if I did not have respect for Shaka, why would I bring him into the studio and really try to show respect for him? Why would I do that? I have not done anything to this brother. Yeah, Jabari a better man than me because I would have stopped it right away. Susie, him there, him there. Oh, whoa, 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 uh, whoa, 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 bro. Cut, cut, go to commercial. Or at least, or at least told the, uh, the uh, cameraman, go to commercial. Go to commercial. Why he saying? We'll just record it and give him and give him a tape. Because <laughs> it was like a, one of those small TV shows that nobody knew about. So how would he even know that you know it played or not? I'd have went to commercial on his ass. 
Imagine somebody watching this shit for the first time. I would never watch this show again. If you let that crazy nigga up there singing, what, you know, what you gonna think about the host? And what I almost hear from him is pain. And I, I folks, I'm, I'm, I feel bad that he's in pain. You but you, you must understand that that is not my doing. I that is not you. my doing. And for him to actually say that we are fake, that practice, spiritual practitioner. That nigga said he hear pain. I hear fucking delusion. Yo, bro. If, if anything, yo. I need to hear you come up. Yeah. You a little muffled, though. And don't forget the one I saw last night. Uh, the, the video that you did? Mm -hmm. New video, right? But, um, Jabari had a show on... Apple. Yeah. The, Jabari had a show on yeah, public was, access television. Oh, I'm, I'm just getting up, bro. <laughs> uh, shit, if, 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 when people see this shit, I think, I think a lot of people, a lot more people are going to... Uh, Think twice before they fuck with you or say some shit in the, in the chat. Oh, you talking about my expose on Chomp? Yeah. That ain't the hat. They know. They know. No, but they know. They know. They know now. What, that I'm fishing? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> you could dig, you know, you a techie. Oh, uh, yeah, the Navy chained me well. They fucked around mm -hmm. and put an IP with the Intel department. Right. They already, look, the ones that listened already knew. That ain't no secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah, motherfuckers don't realize. Folks don't know. <laughs> right. What motherfuckers don't realize is when y'all, when they you, you get to arguing with somebody in the chat, I'm not just defending you. I'm trying to save these niggas. Right. They don't know what they, they getting into. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Right. I've been on chill mode. You know, polite's in jail. My my mission is complete. Right. Stay. She'll find out the day you, she'll find out the day you got your first kiss. <laughs> the day your nuts dropped. I'm right. Telling. Everybody knows Shaka can't let me show you who never. Because that's the way that Rob made him. Hmm. Well, he can't carry a tune in a bucket. Right. I gotta show you remix it, it, some it, it, of my channel. I gotta part. find that. <laughs> but nobody told him that though. What that he couldn't carry a tune in the bucket? Look, yeah. Shaka no can goddamn well he can't sing. Before he ever hit the internet, somebody told him, man, you sound like hot trash. Somebody had to tell him. But I never heard the people around him. Like, as a friend, no, because if I was your they, friend, I would have They all in, look, you ain't seen the half of it. The side ponytail and the, um, what's True. the name of that song? Hold on. Is Shadow in the chat or uh, Leonard? What's that one where he's spinning around in a circle with no shirt on and it? Show you is like his 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 best song, cause them other ones sound worse. I only know the Pharaoh joining that one. I know he had more. Oh, he has a discography, brother. Right. Hot dress on the garbage can lid. Right. Somebody, even that part. Somebody should have said something to him about that. Man, well, I know look, you want your easy thing, but you look crazy as a motherfucker. Look, he had a uh, he was supposed to be in ancient Africa, but there was a ceiling fan in the window. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, one of his music videos, I was screaming. That nigga had a box fan in the window, but you're supposed to be in ancient Africa. Right. Shit, that's how me and uh Uda fell out. I, mm -hmm. I mean, like as a friend, if you're wrong, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, you know, I wouldn't do it in public. Yeah. But I'm gonna come behind the scenes by yo, I'm your friend, you know, and, and if I didn't care about you, I wouldn't say this. That's exactly what I said to him. 
But you buck. Mm-hmm. Ain't like that shit. Of course not. Crazy people don't never like being pointed right. out that daddy crazy. Right. Now he little louse Uda. True. I think that girl did something to it. Hey, look, ain't no telling. The only catch is they over there and we over here. True. But I know, I, you know, I know Uda because, you know, we talked a lot behind the scenes. And yeah. He, he, but he, I'm saying if she got it, he either buried somewhere or he on somebody chain gang over there in, in um Sudan. Or that. But he's the type of person that loves the spotlight. Like, yeah. Um, so he the best pop be back out. The nigga had 37 channels. Yeah. Yeah. So I find it hard. That was some weird ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, he locked up somewhere. He ain't dead. He locked up somewhere. Cause somebody got in touch with his brother, and they was like, "He all right," but they wouldn't tell him nothing else. So he probably locked up somewhere on a chain gang in Sudan or some shit. Probably locked in her basement. I don't think she kept him. You know, her dad's Sudanese. He like some kind of big oh, shot over there. That's why I say he might be in a chain gang in Sudan. True. That could be one of the reasons why she won't, you know, answer or tell us what. Yeah. Is. It's either that or she did something. Basically, or she called some people to do something. Mm -hmm. At this point, you know, it's going to take Interpol to figure it out. So that's beyond my pay grade. So she, you know, she drank a lot. A hell of a lot. You, know, you saw when she snatched that wig off, she turned into a whole nother bitch. Right. She might have blacked out on that nigga. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. uh, what is that other video? Nah, did you find Since shots of the greatest moments? No, no. If you, if you can find it. I might be able to when I get home. Um, I'm just sitting in the parking lot waiting for some. Now I saw Shakreen and I couldn't resist. But you heard what I said? <laughs> Say that again. I know I that song played. I said, I can't believe motherfuckers didn't know about the Jenny Little Spoon shit. I know, right? I don't know how that slipped past them. And I've been saying it too. Right, and then I've been sitting up here talking about the cat drugged him. Yeah, that's what it. That's why she meant when she kept saying the cat drugged him. <laughs> I'm about to do a a China career a career series. <laughs> uh, Sound like a raccoon. Hey, now you are not gonna pick on <gasps> Shaka's melodious tones, okay? Because geez, um, Egypt was a black land. And King Tut was a black man. Nikwa Boo. And yeah, he's gonna show the two songs. You who Nefertari was said she was black because I told you he can write, he just can't sing. I told you that was Trip C shit. Hell <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, if somebody else was singing it, it'd be a banger. Right. I already proved that one. Right. Hey, don't nobody Somebody. remember nothing but them two songs because them the best two songs he got. True. Those are palatable. <laughs> they still awful, but you can listen to them. The rest of them oh, motherfuckers. Is, hmm? is, that, uh, is, is the straw uh, clip in there in the best of Shaka? Um, I think that video is called Shaka's Greatest Moments or some shit. Where he up there, uh, <laughs> justice for the straw. Because he was molesting that motherfucker. If it's, not, if it's not, play the straw one first. I'll drop down to see if I can find it. I'm going to try to look for it too. I think All it's right. called like Shaka Zesty Moments or Shaka Greatest Moments or some <laughs> shit. Uh, um, I'll be back up when I get home. Shaka almost. You heard me? Yeah. I'll be back up when I get home.
I heard you. Right. Where is it at? It's this one straw scene. I think it was like zesty straw lick or something. This shit is hilarious. Oh, I can't find it. We'll go back to that uh, Umar video that his name sent me. Or I could play a couple of them uh, Genie Little Spoon uh, videos that y'all wasn't here for last night. For the people that wasn't here. And that Hassan Campbell, uh, some of them, uh, What's the names too? Some skits I ain't even get to. My, my thing is, 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 is y'all need to. What, what happened? On August the 21st of 2019, this <laughs> summer, I want to have a grand Excellent. opening at the FDMG building, Team Pan-African headquarters. I want to have a conference. I want music. I want fashion show. I want seminar. I want yoga class. I want African language. I want a musical concert right across the street. Right. We got a big park. We want to rent that out. Yeah, a big left. park. A big celebration time. with food and festivals and activities for the children with over 100. And I, dro I think I dropped this one earlier, but the original video is longer. I just cut Nature Boy part out because it was long as fuck. And I'm pretty sure the people who originally was watching it probably didn't even get to that part. 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. <laughs> Allows his name for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Already there. And niggas is developing the government right now, yo. That's gonna be here when the white man structures up. That's basically, yo, son, this shit is waking up on its own. Nature's doing this. I'm not doing it. Nature's doing it. Wait a minute. Yeah. So I was telling one of my hoes the other day, I had to check this bitch and tell her, look, this bitch, yeah, no. These bitches be getting out of pocket. That shit cracked me the fuck up, so I had to tell one of my hoes, look, it's the yeah. These bitches be getting out of pocket. For those of you who don't know the context of this video, this is supposed to be uh, General Genie seeing Nature Boy for the first time. <laughs> Yo! 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 Come here, dog. Come here, nigga. Oh my god, it can't be this. Oh my god. 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 That's what he was really saying. He said, Oh my god. You said, Oh, 
the fuck did you? Hey, Rin. You mean to tell me we've been trolling my evil gay twin brother, Marshall, this whole time, and this motherfucker was on the loose? Oh, I quit. I quit. The, the jig is up. I, the jig is up. I quit. This is some, you don't get, you don't get no crazier than this, fam. You don't get, you, you get no crazier than this. So, I knew I was the first one to do this. Mama, phone joke. tell Pastor Deacon, I will be back in church on Sunday. Yes, I will be back in church on Sunday. I will be a good little boy from here on out. I promise I will never let my cat drug me again. I'll stop beating up my baby mamas. I won't shoot at none of their houses again. Wait, what? No, I'm not on drugs right now. <coughs> we, you asking too many questions. I do okay. I forgot I did all this shit, to be honest with you. But I did tell you a thousand times. ...doesn't sculpt an hourglass figure, especially if you've got a... This the one ones with my... Let me find the channel so I can put it in the uh, chat. But when you type it in, you can't find it. The Nazi one. Yeah, school D. That's where the gold booty joke came from, too. Yeah. Yeah, school diesel. I need you to hit Hector up and tell him we need another eight ball. Peace, peace, family. This video right here is about how I said this before. I said it a thousand times. I'm not fucking with the black community. I'm not fucking with y'all. Y'all wasn't nice to me. Y'all didn't treat me well. I'm not fucking with the. I'm not fucking with the black community. I saved the world in 2020, and all the shit that I did for y'all, and y'all just threw it back in my face and betrayed me. So I'm not fucking with y'all. And I'm gonna go get me a white girl. I'm going to get me a white girl. I'm going to get me a white girl. I'm going to go over Germany and get me a Nazi. And another thing that made it easy to push all these videos out, I was actually living in the house at this time. You know how in the city, the houses is cheap. Real cheap. But we came back to the uh, suburbs. So, you know, most we could do is a kind of I'm about to go get me a white girl over there in Germany named Slavonka. <laughs> and she's going to treat me right. Because y'all black bitches didn't treat me right. <laughs> Even though I beat half y'all up and blamed it on y'all. Slavonka is going to treat me right. Slavonka is going to treat me right. She's going to get me right. <laughs> I don't know what y'all want me to say. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a Nazi white girl. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't had your Now y'all get why I was trying to link up with, uh, knee slap so bad. Cause I, I do a better Pharaoh impression and he does a better a SETI impression. And his production is better than mine. So if we linked up together, we'll fuck shit up. Y'all chance with this. I don't know what y'all want me to say. I'm gonna get me a Nazi white girl. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't had y'all chance with this. How? Y'all didn't blew it. Y'all could have had all this. How? But you blew it. You had, you had, you had plenty of chances with this, but you blew it. I'm not fucking with the black community. I'm not going on no black platforms. I'm about to go on The Bachelor. I'm 
And I ain't gonna lie, it, it was a little tough coming up with this shit on the spot because I ain't write none of this shit down. I just went off the top of my dome. About to be on the back foot. <laughs> so y'all gonna watch me run this bag up with the white man. <laughs> me and Miss Fintech is gonna be on the beats sipping pina coladas with the white man <laughs> while we run this bag up. <laughs> I'm about to go get over to Nazi Germany and go get me a Nazi white chip. <laughs> and y'all gonna be mad? Cause y'all black women, y'all fucked up. Y'all had your chance. Y'all had your chance with this. I know. But you didn't treat me right. <laughs> you didn't treat me right. You didn't treat me right. <laughs> Who out there saying I'm gay? How is I'm gay? Like I said before, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How is I'm gay? You can go ask Miss Fintech. You can go ask Miss Fintech that. Go look at the cameras in jail, and you can go ask Miss Fintech that. I can't deal with y'all black women no more. I can't deal with y'all black women. Y'all might beat me up and I have to call the cops. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not dealing with y'all black women no more. I'm not. I'm not. I'm about to get this money and run it up with the white man. Y'all about to see me on The Bachelor. And I'm going in the Star Wars movie. As the first Karen. Mandarin. I'm, I'm you might notice that I, I drew the circle as a zit and then wrote zit under it. <laughs> I'm going in the Star Wars movie. And best believe that. Best believe that. Bitch. Bitch. Best believe that. Best believe that. Psst. You already know I'm about to run this bag up with the white man. Y'all had your chance. Y'all had your chance. Y'all had your chance. And niggas, I. And everything that I'm saying is exactly what Pharaoh was saying. I just would uh, remix it a little bit. And that's what made it so hard because I was trying to remember everything that he was saying and, you know, switch the words around at the same time. Out there talking about him gay. How is him gay? Huh? How? I heard, I heard Hitler had some of them bad bitches over there. <laughs> So, I'm about to go over there to Germany and get me a Nazi help. <laughs> and me and Miss Fintech is going to be on the beach sipping pina coladas, running this bag up with the white man. And you're going to be mad. <laughs> How is I'm gay? How is I'm gay? Because I got spitting and buttholes on my mind all night. That's how is I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I look good. And I look good. <laughs> Bitch, you're mad. Bitch, you're mad. Bitch, you're mad. You're not gonna be. You're not gonna be. You're not going to the chip. You're not going to the chip. A lot of y'all not going to the chip. A lot of y'all not going to the chip. A lot of y'all not going to the chip. I'm not going to the chip either. But y'all not going to the chip. Y'all not. And you're mad. I got 51 acres and a mule over there. And I'm about to build a Japanese slash Egyptian sex palace, I mean palace, over there with the white man. And I'm not giving no more lectures. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing no more lectures. Y'all can go to Otten Spoon University and see the thousand lectures I stole, I mean, put on there. That's where the spoon not being joke came from. And get the information from there. Because, bitch, bitch, y'all done betrayed me and everything. And Golden Booty, that bitch, that bitch, I'm going to have the FBI on her ass. I'm going to have a white man come tickle her to death. White man, get her. I mean, what y'all want me to say? 
and the spoon thing came from uh I think it was Jada and Trip C's. When he first said something about the aliens, uh I heard one of them say it like, I only got one question. Who was the big spoon and who was the little spoon when they abducted you? So I came up with Jenny Little Spoon. I, what, what, what you want me to say? <laughs> I'm about to get, I'm, I've am i been talking to the white man and Miss Fintech. <laughs> we about to run this bag up. Hold on. <laughs> <sighs> hey, yo. Two Diesel, I told you. <laughs> Call Hector and go get another eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> my cat got those drugs it wasn't me. <laughs> I told y'all before it was my cat who drugged me it was my cat who abducted me and y'all ain't want to believe me but the white man believe me though but the white man believe me though <laughs> but the white man believe me though no he actually fucking did that he actually did that <laughs> I'm about to run this bag up with the white man. <laughs> and bitch. And that's what makes it so funny if you was like here the whole time watching the whole time. Literally everything I'm saying and doing is repeating, a, you know, exactly what he did, just a little different. You're not going to be a part of it. <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> I can't deal with you black women because y'all gonna wind up beating me up and I'm gonna have to call the cops. So I'm going over to Germany and get me a Nazi bitch. I'm gonna go get me a Nazi white girl. <laughs> and with that being said, actually the uh the only videos that I did uh that wasn't like a uh um imitation or something that he did was the Dr. Inky Jones. Other than that, every fucking single video was something that he did or said. I just added comedy to it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what y'all want me to say. <laughs> when y'all had, y'all had the real. Y'all had the real. And y'all didn't want it. Y'all had the real. And then y'all, 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 y'all betrayed me. Y'all betrayed me. So I'm about to go get with this white man and run this bag up. <laughs> Bitch! I'm about to get with the white man and run this bag up. <laughs> How? You're mad. I'm about to get with the white man and run this bag up. <laughs> You're mad. And me and my white girl, Slavanka, is gonna be sitting on the beach with Miss Fintech sitting sipping pina coladas. Which would you want me to do? What you want me to do? And I can I can uh impersonate any damn near anybody. And if I can't, you know, do it fully, it's probably because I can't get the voice down. But I, I, I can definitely uh imitate anybody. I got a Mike Tyson joint on here too. And with that being said. Peace, family. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah, uh, yo, put your inky joints. I'm telling you, the back and forth between me and Jada doing the Dr. Inky shit is hilarious. Do I still got the Mike Tyson joint up? But it was around this time. No, it's on my regular channel. I ain't never hear my uh, Mike Tyson imitation, did y'all? <laughs> I think I uh, impersonate him the best. Where is it at? There it is. Nope, that ain't it. Wait, what the fuck was that? I 
have this shit. I don't even remember doing it. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the All right, we live? All right, it's up. We lit. It's the general. Toes. We lit. It's up. Niggas playing on my top. 10 apps. Four inventions. 37 products. It's up. We lit. I'm about to be a trillionaire. And uh, I say this to say this. Based on the population of Cambodia, if everybody in Cambodia download my app, I'm gonna make $57 trillion and 82 cents a month. So I don't know why niggas playing on my top. It's up. Niggas ain't coming. We going to the chip. Big Korea, Japan. I choose China, Korea. Big Kim Jong-un, Xi Jinping. Niggas ain't coming to the chip. I do it's not up. remember doing this shit. It's up. We lit. I don't know why niggas playing on my top. I'm the one who caught Monica Lewinsky giving Bill Clinton that yik yuck in the Oval Office back in 1998. I'm the one who saw that alien crash in the backyard in Roswell in 1947. I'm the one who told y'all Michael Jackson was still alive, got about his casket, and moonwalked out the funeral. I'm the one who told y'all John Benet Ramsey really wasn't dead, grew up to be Katy Perry, kissing girls, and was liking it. I'm the one who got that radio signal from outer space aliens back in 1977. I'm the one who found out Hermione was fucking Harry Potter, cheating on Ron Weasley. I'm the one who told y'all Shaggy was fucking Velma in the back of the mystery vein. I'm the one who made Jimmy Hoffa disappear for the Mafia back in 1975. So I don't know why niggas playing on my top. I did all that. That was my work. So I don't know why niggas playing on my top. <coughs> Hold on. Hold on, I have a gay thought. You better be careful, little buddy. I do not remember doing this shit. I probably did it at work. A lot of videos I had to whip together real quick. And forgot I did this shit. Where the fuck is that Mike Tyson video? Couldn't have been more than a year ago. Oh, yeah, it probably was because I was at the house. And it actually was uh, Trip C's and my audience that convinced me to start doing uh, comedy skits and shit like that. I never thought I was funny. I still don't really think I'm funny. There it is. Peace, peace, family. Yeah, it's your boy, Mike Tyson. I am Mike Tyson, and I just want to let you guys know that I'm starting a new program called the It's OK, otherwise the Houses of Consciousness. And we're going to be bringing you powerful, powerful information, family. We're going to be bringing so much powerful information. It, 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 it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. The information that we're going to bring is so fucking powerful, family. So fucking powerful because I discovered consciousness recently and it set me on the righteous path. It set me on the very righteous path. Tripsy, do you remember who came up with this idea? So I'm on the path to righteousness because I don't like the person that I used to be. I'm very scared of that man. That man was crazy. I'm very scared of that man. That man will fuck you until you love him. He would knock you out because there was so much power in this right hand. It was so much power in this right hand. I would knock you out and fuck you till you love me. But that's not the path that I'm on. I'm trying to spread love, awareness, and information to my um, people. It's a YouTube channel that I'm starting called The HOK, uh, short for the Houses of Consciousness. That's right. Your boy has discovered consciousness and it set me on a righteous path. That's um, right, family. We're going to be bringing you some very, very powerful, powerful information. I'm going to have some people come sit on the couch 
and they're going to tell me all the information that they discovered during their journey and of enlightenment and wisdom. So that's what we're going to be doing, family. We're going to be bringing some very, very, very powerful, powerful informations on a very righteous path. Because I didn't, I didn't, I used to be a bad man. I used to be a very bad man, and I did, I, I didn't like being the bad man that I was. It scared me a lot. So discovering consciousness has, has made me. Has, it's really, it's really made me a new, whole new person. And I, I see some of you guys out there. I, I see some of you guys. I see some of you guys out there disrespecting the consciousness community and disrespecting our ancestors. The one thing I've noticed that people have been going around disrespecting our ancestors like it's some type of joke. Uh, sign games are it's not a joke. game. It's not a game. I want to eat your fucking heart. I'm the baddest out there. You're not man enough. I'm the baddest out there. I put your wife's placenta in the microwave and eat that shit. This one was the hardest to do. I bite your fucking ears off. This I and Mike Tyson that you're talking to. You disrespect my ancestors with this power in my white hand. I got so much power in this white hand. I'm telling you, I'm going to knock you out and fuck you till you love me. So this one actually was the hardest to do because I didn't know uh, Mike Tyson had a podcast. So I was just basically going off the mannerisms I saw when I was a kid. I'm disrespecting our ancestors. It's not going down with Iron Mike or the scene. Hmm? I know you need to stop disrespecting the ancestors. Pause it. Like it's some type of game. I I just gotta say that I'm gonna knock you the fuck out when I catch you. Cause you're not you're not man enough to fuck with this. You're not man enough to fuck with this. You you, you guys wanna be out there disrespecting pause it, pause our ancestors like it's like it's like it's a fucking game. Like I know somebody like came up with the idea originally, and I just executed it. Something was going on with Mike Tyson, and we ran with it. Right. This is right after he started that podcast, running around in that Bumblebee costume. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was it. <laughs> and I was like, I don't give a fuck what Mike wear, and I'm not, I'm not saying shit to him. I think, no, wait, Mike I think it was Mike on Drink Champs when he went on Drink Champs. I know it was the first time I ever did the Mike Tyson impression. Mm -hmm. And somebody was like, yo, what if Mike Tyson started, uh, you know, something was in consciousness or something like that? <laughs> yeah. That's how most of these like it's, like it's a fucking game. talk about salt belts and then be like, hey, what if such and such and somebody wrote right. with it? That's what I'm saying. We got a whole lot of fucking talent. In our group. That's how we got Inky getting sea mouse from the Hudson River. Right. I swear, I'm telling you, if everybody in our group put 100%, I'm telling you, you fuck shit up. Hey, Ben, don't be embarrassed. At least you know better now. That's the thing. If you were still lost in that shit, then you could be embarrassed. But you probably wouldn't be embarrassed because you think he was right. <sighs> I ain't the only person I can uh, imitate or impersonate. Mm -hmm. I can pretty much impersonate anybody, except for you know, I, if I can't do it all the way, it's probably the voice. Like Seti, like I can impersonate his mannerisms and his his uh, speech pattern, but the voice is hard. The accent. Oh, man, Zit, you're not going to find anybody with that fucked up body shape. You're going to have to get a muscle suit like Monty did. Right. That's the only reason why I ain't do that shit. Yet. That's the only reason why I ain't do Umar. Because I'm a skinny nigga. I can only impersonate motherfuckers that's my size. <coughs> so if I catch you in the you face. Matter of fact, I just did Mike Tyson. He's way bigger than me. So if I do it from the head down. <coughs> Yeah, but he still ain't got no neck. Yeah, yeah. The people out there. This was yeah, is the neck part. Back in our ancestors, I'm gonna knock you out, and I'm gonna fuck you till you love me. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna bring you on this couch that I have all the people coming over here talking, and giving the information, and I'm gonna fuck you till you love me, punk. So you're not gonna disrespect our ancestors. I am Mike Tyson is not tolerating that. So, with that being said, family, we're going to be bringing you powerful, powerful information. And 
the houses of consciousness will be bringing powerful powerful speakers and leaders and we're just going to get the information out to our people you know we're going to be setting up rallies debates you know and if anybody's going to be fighting in my debates you better be man enough because i got so much power in this white hand i knock you the fuck out so you better be man enough to come up on this couch because if you're not man enough i'm going to fuck you till you love me I needed to watch Mike Tyson more because I only know a few fucking things that he said. Yeah. And I was uh, freestyling this shit too. All these fucking videos, I ain't writing none of this shit down. Mm -mm. Where did Hassan Campbell skid at? <laughs> Recently, and for no reason at all, I asked. I think it's stupid that they uh, make you watch commercials on your own videos. Mint Mobile's legal right. team. And Big wireless companies are allowed to watch your own videos if you want to make money. I like just keep hmm. watching. Yeah. It's so it like count the uh, commercials that's what I did. So it must be fake. I wonder if they count the commercials that's watched on your own videos. Yo. If you think about it, anybody could just watch their own video. Commercial. Yeah, but yeah. it's only one view. I mean, do you know how long it would take to run your channel up with one account? <laughs> Not if you want those other uh, things that they do with the cell phones and the likes. But no, from what I understand, um it'll count it, but not really. Mm. Okay, push play. It's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire. Who the fuck calling my phone now? Luke Thywalker, what's up with you, man? Why are you always looking around like that? Who the fuck is you looking at? Shall we begin? Oh, uh, here we go again with some more bullshit. All right, check it, right? This is going to get real deep. I strongly doubt it. You can't even spell the word deep. King Vaughn. <laughs> Nigga, did you know that I can see you? Nigga, did you just lick your lips before mentioning another man's name? No, wait. <coughs> Scratch that. You paused. Looked out into the distance and then licked your lips before you said King Vaughn's name. Oh my God! That means you were thinking and fantasizing of that man. You making me uncomfortable with this conversation already, thigh master. You bugging. You really bugging. Was this now what about King Vaughn? Let's, 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 let's sit back and analyze King Vaughn, right? Let's analyze what's really going on. Wait, wasn't this, was this a video he covered? Was this a video he commented on, or was that was that a lie? That was a live, I think. Oh, uh, well, you did more than analyze King Vaughn. Yeah, probably. you did way more than analyze him. Oh, yeah. either, you were fantasizing, either. not analyzing. Yeah, more that comment. When you looked off into the distance, paused and licked your lips before you said that man's name, you was fantasizing about him. Now, the new plantation called the penitentiary decided to leak. Footage of 2017, <laughs> King Vaughn in the penitentiary. Nigga, if you say penitentiary one more goddamn time, you say in penitentiary like it's the only word with more than four letters in it that you know. You using that word, you just tossing that word around. You can't even spell temp penitentiary, and you just tossing that word around like it like it's nothing. Get ready to sign it to the home, the homo house so that he don't go into a house. With a bunch of knives waiting for him. And how do you know that's why he wanted to get transferred? Did he tell you that? Or you just guessing? Talking out your ass as usual? He love, we love, bring it back. Come rewind, rewind, rewind. Bring it back, rewind what? Nigga, you ain't said shit. What the fuck is we rewinding? All right, so check it, right? So those of us that's been to jail, right? Me, I spent three years on Rikers Island. Nigga, don't try to compare it, make it seem like you're, you're 
stay in jail and King Von stay in jail was the same. You went to jail for beating up women. Some woman gonna whoop your ass good. <laughs> you like to fight women. That's why you was in jail. You keep trying to tell everybody you went to jail for murder. But when we look up your records, well, I only see domestic violence on there, man. Your arrest charges for those three years in Rikers Islands for beating up your girlfriend. You pushed her down the steps or some shit like that. If you want so stop trying to make it seem like, oh, you in the same boat and category as King Ron. Nah, nigga. And sometimes you go, the, 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 the facility, the jail, I'll put you in the house where all your enemies is at. You talking to the wrong person when it comes to that. I've never been to jail, so I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. I can't relate to that. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. What the fuck you talking to me about jail shit for? I ain't a jail nigga like you. And sometimes when you go, when you get to down to our last thirty minutes. Hey yo, I got a question. What? My video that you played earlier. Did I call somebody? Uh, not that I seen. I didn't play the whole thing though. Okay, because I only called once. After I realized how damn the Lulu that woman was, I left it alone. But I called one of the places he was supposed to be, um, what you calling that? Because I'm going through my stuff for, you know, seeing what I'm going to repurpose when I hit the monetization button. And I'm finding all these damn videos where I was talking about Chomp. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's, thank you. I'm glad you brought that up. We down to our last thirty minutes. If anybody want to add on more time, go ahead and do it now. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't playing this the whole time. If people added on more time. Mm-hmm. And now that you said that shit, we can play those joints. Yeah, it's like some of them is just us hard. talking, but the ones I'm interested in is the ones where I was pulling the sites, cause you know that stuff is gone. But not not everybody know who Chunk is. For those of you who don't know Umar. who Chunk is, that's Umar. <clears throat> to that gate. There's a there's a gate right there where you can sit up there and say, I'm not going in there. I'm pretty sure your bitch ass ain't tell no CEOs that you wasn't going in there. I'm pretty sure you didn't. They would have put their foot up your ass so damn quick. You would have liked that shit too. But I'm pretty sure you ain't say that shit to no CEOs. Some things they didn't let you refuse. So now King Vaughn is on the gate. Talking trash back and forth to his ops. Yeah. They're looking at him like, ha, ha, ha. shall we begin? I can tell by the excitement in your voice and the expression on your face when you said that, that you love that shit. <clears throat> Almost 50 years old. And you love that shit. There's no more hiding it. You can't disguise it anymore. Right. Because usually you try to disguise it as something deep. But you're not going to Jedi mind trick me with that bullshit. So now y'all saw what it's like to be in jail for those of y'all that was in the jail. Dudes was in there with, with, with weapons like this. I just realized you sitting at that table with a knife and an axe. What 50 year old man sits on a computer with a knife and an axe talking about jail politics but also claims they're a citizen at the same time Woo. <laughs> there's so many things wrong with this situation it's not even funny bro it's not even funny nigga you need to get yourself off the internet and get yourself some help now Vaughn is standing there and uh, he know this whole block this whole house that he's getting ready to go into is this ops? God damn, nigga, you talking like you was in the cell with him. How the fuck you know what was going on? You 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 talking like you you was standing right next to King Vaughn when he did it. So now he's saying he's willing to go into the homosexual house Look, so he don't get chopped up. I bet you would agree with him moving over there to the uh, other side with the gay folks, cause your ass would have took your ass over there either way. That's what I heard. Let's not forget. Hassan got into, got into it with a gay guy in jail. And I don't yeah, know if let's not forget that yeah. Ron slid over there to that side to get away from an old boy that was taking booty. True. But if you get into it with a gay guy, you get, people in jail, they don't, they don't associate with gay people. So if you get into a fight with a gay guy, it's either because you're trying to hide, you did something with him, most likely. 
Nah, the um, well, yeah, th in this case, this dude was known for taking booty. He's still in there. They had the thing up where he had somebody sitting on his lap. Um, oh, him and Vaughn was about to get into it, and Vaughn slid over to that side. He told the fuck he was gay to get away from that man. Oh, damn. The story I heard was he had a bunch of people over there that was from the rival gang. That's the dude, but the dude is known for oh, taking shit. booty. So not only was he... <laughs> Yeah, oh, the dude man. called Jay something, cause they had a um, they had it on Reddit. They found the um, cause that's the the, the video where he in the cell and he talking to him and he told him he gay. The yeah, other dude was, like, was uh, there because the last right. time, yeah, it's it's three video. The one where he jumped on that dude, and then the next one is that one where he in there telling the folk he gay. Yeah, and he slid dead over there with them. To get away oh. from him taking his boot. I mean, it sounds weird, but the dude was in the regular population with everybody else. <laughs> yeah, Lil J, that's his name. Oh, it was Lil J. They say, yeah, they say Lil, Lil J, J ended up off. taking everybody's cheeks. Right. You see the one other joint that he did with Skimbone? The jail uh, mm -hmm. skit that he did? Mm -hmm. uh, Skimbone, they did a jail skit, and Skimbone was like, I ain't fucking with no rapists. And Lil J was like, So what if you, you near one right now? And like looked at him real tough. Mm. And this was before that shit came out. Yeah, see. Like yeah, from what true. I understand, the streets been the new since he been locked up, but then they had video so, you know, evidence. Had a reputation. There's a lot of gay niggas that are, you know, like gangster gay niggas. But if you you My gotta realize how bad this man is. If Vaughn slid over to the gay side of the jail to get away from him, he right. felt safe over there with the gay folk. Right. And Vaughn a lot smaller than he too. Yeah. Vaughn a lot smaller than too. Like I say, they say dude was taking cheeks. I don't blame Vaughn. Right. If I know I can't beat you, or you're stronger than me, or even if you got people that's going to help you, I'm going to fuck about it there. Call me a punk all you want. My cheese is safe. <laughs>
brothers is out there connected to the youth out there. The gang violence was slowing down. Don't try to jump on Chicago dick now. You done said all that fucked up foul shit about them. Don't try to jump on their dick now. They <laughs> ain't gonna get you out of all that shit you said. So what do they do? They put King Vaughn while he's dead through a humiliation venture. One, two, one, two, one, two, five. Hop in the hot mess for the one time. My God, here he go with the goddamn conspiracies. How did I know this shit was coming? In a time where everybody is on, yo, the most powerful thing I've ever seen in my life was to see all the kids that was on Demon Time turn to God. Oh God, now this nigga a man of God. What you a preacher now too? So this satanic system decided to say, okay, we can't have that happen. Nigga, I know you ain't called my phone to try to preach a conspiracy. I seen a video, I just watched another video of King Vaughn's daughter saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad al-Rasulullah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. That's what you sound like to me right now, because you you saying a whole bunch of words that I know you can't spell, pronounce, or know the definition of, nigga. So what do this satanic system do? Oh, okay. Y'all want to stop the violence? Well, we're going to start by basically throwing King Vaughn out there as a homosexual. Hold the boat. Hold the boat. Hold the boat. Stop right there. Let me get this straight. You called me to tell me a conspiracy about King Vaughn? Nigga, King Vaughn been dead for years. What the fuck would the government want to put him through a humiliation ritual for? You sound stupid as fuck. One minute you a thug, one minute you a civilian. One minute you're Muslim, the next minute you a thug again. Hassan, get your sweet ass off my phone, you fake ass nigga. You better be careful, little buddy. Hey, Manzit, uh, I don't know if you heard what Trip C said. She, she said she found a bunch of videos from her, her channel that she did on Umar. And I'm pretty sure they got a whole bunch of shit. Ain't nobody heard. Flight? I do not use the school's money. I'm going to say this again because y'all people bullshit. don't listen. That's, that's, that's definitely a bunch of bullshit. She said the school but. We got 10 minutes left. Let me see. Oh, that'd be 10 minutes. If the price of full time filmmaker. <laughs> Bye, Belisa. Bye, Belisa. Why did no one tell Pennsylvania oh, drivers about this? That's crazy. These motherfuckers be trying. Somebody said something to me about it, too. It was like, commercials every eight minutes? Goddamn, my guy. I'm like, dude, I, I don't control where they put the commercials and how many they put in there. I just push monetize, nigga. Well, 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 well. God damn it, can't even be at work. Let's talk about it. Sugarfoot. Hey, nigga. What you looking at me like that for? And why you stroking your hair all feminine like? You look like a zesty ass diva. Stop doing that, nigga. You're making me uncomfortable. All right, let's talk about it. Talk about it? Talk about what? And I'm saving this shit, too. And I'm letting it stay up. Go ahead, save it. Write it down, take a picture. I don't give a fuck. So I just want to tell everybody. I just want to tell everybody what happened. Dog oh, shit, here we go again. You know, for those of you that got it misconstrued. Ain't nobody got that story misconstrued. Me and the rest of the world saw you hold that bag of shrooms up and say, you about to get lit. And I'm going to keep going live and, let, and letting them stay up. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. But I'm going to share my screen right here because... I got all the evidence right here. I see you got the hiccups. Them gay thoughts is coming in real strong. But go ahead. Let me see your so-called evidence. Now. Oh, yeah, I, I want to say this. What you want to say, Sugarfoot? 
So everybody can be clear on this. <laughs> Excuse my hiccups. God damn. Them gay thoughts is powerful. My body is still healing from trauma. Healing from trauma? Got a bullet took out of me right before I got drugged. My body healing from that. Nigga, they took that bullet out you three or four years ago. How the fuck you still healing from it? Plus the trauma of me being drugged. Nigga, you held that bag of shrooms up and got high off them shrooms in 2021. It is almost 2024, nigga. So y'all gotta deal with it. Till I'm recalibrated to normal. Girl, bye. Bye, Belisa. Bye, Belisa. We gotta bye. deal with you until you recalibrate it. Yeah. I all them videos you was talking about. It. Man, you just got another hour. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we can't hear you through the video. But, um, hey, special announcement, everybody. When your child turns 18, have them log into ID.me and verify themselves and also have them log into the social security site with the ID.me. I now have to paper file my taxes because somebody stole my daughter's identity. Shit. Ain't that great. Now, you know damn well I ain't going to remember that shit. I got a long, long way to go. I'm talking to the people that's got children that's turning 18 now. My bad. Nigga still high. Now. <laughs> un I want to tell everybody this. Unbeknownst to me, I did not know. What you didn't know? Come on, think of your lie. That my baby mama's all of, the, all of these years was setting me up behind my back to rob me. One, two, one, two, one, two, five. Hot been a hot mess for the one time. Oh. Oh God, this nigga here. And drug me. Come on, man. Let's stop with the I was drug shit. We all saw you take those drugs. So I'm gonna just get, get make it a long story short because I'm tired of re repeating myself. Tired of repeating yourself? Ain't nobody at you. Nigga, you called me. It's the second time. I do not do drugs. Allegedly. I have not ever did drugs. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And Richard ass and Dirk and everybody involved in this shit is gonna get shot. Oh, I'm gonna get shot now. Just like you got your bodyguard shot, you ain't gonna do shit, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You know you ain't gonna touch little Dirk. Period. They getting shot. I'm gonna make sure they ass get shot. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Nigga, you ain't even never gonna be on the same stage as these niggas. But, I said I have to say this. I do not and have ever, have, have never did drugs. Allegedly. Wait, didn't you tell everybody you took mushrooms in Chicago before? Right before you took those mushrooms? right before they try to stop you from taking the mushrooms and embarrassing yourself yeah you did so apparently my baby moms right remember i told y'all when i was 18 i got out of the streets and i had two jobs and i was in co college you are very delusional stop lying nigga we all know Camille was the one working two jobs to pay off that apartment. Your ass dropped out in middle school, you never went to high school, and you damn sure ain't going to college. All your broke bum ass did was sit on that computer, copying and pasting conspiracies. And it was this nigga named Richard Booz Jr. AKA he go by Lil Ace. And the nigga start jacking my sweat and start calling himself King Ace. But the nigga got the king in the in the royal shit from me. Objection, your honor. Relevance? You stole the shit from me. But I said to say this. The nigga also be telling people that his name is Don from B Street. Oh, he be raping bitches and he be robbing them. Objection, your honor. Leading the witness? That's what he do. And I stopped fucking with the nigga, nigga when I was young because he's a habitual woman beater. Nigga, how you gonna call him a woman beater and we got videos of you admitting to mink mopping, golden booty. You hit her with a mink mop. And also he's a thief. A thief? 
Nigga, you know how many things you stole from the black community? Including damn near $2 million? And I'm not a robber. And me and a nigga used to argue all the, all the time. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? How does this prove or have anything to do with Little Dirk and Rick Ross drugging and robbing you? Allegedly. And then after like, you know, being away from this nigga, nigga, he set me up one day out of the blue, this nigga popped back up in my life. And next thing you know, I'll end up going to prison to do a bid for a gun that was really his. Stop lying, nigga. How everybody keeps setting you up? The same nigga set you up twice. Get the fuck out of here. And you forgetting we got that police report. You definitely forgetting that. The police report stated Richard wasn't even there. You saw the cops panic, start running, and as you ran, you threw the gun, they found it, you got locked up. Richard ain't had nothing to do with that nigga. Stop blaming niggas for your fuck ups. Which is why I can't understand why my baby mamas would be talking to this nigga. Allegedly. Behind my back. Emotional, damn it. I forgot how annoying it was listening to him burp talk. It, it let this nigga in little dirt, convince them to drug me and rob me or Whatever the fuck. That, 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 that is blasphemous. You mean to tell me that multi-millionaires robbed you for fake chains and jewelry? Why would, where's the motive, sir? Message. Now, Richard used to like to rob bitches for their jewelry. What is, where, where, where's the, where, where is this story going? Why are you telling me Richard Booz's life story? I don't give a fuck. I just want to know how the fuck were you drugged? Now me personally, not all, not only, and let me put my shit up because, nigga, I ain't got to throw no cap on my shit. Allegedly. Let me share my screen. Oh shit, here you go with the PowerPoints. I always been a nigga that had his own jewelry. No matter what level I was at. And yes, my jury always been real. You better be careful, little buddy. Wait, how the fuck did we get here? How did we get to talking about your jury that you had in 2007, 2008? How the fuck did this happen? In 2009, I was going to McKinley High School. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Nigga, stop lying. You know damn well you ain't go to high school. You dropped out in eighth grade. You ain't got a diploma or a GED. Nigga, stop lying. If I zoom in on this picture, you see I'm on the bus. I'm on the Buffalo, New York subway station. Okay? I got jewelry on. See, there you go again, changing the subject to gaslight. That watch that's on my wrist, I still got that watch to this day. <laughs> Nigga, did you know that I can see you? Those is custom, custom canary earrings in my ear. Goodbye. And I just realized that too. Every time you like try to like attempt to prove how they drugged him, he never gave a connection or said how they drugged him. <laughs> he just talked about Richard's life story. Goodbye. Uh, that is all my jewelry. I ain't wearing no other nigga jewelry. I know this nigga ain't called me at work to talk about some fake jewelry. Let me show y'all on Instagram. That's me as a young man. High school, middle school. Notice. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is me on the train. Hey guys. So I've always had my own jewelry. Nigga, I know you ain't called me at work to clout chase on Lil Dirt and Rick Ross and lie on your baby moms and some fake ass jewelry that you didn't have in 08, 07. Nigga, you was homeless at that time. How the fuck you was wearing canary? Stop lying. Get the fuck off my phone. You got the videos ready, sis? Which one? Oh, man. Yeah, hold on. Hold him up. 
I don't know what set this off because I ain't wasn't finna listen to 31 minutes of myself. Y'all know I've been like doing videos. But okay, let me do it like this. All this red, black, and green on his timeline. <laughs> See, this is how he usually dressed. He might have on an unk, but look at the difference. He got on a plaid button up and a sweater. Now you get into here, and as time goes by, but in more militant. Look at it. I think you're the only one I heard you say Eric Phoenix. Say that again. I didn't even realize that. What? That, you know, he started, he was dressing regular. And then as time went by, he started getting more militant and African. Mm hmm. Yes, I was in the Navy for eight years, man. Bro, I'm finna drop you the link. The timestamp is 32 minutes and 22 seconds. And I gotta go run and get somebody from the center. I'm going to be oh, right back because that ain't going to take but 10, 15 minutes. Hmm? I said you're coming back up, right? Yeah. I just got to run and go get him real quick. All right. All right. It's, um, you got to, you got, I put it in the back chat. You got the uh, yeah, timestamp? No, what'd you say it was? 32 minutes and 22 seconds. Let's start at 31. Oh shit. Mm hmm. I, I forgot I, I thought I had it. You on. already had one up there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, they doing the most to get people trust back. And it's Yeah, my father's still a Marine. I think that nigga black ops. Cause he's still always I gotta go overseas for training and he won't tell me what the fuck he doing. And when I asked him, he said he won't confirm or deny it. Kind of sad. Okay. Now, before all this happens, see, this is all from the last few days. December 25th. See, this is how he usually dresses. And you know why I really think that shit? Because he was a part of that raid on, on Saddam Hussein uh, Castle when they found the, uh, the gold AK and the silver AK. That was him and his his class. He might have on an aunt, but look at the difference. He got on a plaid button up and a sweater. Now you get into here, and as time goes by, but in more militant. Look at it. And I'm not, I'm not even sure if all of these are recent, because he always looked different. But at the same time, since when have you seen him walk around with a leather jacket and an RBG sweater on? Yeah, exactly, Earl. Something to fall back on. Who the hell wear a dashiki and a fitted cap? Look. Them is best clothes. Let's get it popping. We dealing with special ed, political economy, white school. Let's get it popping. We dealing with special ed. Look at this. I am Nat Turner. Prince of Pan Africanism. He ain't been touting that one. My bad. I had to step off for a second. Did she say who the fuck wears a dashiki and a fitted cap? <laughs> Oh, she crazy as fuck for that one. That's what I'm saying, Majestic. That would make him more believable, but he <laughs> looked like he full bro. of shit. Right. A dashiki and a fitted cap. Yes, look at this. <laughs> this look like the same hat. He just changing out symbols. No, that's the wrong one. But see, he he here. This is the twenty fifth. This is the twenty fifth. So you running around changing fittings, making videos. See, see, this is all the same day. He got on this fitted. 
he got on this fitted, and he got on this fitted. Wait, the nigga changed his fitted and then Why? Clothes? <laughs> Who does that? The nigga changed his fitted and didn't change his clothes. Just put a jacket over top of it. What what does that even matter? Like, I don't know why niggas do that. Hassan be doing that shit, too. Trying to make like he uh, recorded it on separate days. I don't give a fuck. That shit doesn't matter to me. I never understood that. Throw in his hand. I don't even know. <clears throat> I'm serious, though. Now, see, he got different coats. He's sitting up in the same coat. And the same, he made the videos back to back and changed out fitties like folk was supposed to think them was different days. On. He ain't been this unapologetically African since the last time he got in trouble. The only time he is unapologetically African is when he get in trouble. That irks my nerves. Ifan Tunde versus the state. <laughs> yeah, apparently, Earl, he celebrate Kwanzaa. And he, who has time to go on tour and make flyers if your your source of income is being threatened. Supposedly, he's a clinical psychologist, right? I mean, that's what I was told. He's a clinical psychologist. That's what that's what he said. That's the lie he told. He tell is if it's a lie, Umar told it. He said he was a clinical psychologist. Okay, now, if they threatening to yank your piece of paper that lets you work, wouldn't you be more worried about that than booking tours and shit? You ain't got no fucking degrees, man. You ain't worried about what they gonna take. Hey, stomp down. He been he been visiting schools. He stand out in the front of them and take a video. <clears throat> that actually makes a lot of sense. Definitely makes a lot of sense. If you're not worried about them taking your you know your degrees and shit like that. And more focus on booking tours and making flyers. You don't have them motherfuckers. Because those are your credentials allowing you to work. That's what he do. People done offered him schools. They be like, hey, I know where a school at. A lady offered him the land to build his own school, and he never replied back to her. Hey, original American. So that puts... And that's the third offer I heard him turn down. That nigga ain't got no income just going to build a black dude school. It's just a money grab. And as long as people fucking keep falling for the shit and keep donating, he gonna keep, he gonna keep, that, that, that school ain't never getting good. And when, I, I guarantee when, when motherfuckers stop donating for the school, he gonna, he gonna come up with something else. Superstar Hotel Butter Biscuits. <laughs> he gonna come up with something else. that and a lie right there and how can he buy something today if he put all the money in a money market account that he can't touch for five years <clears throat> that's what i'm saying every time these hotel hustlers want to sit up here and bang on the bible and call christians all kind of shit but when they get in trouble it's oh jesus save me And that could be one of the reasons why he's not paying taxes. Because he knows eventually motherfuckers are going to be like, all right, nigga, it's taking too long. You ain't building that school. And by then, they be done took it back. So he can blame somebody else for why the school wasn't built. 
Yes, conscious speculation. I forget where it was, but this was a while back. A lady said that she offered him some land because she was well to do and she had land to give. So she told him she'd give him the land to build the school on and he never got back to her. Oh, that's even crazier. She said she would give him the land. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, that's a money grab. That's definitely a fucking money grab. You know how folk do. <clears throat> got mad at Boyz Watkins because he just got mad when he asking where he went to school at. Hmm? Y'all want to know so bad. Look it up. Why can't you tell us? It should be easy for you to tell us. You went there. Now I have to step off and take a leap. So I'm going to let it run. And I'm going to take it. Always talking about eating top-notch food and liquor. What does that have to do with saving the little black boys? And why are you leaving the little black girls out in the dust? I forgot if I turn my mic off, y'all can't hear it. The only black folk in America will call somebody to the carpet and then help you get out. Yes, that's true. Dad. And then they feel bad for feeding you to the system. But at the same time, if we do not have our own system in place to take care of people like this, where are they supposed to go? Are we supposed to keep them and let and keep letting them dig their hands in their pockets? All our grandmas would not let the crackhead in the family in the house take his plate to the door. He can't come in here. If he come in, lock my purse up. But we basically bounty hunting the bitch down, turning him over to the proper authorities, and then turning around and saying, oh, well, let him go because he's black. He didn't do anything wrong. Wait, what? I'm sorry, that don't fly with me. <laughs> How we trifling that he eat all the trifle. Earl. <laughs> He keep bringing up statistics on how much we spend in a year, but I question those because how he know how much I've spent on anything. They don't ask for my way. I know, right? How can he treat children when he's out? Exactly. He's only, if he is licensed, let's say, let's go to La La Land for a little while and say Dr. Umar could be licensed. If he does have a license, it is only for the state of Pennsylvania. You have to go through extra hoops and shit and buy, pay for, and take tests for the extra certification. And I'm not even sure if you can do that for a psychologist. I know you can for a nurse, but I'm not sure for a psychologist. Okay, put that to the side. He wants to treat the little black boys all over the states, but he's never in Pennsylvania. And if you're licensed, you have to clock a certain amount of hours a month, if I'm not mistaken. He says GoFundMe robbed him of 250. Man, please. They probably got 25 foul out of that 500,000 K he got. That's his big issue. He says Black's going against him. See, I don't work. For, I work for a company. I don't know what color my boss is, to tell you the truth. I know he a veteran. That's all I know. The dudes that started the company, they veterans. That's all I know. But <clears throat> as for clocking in somewhere that's called racist white supremacy, I do not do that. And the majority of us don't either. It's a couple of people sprinkled here and there. But other than that, no. This is his lie. This is the chickens coming home to roost. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. This is his lies being exposed to the light. Did he think that he could lie forever and wouldn't nobody figure it out? He's just that smart. That is a narcissistic personality. Jailhouse psychologist. 
He never takes responsibility for his own actions. It's always somebody else's fault. When he ran around and talked. I'm still trying to wrap my, my mind around the uh, whole guidance counselor thing and how nobody else knows. I, I did motherfuckers did not notice that. Told everybody he was celibate and got caught with conscious stripper. It was her fault. Hey, on your piece. Yeah, when he got caught with the conscious stripper, it was her fault. It wasn't his. He did nothing wrong. She led him into temptation. If you don't sit your big six foot some. <laughs> but he says that her little self led his big self into temptation and he couldn't resist. The booty made him do it. Shit. But she said he gave her a good. I know, you know, us men think with our uh, our Johnsons, but if he was really serious about being celibate and you know really dedicated to it, she wouldn't have been able to do it. Good, good, good stack of that money, good bit of that money. Or he would at least just got a yip yip. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. He he flip flopped. Right. He said he was celibate. And then he got caught messing with the conscious stripper. But it wasn't his fault, you see. It was the conscious stripper's fault. She was put there by racist white supremacy to bring him down. No. Your ass was at the strip club throwing dollar bills and you liked what you saw. So she sat up there and you whispered sweet nothings in that woman's ear. And then when you tried to kick her ass to the curb, she had something there for you. Boom. Bam. Hey guys, Snap Ella. You sure with mind a conscious trip right now? That's really a person. But then you want to blame this woman. You don't want to take responsibility for your own actions. Hell, you don't even want to take 50% of the responsibility for the actions that was. Wait, 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 wait. Conscious stripper is a, a, a real person that goes by that name. I just thought that was something that everybody was calling. Me. But there's really a person calling himself the conscious stripper. Then you want to sit up here and tell everybody what to do with their children, but you ain't got yours. You sitting up here using the money for the donations to pay back child support and pay for hotel rooms and pay for exquisite meals and bottles of liquor. All off the backs of single mothers. Don't you feel privileged, you piece of shit? That's the most fucked up, one of the most fucked up parts about it. Excuse me. But then you have the nerve. One of the most fucked up parts about it because them niggas know that the ones that support them the most are most likely black women. And mostly, uh, those, most of those black women are black single mothers. So you're taking food and money away from, you know, their kids and shit. If they still, you know, take care of their kids. After all of that, to sit up here and say that the black man I mean, yeah. is trying to tear you down for the white man because we ain't nothing but crabs in a barrel. No, I just don't like you. But then again, if you'll use a dead ancestor to make to uh make a million dollars, I I'm not surprised. The simple fact that you took mean, at least me and we're not even talking about letters to paypal right now we're just talking about go fund me four hundred and fifty thousand dollars i thought she was going by that name four five zero 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 you have four hundred or you had the past tense four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and if you show me a go fund me that has not been touched and is as pristine as the day you first started it. That means don't show me the front page, show me the back page. When you can show me that with all that money sitting there intact, I will apologize. Then where the fuck you been at? Oh, better yet. The money that you haven't touched, but you put it all into an account that you can't touch for five years. Show me that one. Show me your PayPal. Show me how much you made at the door of those churches that you sit up here and badmouth. 
the universities where you go to get a job for the white man, when you learn how to get a job for the white man, my bad. What about that P.O. box, Uma? What about that? What about these tax liens that the IRS has against you? Because I'm quite sure if they start divvying that money up, or if they try to divvy that money up, because we all know it ain't there, what are they going to find? That you done spent all the shit. Yup. That too. The mail-in checks. Has he ever spoke at a, I don't even know the question that at Solomon Mom. Ain't nothing trifling by GoFundMe. GoFundMe tell you what they about up front. We charge so much. He claimed that it was a part of the account, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Much Nobody knows the amount. Per donation. Then we're going to charge you a fee to withdraw your money. Because we got to get paid too. Did you think the site ran for free? No. Don't you want tight security on the site where you're getting your money? Yes. All of that costs what? Green bags. But they stealing from you. No, they probably charged your ass an investigation fee. Yes, it is. He had a P.O. box up for the FDMG, but we all know as per anti-Afro Svengali that his 501c4 has been revoked. So he's been claim he's been getting all that money under the auspices. <laughs> oh, so that uh, 501c thing didn't just happen. This happened a while ago. Oh, this is six years? God damn. This is six years ago, so he lost it back then. Oh my God, his, his followers are just plain fools. Ain't no denying it now. If you still follow Umar, but you know at this time, after all this information came out, you just a fucking a fool. You said hopefully I bring them skits back. I'm thinking about uh, doing one day. Uh, of a school. But GoFundMe doesn't have a category for that. No, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, Lord. Now, see, I'm not going down to personal attacks. I'll call in the Prince of Pan Pizza, the King Kong Kool-Aid all day long. But I'm not worried about his physical form besides his big ass. And when I say big, I don't mean fat. You over six foot tall walking around here looking like John Coffee little cousin. And then you won't show six degrees? Your big ass scared? Shame. Hey, Barzilla. Yes, Solomon, mom, that's what I heard. And then you always want to blame me. Like, you sitting up here messing with this conscious stripper. You could have manned up and said, yeah, I was fucking her. And if I was him, I would have been like, shit, at least she a conscious stripper. <laughs> I would have denied if I got, especially if I got caught. I would just straight up say, look, man, I'm fucking human like the rest of y'all. And I'm a man. At least she a conscious stripper. I was clapping conscious cheeks. What y'all want from me? I think they still would have, you know, they still would follow the nigga. Especially after all this shit that came out and they followed him. Wow. It was good while it lasted, but we done. But no, he had to sit up there and call that woman everything but a child of God, which just made him look like a piece of shit. And you're supposed to be a psychologist, though. That's what I don't get about him. 501c3, 501c4 is a non-profit status. Why you gotta lie? We know these motherfuckers are still following you either way. More than likely, Earl, but no, 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 because see, this is more, this is we create more problems for themselves. Like a whole different segment. The motherfuckers are following you either fucking way. So what's the point in lying? Create more problems. Of society. He might fall under the auspices of the conscious community, but this blowback right chunk, this is not coming from the conscious community. <laughs> no. 
No, it is not. Because if it was coming from the conscious community, it wouldn't have taken six years to get there. It wouldn't have taken them six years to get there. No, see, this is all the this is all the blowback of machismo and ego, narcissism. He thought he was just so smart that nobody was actually gonna take him up on it when he said, You wanna know if I got degrees? Call and ask. They will gladly verify. Mm-hmm. You know what baffles me too is it's been 10 years with this nigga. Even the most devoted follower had it, you know, I at least would have thought by now they'd be like, all right, this nigga ain't building no goddamn school. Nope. Niggas is still donating. But see, he thought everybody was going to Google the number and he didn't seem to realize in his own head that people yeah, that was yeah. watching these programs actually that. know people that sit on these boards. That's and why I said what I said. You should have just told the truth. Like, look, man, I'm, I'm human. I'm a man, too. I got needs and urges. I was weak. At least you're a conscious stripper. I think they still would have been, you know, accepted him. You see all the shit that's been coming out and they still accept it. So what's the point of life? It might actually be something, somebody that actually sits on the boards that saw the damn interview in the first place because it was on national television, McIdget. He trying to get money up, Barzilla. He trying to get money up. And he gonna go in there and act like this is a this is a court case for some child support. And he can shuffle his feet and be like, oh shucks. And they'll let him go with a little mm -mm, ten thousand dollars per instance. Two thousand five hundred and some change investigation fees. Yeah, now he looking at school. Did he actually go inside this one or was it just across the front lawn again? <laughs> Little, you be too much. You be doing too much. God. Damn, but I mean, it's just, it's just pitiful. Yeah, it's sad that? and it's pitiful. Now he wants. God damn, Leonard, you was around that goddamn long? Leonard been here from the whip whip. To go inside. But remember, Barzilla, the money from the GoFundMe is in a money market account that he can't touch for five years. But he's going to buy that school, right? This year, right? Or 2018, huh? Five, one, two, three, four, five. Which one is it? Is it in is it in the GoFundMe and you haven't touched it yet? Or did you take it out and put it in the money market because it would increase your funds, but you couldn't touch it for five years? And if you touched it before five years, there would be oh, a Oh, he tried to pull one of them joints. One of them accounts that I had uh, when I got my settlement. I had put a, a, a good portion of it in an account that I couldn't touch for a certain amount of time. Because I, I knew I was going to blow that money quick. I knew I was. So I put some aside just in case. A heavy, heavy penalty. You know, but he's a psychologist. You ignorant Negroes. He's a psychologist. You shiftless, sometimey maggots. Yeah, we've been through one of those. Yeah, uh, this was the only video, sis. Because if uh, you only got thirty minutes left. So I want to make sure I, I get as much of it in as I can.
You can uh, send me the link in the uh, in the messenger to the other video. I got plenty of time today. I'm home by myself. Ain't got shit to do, so. Any day y'all wanted to have me sitting in this motherfucker, today would be the perfect day. No kids. She said one more, there's one more. Oh, all right. Scrambling your rap money for my bud. <laughs> More like seventy five thousand, but he's the Mick Idiot that set up the GoFundMe. So he ran. What are you talking about, uh, Max? I ain't seen you. I, I ain't seen you. Uh, did the cash app or uh, by an hour yet? the terms and conditions when he signed up for the site and i'm quite sure that i saw somewhere but you be here every day so that's why you get paid mm. they ain't taking no such a thing unless it's investigation cost a refund fees I'm pretty sure she got a lot more shit in the mouth. I guess there. Yeah, he could have stopped GoFundMe at any time and moved over to something else. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause he only oh, has yeah. a P.O. box. That FM that P.O. box FMG, Franklin, Franklin Douglas, Frederick Douglas, Marcus Garvey. Yeah, the, the FDMG, Murder. the P.O. Box. You said you work, working on what, Max? So, yeah, that one. Oh, you That's to the one I was talking here. about earlier. That's all he has. He has no physical address. Oh, he wow. has no physical address. Listen to me, people. If he was a psychologist in good standing, in the state of Pennsylvania, as far as I'm aware, he would have to have an office or be a part of a psychology group. Right. How y'all down? How y'all? I'm not working at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said you, you hear every day. So that's still support. I don't know how. Uh, Motherfuckers, yeah, I, I'm not, yo, you got me fucked up. I'm not sending money to a motherfucker. Well, got another hour. Charlie on the kid. That ain't got no address. How you sending money to motherfuckers that ain't got no address? Hold on, let me go out and come back in. Be acting up. Yeah, it's doing it still. Oh shit! It brought me in that strip tease. This thing is fucking weird. Got sniff, sniff, feel, but right. How you trust somebody that ain't no address? That would have been address enough for those people. But he doesn't have one. I looked. Barzilla, you already know. 
He going to go in there in one of his best suits. Watch, watch. Court day ain't going to be no dashikis. Ain't going to be no RBG. He going to go in there fully shed. Can y'all hear me? All right, Trip C's put some question marks in. I'm not sure if y'all heard me. My icon ain't showing. This shit acting funny again. But oh well, let's keep going. Hey, fully clipped. Let's see if I got fully groomed. Else. Suit on with creases sharper than than a Genzu knife. I got more Umar Jones. <laughs> I say he's neither one, Earl. I say he just a hustler. I say he just a hustler. You see? He might, he might put on his Frederick Douglass wig. Yes, he might, but I doubt it. <laughs> it's always in front, don't you? That ain't the first school he done been to taking videos. He always take videos right for some right after somebody start questioning him. He starts touring the school. Oh, I have this school to tour and I have this. Let me let me help you out of something. People send Umar suggestions all the time because the people that send I found a video called um Umar Johnson FDMG cleanup day. Let's see what this is about. So we wait for trip seeds. Oh no, that's not it. I just put the same goddamn one. Wow. Did you get a shot? I thought you think it was in the gym. Love is the prince. Just picking up some things for cleanup day tomorrow. FDMG Academy. Picking up some things for cleanup. You want to leave a lot more than a car to clean up a whole goddamn school. Thought I had that video of that lady with the hat. Black families, Dr. Umar Johnson, the prince of Pan. I think this is it. Remember the lady with the uh, y'all remember the big lady with the hat? Oh shit. He charging you home an arm and a leg in. Yo, I think this is unapologetically African fest. I might got a dunk on one of y'all. 
We might got to do the three on three, the Pan Africanist versus everybody three on three B ball tournament. Yeah, this is E Fatunde Avenue. This is Dr. Papa Boulevard, Frederick Douglass High School, Nat Turner Jean Jock Dessaline Gymnasium, Marcus Garvey Elementary School, Patricia Lumumba Roberts Abukwe Presidential Headquarters. Be in the building. Backboard right now. I'm window washing the backboards, family. I'm window washing the backboard so it can match the gymnasium. You feel me? We're trying to get ready for 911. It's all about 911 because it's an emergency. The FDMG block party is going to be September the 11th, 2021, right here. Make sure y'all in the building. I see you, King App. <laughs> I'm up here window washing. I see you. I see you. They go King Ab right there. They go Sister Naya. Y'all see the shiny floor? We got the floor washed up last week. So now we Windexing. Invading Hartford Saturday. Springfield, Massachusetts, first time in town. The Prince is invading Springfield Sunday. Houston, Texas, first time in three and a half years since the 2017 sold out Kwanzaa lecture at the Shrine of the Black Madonna. I'm going to see Houston, Texas on Saturday, July 10th. I'm going to see Dallas, yeah, Texas. It. It's been three years, Dallas. I'm going to see you on Sunday, July 10th. Yeah, Psychologist, yeah. top educated, top Garvey, top everything. Don't get smart because I'll top your girl, but let's stay focused one time. Mm-hmm. Let's stay. I'm, 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 let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. It's consciousness over cookies. It's consciousness over cookies. We getting the work in. I'm up here cleaning the backboards, brothers. What? Ain't got the big jump. Brothers and sisters, make sure you donate. It's the gymnasium. Nice and clean. We about to paint the walls up. We about to paint the walls up too. They go Anaya over there. All right. You're doing a great job, King. They go Brother Smith. He about to throw the moral up. He about to throw the moral up. We got Brother Ted working in the in the in the, in the bathrooms with King Ab, and we still getting that shockumentary together too. War against Connecticut. Saturday, Springfield, Sunday, Houston, July 10, Dallas, July 11, Miami, July 24, Austin, Texas, July 25. Louisville, August 14, Macon, Georgia, August 15th. Eve to me is basically freedom. Indianapolis, August 19, discussion over here. Okay, now, nah, wait a minute, sir, wait a minute. Women, I'm not for the political for me, but... I'm what the fuck is she wearing? Hmm. That ain't it, that's all I'm gonna say. But the women that help their men, okay? That's my whole thought process this afternoon. So yeah, I ain't never seen her after that. Out there doing women, take it from me. Um, we're not saying to do like that slavery stuff in the house. It's painting for the children. We're gonna have a big pool for the children. I think this lady in particular was trying to get toes. And that's why she ain't around. Make sure they have their bathing suit, brothers and sisters. My man Chef is going to be on the grill with the barbecue. No disrespect right. to the vegans, but I'm going to get my beef yeah, ribs. No disrespect to the vegans, but I will be getting my beef ribs. You understand? You understand me? No disrespect to the vegans, but I will get some beef ribs at the first annual. It was about co -wifery. Okay. And what do you think? Ain't most Pan Africans vegan or something like that? Mm. Or vegetarian? Yeah. Say about that. I'm on your IG and you're on my Facebook. So for those that are watching on Instagram and on Facebook right now, what do you ladies say, especially you American women out here who have been trained to have a relationship with one man, one woman? You're trained. We were trained because at the end of the day, the culture says I do for one man and one woman. Now in other parts of the world, it is well known and documented that in Africa and other places, men can have up to what, five wives? But women, we need to hear from you today. Women out there, please let us know how you feel about that. I'm all of your Oh, lady, you front. She seemed like she's just saying that right now to get chose. And if he did, basically, and if he did, she wouldn't have been going for it. I'm assisting you with your washing of your backboards, right? 
two queens. In the back. Two queens. No. How do you feel, ladies? How do you feel about men? I'm going to say men wanting two wives. Wanting two wives. We're live. And King, why don't you tell us live exactly your thought process on this dynamic, please? Because I, I want told to y'all. No, we're live now. Go ahead. Some men need more than one to help get the work done. Okay. But how about the emotional aspect? My backboard is looking shiny. My backboard is looking nice and shiny right now. I can tell because you ain't even, he ain't even, he ain't even doing nothing with you. He ain't even choose you yet. You already acting like possessive. Y'all see that? It's looking shiny. Possessive and me. You did a great job. But talk I got to do the back, though. Talk to us about this two wife thing. Go ahead. You got people watching. Not me and my ex. Not everybody need two wives, but certain alpha males in leadership positions like me, I need two wives because you got to double up on everything. Okay. Because okay. if you a coon and you sell out the struggle, you destroy the whole foundation of my work. You feel me, Bobby Smith? Yes, now I got to start from scratch. But if you got two queens, if she become a coon, the other one could keep riding with you. It's no twitch. It's about business. Okay. It's all about business. Okay. I got that. But How many celebrants? people you ever know need two partners. I haven't seen Make it make sense. sense. I've never seen a celibate person, so-called celibate person, get two partners. It's all about the business. If it ain't for you, you don't have to do it. Though I do respect the queen's right to choose. I don't believe... I don't believe a woman should be forced to be a co-wife. I don't yeah, believe that. Perfect. So like, but I'm going to. In my, my my personal choice, any man that could take two chicks at the same time, constantly, consistently, is a super freak. Ain't no super right. freak. And ain't no super freak going celibate. I'm going to have two. And you said something earlier that I want you to. I'm King Kong consciousness. You know what? I wanna, I want you I'm to going to have two. What did you say in regards to what's going to happen? Anyway, break it's that, going to happen anyway. Break that down for us. Because there's not enough men to go around. So women are going to share regardless. You can share knowing or you could just live the illusion that some women love the illusion. And I'm not mad at you. Truth can be a powerful squill to, a pill to swallow. Absolutely. Not everybody can swallow the truth. You know how many women out there know they man got another man, woman, but they just live in as if it ain't true because they can't accept it. It's too painful for them. You see, so for some people, I'm a therapist, right? In therapy, I'm not. Yes, I'm about to put this thing in the back check. I'm tired of these goddamn commercials. Mm. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oop, wrong one. Nope, that ain't it. Shit. She stayed. Oh, oh, right. She like, oh, oh, that is funny. It's supposed to help film me now. <laughs> I think it was her, you know, her clinginess. And that would have, that would have turned me way off. Like, you way too clingy. I haven't even let you know I, that I like you or not. Oh, wait, wait, what I found. He probably gave her no signals that he wanted to get with her. Hold on. I'm going to share this. Look at this real quick. Don't call my name no more. What's up? You still here? Or she went on mute? hearing hearing and the subsequent filing of a proposed report a notice of hearing dated december 7 2017 scheduled the matter for hearing to occur on january 8 2018. the hearing occurred as scheduled respondent appeared at the hearing pro se prosecuting attorney yada 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 representing the commonwealth of government let's get to the good shit. 
So, findings of fact. Here we go. This is the money shot right here. Do I need to make it bigger? Can y'all all read this fuckery? <coughs> Can y'all read the fuckery? DJ, come here. This is the injunction he got in 2017. What he went, the one he went to court for. Remy, you still there or he on mute? The one that um the one that happened a couple of weeks ago, man's it. Okay. The findings of fact. Point one, respondent has never, N-E-V-E-R, living soul journey, peace, never, never, ever, 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 held a license to practice as a psychologist in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania or any other state. Do I need to make it bigger for y'all? Can y'all read this shit? Can y'all read this shit right here? Fact number two. And that is a fact. Not like when they tell you that shit on the side of the street because they think you have made a good point. No, this has been proven. Respondents address uh, on the initial pleadings is a P.O. Box 682. I'm not going to read the whole thing out because y'all can see the screen. However, during the hearing, respondent indicated his address is P.O. Box Pause it real quick. Da, da, da. So he's been giving out the wrong P box PO box number to these. Mm-hmm. And that probably explains the guidance counselor part. Yeah. Uh, he was a work? he was a guidance counselor at some charter school. That's the only job that we can find. And there's a um there's a court document where this lady was suing the school, and he was the the psychologist on record or whatever. But we all know that charter schools aren't held to the same standards as public schools. So yeah. So he basically was a, a guidance counselor, claiming to be a, a clinical psychologist. Yeah. Oh wow! And that's why he probably only gave up the schools. If he did, he only oh, that one. Yeah, I remember that shit, man. Is it? Did he Say ever see schools he worked at? No, it's just the one. It's the only one that we can find. It's a charter school that's no longer open. Exactly. And if you're not, if you, this is dumb as basically all his followers, you're going to believe it. Mm hmm. You can go ahead people that's fact number two fact number three ever ever wax dog ever ever matter of fact let me cut on some outcasts for this shit. oh my goodness i am shocked and appalled and got the motherfucking big head because somebody told him he could speak good in 1992 and he been riding the wave on that shit ever since mother <laughs> Really Healthy heavyweights, peace. Dor and Shalom. He <laughs> adopted like Reggie. ICDC takes them all. <laughs> Respondent earned a bachelor's degree in psychology and political science in 1997 from Millersville University. A master's in school psychology from what the hell is Millersville University? Hey, keep it 1K and a doctorate in clinical psychology from Philadelphia College of Osteo. They didn't even have a doctoral program on the, I'm confused as hell wow. right now. Dr. Like Pepple. <laughs> this nigga is a total fraud. You think you funny and you ain't. Dr. Zeus holds more validity than my where is millersville university hold on it's in pa i think it's like around delaware yes a whole lot of hot sauce living soul journey how do you get a doctorate in osteo i'm neopet lord have mercy 
He got that's the one we can find. It's a it's a homeopathic okay, college. Let's keep going. <laughs> Respond to the word. Would you stop all that? Yeah, well, no, the one that we could find that okay. says that he was enrolled there, it's a homeopathic college. Oh, okay. Because Millerville is a, like a it takes all that college. for you to get some water. It's like a what? It's a D3 university. I know uh, people, uh, went there, and that was one of the uh, colleges I had a scholarship to for wrestling. Yeah, but I don't think it's that one. It's a, we found it, but it ain't the yeah, one that yeah. you're talking about. I don't oh, think. No, that's no, what I'm wondering. Hey, Barzilla, respondents' work history includes employment as a school psychologist for the like. Now write your numbers down, family. Write your numbers down. Close my door when you walk out. Thank you. It's over there by Spellman. Okay, so <laughs> is it accredited though, heavy, healthy heavyweights? <laughs> Respondents wow. work history includes employment as a school psychologist for the school district of Philadelphia from 2001 to 2006, Kefra Charter School from 2007 to 2011. Now remember, I looked that school up and the only one that I could find was in Africa. Mathematics, Civics, and Science Charter School, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, from 2011 to 2018. A show of ones in the chat. How many people actually believe number five and number six? So that make me not even trust number one. But hold on. He is... He's never held a license to practice as a psychologist, but he went to school for it. <laughs> Suicide, <laughs> stomp down. Now, we are one. not gonna be swayed from cuddly tonight because I ain't even supposed to be on. <clears throat> Say what, bro? I said number one requested scholar, my ass. That Crazy too. part is. I didn't even know that you you had this, but I knew that yeah. if you going you going to talk about it, you going to have some shit. Of course. Oh, <laughs> ah, that's why we didn't know his name was Infantunde. <laughs> oh hell no! Not tonight. Stomp down. Not tonight. Mm -mm. No, sir, buddy. I got to get up early in the morning. Truth for him, peace. Respondent lectures in the area of education and psychology. I don't see not a one in the chat. Mm, mm, mm. In Pennsylvania, across the country, and international locations. Respondent speaking topics include the school to prison pipeline, special education, the ways and means of misdiagnosis and exploitation in schools, racism, and white supremacy economics politics family relationships prison pan-african pan-africanism among other things and to what extent those issues intersect with psychology shadow shadow now hold on he got a a bachelor's and a master uh, he got a, a bachelor's in in at the christian college then he turned around and went to the osteopathic medicine college and got a psychology degree but he has never held a license to to practice maybe he couldn't sit for the exams maybe they're not freaking eligible starbucks coffee ain't making no delivery to my house the devil is a lie I mean, it's people with whole doctorates from the University of Guatemala. Remember that shit used to be a joke. Like, oh, where you got your degree from? Palm Beach. <laughs> Is Haven in there? Is little papitos, papitos, not in the room. I didn't even see you. Hey, Haven, I'm I'm focused on this shit. I'm not checking out nothing else. 
them and them janky <laughs> links. Turn out to be the real Umar. I don't know because this this seems so oh, yeah. right. There's a Middle Eastern man named Umar Abdullah Johnson, right? right. He has the degree. Wow, that's probably why you picked the name. Right, that's what we figured. That ain't a coincidence. It's, no, it's not. If you want to come to motherfuckers like you. Exactly. I try to tell y'all, if Tripsy's doing a video on somebody, it's some shit. Respondent's web address is drumarjohnson.com, and in 2014, he advertised his availability for workshops, professional panels, and speaking engagements. Let me do something real quick now. All of Respondent's work is school-based, and he does not practice privately conducting non-school-related clinical evaluations. Respondent worked as a therapy for the Children's Crisis Treatment Center, where he worked as an outpatient therapist for children and families from 2000 to 2009 in the Philadelphia Mental Health Center, where Respondent completed some of his doctoral clinical practicums from 2007 to 2013. How the fuck old is Omar? I'd be like 50 now, right? How old is, is Cudley? <coughs> hey, Red Squid. How old is Cuddly? Can somebody answer me that? He was in his early 40s for real, when he started. For real, for real. How old is Chunky? You gotta be 50 by now. She sided cool. with him, Salima. I'm, I'm just on page what? Page 4? 72. The first black dude in bedrock. Responding where on responding speaker engagement request form, the phrase African American psychological and educational service for children and families is listed. Okay, so if they got all of this evidence, oh, if he is not licensed to practice psychology in the Commonwealth of Philadelphia or anywhere else, how can he this advertise really? himself as, as such? Huh? This is okay, the okay. decision. So this means he wasn't a principal either, right? Right. He was just oh, a guidance God. counselor. This nigga is lying all over his resume. He like fair. False for mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, from no. the from the, the board here in Haven. Hey T Cole, he 45. So he like 51 now. Oh wow. How long, how long ago this is this? the decision this one was i don't think this is the final decision this is, this, is, this is where it's leaning towards this doesn't i don't think this means that they have to actually accept this i think this is where everybody's letters that they have been sending april 25th 2018 <laughs> come into play i told y'all i wasn't gonna bring it up no more till we got a decision <laughs> That's what I'm people. saying, Red Squid. He running around here talking about married people need to do this and married people need to do that, but he ain't married. So how you gonna get somebody advice on something that you have not now, not now, nor have ever been? I don't know. If a nigga gonna lie about his credentials, he gonna lie about that paper. Respondent appears as, appeared as a guest on various radio programs. Respondent first appeared on the nationally syndicated radio show, The Breakfast Club, Power 105, and he introduced himself as a doctor of clinical psychology and certified school psychologist. While on the... Um, during an interview on the radio show Stand Up Now, Respondent introduced himself as a doctor of clinical psychology, certified as school psychologist, and certified as school principal. So if he's certified, how come there's no paperwork indicating such? When people looked for that, they came up with zilch. Zero. Nada. There it is. You just answered my question. Again. I'm just saying, you know.
Respondent further explained during the Stand Up Now interview that 95% of his work related to school psychology with the remaining portion gears toward the evaluation of children for special... If he been certified since 2000 and it's 18 years later, how come he hasn't evaluated anybody? He's certified imaginary. <laughs> Y'all killing it. Certified liar. Say okay. what? I say, boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> okay, respondent oh, how you think it's a gatekeeper. Oh, yeah. For well, black yeah, children to yeah. eliminate the overclassification or miss because they protect them while they lying. Yeah, true, but that's why I don't find tell the truth. The motherfuckers on the internet dig shit up. Marquise, what's up? Hey Marquise. This classification of special education determination. That's what I'm saying, Keisha Ray. Weekly respondent hosts the Tuesday morning black parent teleconference where parents can call the conference call line to ask respondent questions related to the special education and mental health of black children. You know what? I'm just, I, I kind of halfway had the niggling suspicion that this might happen because for some strange reason, they just keep... You say tiptoeing on the yeah. edge of getting their ass handed to them, and then they tiptoe back from the edge, and then they get right up on that edge, and then they pull right back. I'm starting to get what everybody else is saying they've been sent. That's an inherited certificate from a descendant. Respondent appeared pro se at the formal hearing in this matter, testified on his own behalf, and presented documentary evidence and witnesses. The board has jurisdiction in this matter. Conclusions of law. The board has jurisdiction in this matter. See the act at section 3.4. Respondent received notice of, the, of this proceeding and was afforded an opportunity to be heard in accordance with section four of the administrative agency law. The Commonwealth failed to meet its burden that responded mm -hmm. engaged in the unlicensed practice of psychology in the Commonwealth. The evidence in the record supports a finding that respondent falls within an exception to licensure set forth, forth in the Act at Section 3, comma 63, relating to a work at to work as a certified school psychologist. But where's the certification? But if they say he got it. I don't know. Count one of OSC alleges that respondent engaged in the practice of psychology or offered or attempted to do so or held himself out to the public by any title or description of services incorporating the word psychology, psychological, or psychologist in violation. Okay, the question that remains is whether the respondent fits within any of the exceptions to licensure enumerated in the Act as Section 3. I said, even if he was certified, I still haven't heard no work history of it. That too. That's all I want to say. All right. Because a violation of the act has been demonstrated if the individual does not fall within one of those exceptions. Squirrels and cookies don't mix. Where the hell did come from? Where'd that come from? <laughs> no, no, I exposed, dropped the video like an hour and a half ago. I was hollering. He had said it that time. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Sounded like a little child. Nothing in this act shall be construed to limit the practice of psychology or use of an official title on the part of a person or persons certified and employed as a school psychologist in the public and private schools of the Commonwealth or in a facility or as part of an educational program regulated by the Department of Education insofar as such practice is a part of the normal function of his position or is performed on behalf of or according to the usual expectations of his employer. A person who on or before June 30th, 2017 has completed all requirements for certification 
as an educational specialist one or two in school psychology issued by the Department of Education may perform in private practice and act which the person is permitted to perform in the public and private schools. But he's not doing any of this shit in the school. We've never seen him. <laughs> Josephine, stop. We've never seen him in a school setting. No <laughs> no, crack pipe is like WikiLeaks now. <laughs> well, pause it real quick, sis. Uh -huh. The person is employed by a public or private school. And that's another thing. What principal, teacher, guidance counselor that you've never seen pictures of with their kids? Think about it. Right. in this commonwealth God. or by a facility oh, or as part of an educational God. program regulated mm -hmm. by the department of education and holds a valid certificate as an educational specialist one or two in school psychology issued by the department that is in good standing furthermore the, re the regulations permit respondent to perform any service in private practice that he can perform for a school <laughs> the section three 10 of the ad school psychologists certified by the department of education may perform in private practice those acts which they are permitted to perform in the public and private schools of this commonwealth of this commonwealth though a person engaged in the private practice of school psychology under this section shall satisfy the following criteria but notice he was never he was very careful never to have meetings in philadelphia just everywhere else not Philadelphia, but everywhere else. Oh, I found some I had totally forgot about. <laughs> hey, this Don Mega. Has been duly certified by the Department of Education as an educational specialist since 2001 and subsequently as an educational specialist to school psychologist since 2008 with no lapses in the certification he worked for the school district of philadelphia as a school psychologist from 2001 to 2006. respondents started working for charter schools in 2007 as a school psychologist and currently holds the position with the mathematics something is not right about this shit. something is not right he's been going live damn near every morning from his hotel room what school doesn't require you to be there? Since me got out, get who want to take his place. We can only hope. Oh, they go Iki eating that cheeseburger. Lord. This is me. God, I kill Uwa. Take his place. Oh, let me fast forward. I don't know why. Hold on, let's see. Is there anything else on this one? Oh, I know what this is. Look at them. Remy, you there? You on mute? Yeah, I'm back, Jaded. Rem, you might need to refresh your browser. That's fine. This young Pharaoh, <clears throat> the community, and this yeah, is Mr. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Attorney 
Like but I don't know him. Hold on. Because I'm on I Exposed channel. Let me see episode 22. Yeah, she's been back for a while. <laughs> but no, let's do this one. Copy. But just remember that song now. Because it's got stuff about the, um, what you call it, about those GoFundMes and shit. Where you at? What's the status of the school? I'm not even going to answer that because I think uh, we know the status. The status of the school is we need money to renovate the school. That's the status of the school. The status is where's your donation? Where's huh? your donation? That's the status. The Black Man's Town Hall meeting. The black Man's Town Hall meeting. Brothers, it's up to us. Black men, it is up to us. Okay? What I want to do is uh, I want to uh, hold a series of regional black man town halls. We can't do every state. I can't do every state. I can't do every city. They're going to Texas. We're going to do about eight of them. And so you guys are going to have to drive to the meeting if you care. Stop being lazy ass Negroes who only come to something if it's in your town. Stop being lazy ass. Say what? They had oh, your yeah. avatar. That's the corner. When he turned that camera around, everybody saw the landfill that is his mama's basement. Oh, shit. Yeah, bags in there with dust on them an inch thick. As Negroes who will only attend something if it's in your city. Okay? See, the man, first man, rule of revolution is inconvenience. The first rule of activism is inconvenience. Okay, this is not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be done on your Facebook or your YouTube. A lot of you Negroes have become beta males. Okay, you've been so dumbed down by social network that you can't do shit without it. Okay, I don't move on social network. You understand? Okay, if you're a lazy ass coon who are not going to come just because it's not in your town, it's not convenient, then stay your ass home and stay on YouTube and keep on watching the YouTube videos. Okay, that's all you're good for anyway, half of you. All you want to do is sit around and watch YouTube videos and you think you're conscious because you're watching con artists on YouTube. Okay, that don't make you conscious. YouTube is entertainment. YouTube is entertainment. So for the brothers out there, what's going to happen is once I find the first eight venues in the eight locations, the eight regions that I'm going to hold the meetings, I'm going to go ahead and confirm with those eight places. All right. So if you know of a place that we can use that is free or low cost. We got all these churches. We should be able to find a couple churches that'll let us hold a free meeting for black men in their church. We got all these churches. We should be able to find a couple churches, all right, where we can hold free meetings for black men at little or no cost, all right? So and I just wanted to point out, he always wants somebody to do something for him for free while he want to charge everybody. He literally just said, so wherever you are, that's what the cash at, right? He said he took the money out the cash app and put it in a money market account that he couldn't touch for five years. But then he also said that he couldn't take the money out the cash app. Make it make sense. Yeah, that's amazing. Let me know what you can find. Okay, wherever you are, community center, church, theater, beware of publicly owned spaces. Beware of publicly owned spaces. I really don't want to do it in a school. I really don't want to do it in a library. I don't want to do it in anything like that because that's public property. That means the FBI, CIA will buck it. We will not be alone. White folks will be able to walk in. We won't have any privacy. If it can't hold 500, we can't use it. If it can't seat 500 black men. Did he just say because the FBI, CIA will bug it? Yes. Nigga, they be bugging people's houses. It don't matter where you at. They want to bug you. They going to bug you. Pretty much. This Go is ahead. just justification, bro. Yeah. We can't use it. Okay, 300 is too small. I get more than that for my lectures. Three, 300 is too small. I get more than that for my lectures. Okay, we need at least five. A five-seater, I prefer a thousand-seater. Okay, we need at least five. I prefer... A thousand seater your cell phones will be taken from you you will not be allowed to have any electronic devices in the meeting because some of you are coons some of you are coons you will not be allowed to have any electronic devices in the meeting because some of you are coons 
Okay, your only reason for coming is to report back to the black bourgeoisie and the white power structure. Okay, thank y'all for the donations. This is for our sons. We gonna build heaven on earth at the Fred Douglas Marcus Q. Keep the donations coming in. Keep the donations coming in. Personal donations to Dr. Umar, you can do dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Personal donations to Dr. Umar, you can do dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. All right, but for the school, school always come first. Dollar sign FDMG school. Let's tap in for a few. That's how that's rocking out. Say what now? I say he got more than one cash game? Yeah, he getting them, they get shut down all the time, B. Oh, uh, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Keep them donations coming to the yeah. FDMG Academy. Keep them donations coming. Cash.me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Cash.me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Cash.me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Or mail them in. P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware, 19809. Get those donations up. I just deposited $4,000 in donations today. Where you at? What's the status of the school? I'm not even gonna answer that because I think uh, we know the status. The status of the school is we need money to renovate the school. That's the status of the school. The status is where's your donation? Where is your donation? That's the status. Come back to the queen. We're gonna come back to the queen. I got some rose courts for all the queens. I got some rose courts for the queens. I keep the rose courts. Keep my love for black women strong. Put the love courts. Put the rose courts right on my heart my love for all the beautiful black sisters you know going strong so this is for the black women out there the pink rose quartz. my love for sisters i rub on this and i meditate on black women i rub on this and i meditate on black women keep the love for the queens if she ain't african she can't thank you say what now i say he meditate on black women translation i smack my mom get black women <laughs> yeah basically Mm -hmm. Bahamas, November, stand up. Bermuda, I think we're going to do Bermuda in the fall. Stand up. My deepest apologies to my Hartford, Connecticut family. My deepest apologies to my Hartford, Connecticut family. I have to postpone Sunday's lecture. I have to postpone Sunday's lecture in Hartford, Connecticut. El Haj Malik El Shabazz's birthday, 94th solar return of the greatest since Garvey, El Haj Malik El Shabazz. I have to postpone my visit to Hartford this coming Sunday. My deepest apologies, brothers and sisters in Hartford. That was going to be a debut, my first time in town. No worries, we will still make it happen. No worries, we will still make it happen. If you bought a ticket, all you have to do is email me that ticket with your PayPal email address. Email me the ticket, Dr. Umar Johnson at Yahoo. What man is it? With your PayPal that. email address. Yeah. And I will refund your money. Or, or. Say that again. I say, uh, if you can't put it in the chat, we still got 30 minutes. Mm hmm. You can keep playing that, though. This shit's funny. Or you could come to Philadelphia. You could come to Philadelphia the last Sunday in June. Baltimore, two hours from DC. Come to Wilmington. All my black mothers out there struggling with your kids in the school. If you're not in Wilmington, you don't care. Black fathers out there struggling with your children in the school. If you ain't in Wilmington, you don't care. I'm going to teach you the law. You're going to learn how to read a psychological evaluation and evaluate it. You're going to learn how to put the IEP together. Who's coming to Wilmington? And you will get a free tour of the FDMG Academy. And you will get a free tour, tour of the FDMG Academy. Who's coming to Wilmington? I got my EFA sword. My sword of EFA. And I got my sword. Of what people don't realize is anybody who's been in special aid or had an IEP knows how to put one together. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be a psychologist or, you know, 
or whatever he calls himself, to be able to put an IP together. That's all I want to say. Of Ochoa, the energy of the track. Because I'm tracking the right people for FDMG. I'm tracking the money we need for FDMG. I'm the throne. We're going to build the school. And once we open up the school, then I'm going to put the two queens on their throne. We're going to build the school. And once we open up the school, I'm going to put the queens on the throne. Okay? Make sure y'all donate to the school. Thank you to everybody who's been donating through the Cash App. Thank you to everybody who's been donating through the Cash App. We just cashed out $2,300 today. Get your donation. If you're on Facebook right now, we need a donation. Dollar sign FDMG school. Put your money where your mouth is. Stop acting like you pro black, whatever the hell that is. Stop acting like you conscious. Stop acting like you woke and you not donating to the future of black boys. Get on your damn phone right now and cash at black boys. Cash.me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Do it right now. I'm going to call your name out. Donate right now and I'm giving you a shout out. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Do it right now. And I'm going to shout you out if you make a donation on the Cash App right now. I'm going to shout you out. I don't care. If you can only afford $5, give us $5. You only got $10, give us $10, okay? FDMG school. Cash dot me. FDMG school. Cash dot me slash FDMG school. Cash. Uh -huh. I ain't saying nothing. Oh, she didn't talk to me. Oh, I thought you had said something, Remy. Oh, uh, I didn't say nothing. Oh, okay. Dot me slash. Dollar sign FDMG school. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Cash Say what? Uh, did, is, is this the video repeating it or he? Yeah, that's him. Oh my god. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. It's real important All right? To no, sir. This doesn't go in my bank account. It goes into the school's account, my brother. You thought it was stuck, Okay? Yeah. My cash app is dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. If you want to donate to my other works, you go to dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. But this is connected to the FDMG Academy account. I would not steal from the future black boys. I would not steal from the future of black boys. I would not steal from the future of black boys. Go ahead and cash at me right now. Cash at Let me see if I get a cash. I'm not talking no more till I get a cash at. I better get a cash app for the school right now. Shout out to Frank Ross. $20. Good looking out, Frankie. Shout out to Frankie. Frankie came through. Dallas Webb, $20. Shout out to Brother Dallas. Let's keep going. Let's keep the black power going. There can't be no black power without the black dollar. Who coming through next? Who coming through next? Shout out to Frankie. Shout out to Dallas. So Who coming you. through next? Come on. I need three more. I get five of them. I'm going to start. I'm going to get into my lesson. I get five of them. Shout out to Sister Felicia Gibson. $30. Appreciate you, sweetheart. Sister Felicia, $30. That's three. Come on, y'all. Come on, where are all those people who claim they Dr. Umar's? Troy Gooden, $5. Shout out to you, brother Troy. He may have only had 10 and he gave me half of that. Pamela Brooks, $25. Shout out to sister Pamela Brooks for $25. I'm not going to say your last name because I don't know if y'all are. Uh, look, Ebony, $50 for FDMG. Shout out to Ebony. That's what I'm talking about. Who Ebony coming next? next? Who coming next? Who coming next? Come on, let's. Translation. Well, no, I'm talking to you. Translation. I'm not saying another motherfucking word till y'all send me five cash apps. I need to get out my papa free. Right. Well, he got his mama out his mama crib because he got evicted. Yeah. 
oh shit. Now how you collecting yeah. the first one was four thousand, second one was two thousand. That's six thousand dollars. You still asking for money? Six thousand. Yeah, the first video he was like, No, I'm talking about in this video. Oh yeah. He, he said the first time he said he paid, he cashed out four thousand. And then the second time he said he cashed out two thousand. That's six thousand mm-hmm. dollars one, one day, and you still telling them to yeah, cash yeah. out? Yes. That's fucking crazy. Big and ass. That's all he do. Finesse me snipes. Yeah, that's that's beyond. Keep going. Man. This is for Black Book. Sister Pam, twenty five dollars. Shout out to Sister Pam. Come on, you. Reva sent me a dollar. Reva artist, one dollar. She may have only had two. Oh, wow. Even if she did, that's cool. I forgot. I forgot about that. He used to get mad at people when they send him something. Fine, next time, make it 20. Just don't shit. Right. That is fucking crazy. See what, we got 30 minutes left? Yeah, I uh, I found the uh, the one with the lady. It was just her. Mm-hmm. Unless you got something else. Um, not right now. I'm still going through stuff. Uh, but I am gonna tip off and get me something to eat because I surely is hungry. Mm-hmm. My medicine and finally kicked in. Whatever, do it. Mhm. But I'll be back. Uh, still here. If somebody more more time, because man's at heart got broke by the mechanic. Uh, right. Violin right. music in the background when they called you man's it. I don't think man's it. Oh, he loud. just put it and gave you the time stamp: right. six minutes thirty-seven seconds. Okay, I'm gonna stay up in case you still up. I'll be back in a minute. It ain't gonna take long. Hold up till I get the exact spot. To being able to perpetuate the scam for 10 plus years. Hello, this is Kia Green. Back at you with some exclusive information about this Dr. Umar Johnson. Right now, we're looking at the Checkmate, Instant Checkmate. website. This is Umar Abdullah Johnson. He's 44. This is his post office box right here that he loves to use. This is his a symbol that he used for the Academy. And all this in here is his information. He's 44. This is him, right? Okay, this is his personal information right here. This is Umar Abdullah Johnson, 44. His birthday is August 21st, 1974. He's a Leo, Big Papa, as he calls himself. These are all his aliases. He made all Leo look terrible. This is Umar. All- we don't all act like that, y'all. I'm a Leo, and I don't act like this. Uh, R. Abdullah Johnson. Now, the biggest one I see, this is pretty heavy right here. April 7th of 2018, possession of cocaine in DeKalb County, Georgia. Oh shit, he was calling Hector too for the play balls. Cocaine, you know what I do, baby. Yoo-hoo. Dr. Roxell. Cocaine. Hold on. <laughs> In honor of Umar.
I'm probably gonna have to cut it out, but fuck it. It's time to rock so get for this slop. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, baby. I got something to do. Guess what? Okay. Yeah! You know what I do, baby, and I'm doing it. Snorting cocaine. Hey, Jelly Hot Dog. Guess what I just did? Cocaine. He didn't even answer. Hey, she shine boy. Wanna check me out? Do some of this here. Cocaine. Hey, Mr. Zoo Animal. Check this out. Cocaine. Hey, little boy with the balloon. Check this out. Cocaine. Don't tell nobody. Hey, Mr. Police. Uh oh. That's my part. Just tell nobody. Call the church in Chicago. Tell them. I got the uh, real life dude too. The dude that uh, dress up like him in real life. He's like, don't tell nobody. Got in trouble for having coke up in DeKalb County, Georgia. Umar. Abdullah Johnson, 44, got in trouble for having cocaine, a possession of cocaine, April 7th, 2018. And everybody's saying this is the psychologist that's supposed to be opening up this school in Delaware for boys. Then back in 2003, criminal attempt, criminal trespass and entering structure. Oh my goodness. That explains all the sniffing and snorting. Got paraphernalia up there. In 09 of December 8th, in possession of controlled substance by per not regular. Well, controlled substance, that's drugs. And isn't this the time that he was talking about uh, getting money from people and opening up a school? Umar Abdullah Johnson, 44, did this back in 09. This is some exclusive information here. Back in 2000, fugitive from justice. 2003 oh, criminal right. attempt of trespassing yeah, yeah. actual wow 2012 aggravated assault so that's why when he gets angry he goes off 2012 endangering welfare of children oh. 2009 possession of controlled substance him having that that cocaine and three, that's three drug charges and endangerment of children automatically disqualifies this man to run a goddamn school. He goes off. 2012, endangering welfare of children. 2009, possession of controlled substance, more drugs. With a child offense in 2012. April 18th of 2013, yeah, retail theft. For the highly intelligent and amazing orator that Umar Johnson is, he is on demon time, and he is an enemy to the black community. Your lasting impression of Omar Johnson should be what you see in this video here. I'm coming. Let me get up. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Take your time. Let me turn this heat down. He always hot and sweating and sniffing. That's a sign of cocaine. Multiple offenses. Well, Stevie, uh, you want more time? To cash up into PayPal with the Venmo. My baby was sleeping in the bed. Got oh, wow. I'm coming. Let me get up. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> All right. Take your time. Oh my god. Let me turn this thing down. Oh, like I do in them Pharaoh, them GD Little Spoon videos. That's uh Death Clock or something. No awkward. My baby was sleeping in the bed, gotta go way off. It's on, I'm uh, coming. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, take your time. Oh wow. How do you think nobody would hear that shit? Baby was sleeping in the bed. Got to go way off. I'm coming. Let me get up. Wait a minute. <laughs> all right. Take your time. Let me turn this heat down. And then he automatically got hot.
Did the automatic? We got yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely, he definitely snorted the line. <sighs> My baby was sleeping in the bed. Got to go way off wow. to the kitchen. And then look, 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 look what he did when he sat down. Go I way see. off to the kitchen. Smoke a when he sat down. My baby was sleeping in the bed. Got to go way off to the kitchen. Run those donations. Where those donations at? Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. Run them donations. Wow. Cash dot me slash dollar sign FDMG school. It's a movement. Yeah, Hector out there getting it. He definitely out there getting it. These niggas is called Hector all day. As soon as he run out, hit the cash app, hit the PayPal. Are you sick of having issues with your webinar? You got 20 minutes left. There's enough time to watch this lady. Hey ladies, oh this is what we have to do for our kings. Look, the back of the neck. See, ladies? This is what we have to do for our kings. Look, the back of the neck. Smith, you see? The back of the neck, the ears. And then yeah, look. he definitely getting lit with that money. <laughs> they gonna get ah, they got I'm in the back of the backboard, family. And nigga Lil, what's up? And you can't have a clingy chick like that around you. You need to snort a line every five minutes. That's probably why you got rid of her. Yo, you got to end that. <laughs> 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 you trolling that. You really out here working. Yes. 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 Look at this. Erase it. Oh, where you got that from? Use that to erase the queens who don't know how to keep their mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> erase them, fellas. Yo, let's do that. We doing the work, FDMG, King Kong Consciousness. It's all about the work. She do like Wait a minute, Miss now Piggy. I gotta wipe my face off. Oh, yes. Uh, she do look like Miss Piggy. <laughs> she do look like Miss Piggy. Make sure, look ladies, look. <laughs> They cleaning up the glass. <laughs> they gonna get you. Gonna Who is this woman wiping on the prints? Look, Anaya A. Period. Five Who five is five. this woman in the gym? Yes. Wiping off our prints. With a cute hat on. Yep. A dress and a you know why? Because I gotta do the work. I gotta do the work. It don't matter how we look. Just do the work, lady. You gotta do the work. If the world's most requested black scholar can still clean. Right. I save children for a living. I can still come and clean. I travel the world raising the consciousness for a living, but I can still come and clean. Who are you not to clean? Jesus said the purpose of life is to serve. The purpose of life is to serve. Somebody said, is you single? You got another admirer. Oh my God. Look, I'm only ready for a king. She's only ready for a king. He gotta, be a kid. he gotta be six foot tall. Yeah. He gotta be Shut up. Clean. Shut up. 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 Y'all heard that? Now, if you guys are ready, we can have a conversation. But I really want y'all to understand it's not really about that, but it's really about uplifting the brothers for real. But you've got to be ready for a queen like me, though. What? Let me get another napkin, huh? Would you like me to wipe your forehead again? When I come back down. Okay. Is she a potential wife? Oh. <laughs> tell her how, tell she said, mind your business. 
She oh, known me for 10 years, but only seen her three times. Wow, you're gonna put my business out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna compete with these women out here. I already told you that. These women, ladies, wait, wait, wait. Do you have any you know it. Listen, ladies, have y'all ever been in a room with this brother where there's a bunch of females? Anaya wasn't ready to go to jail. I could not do it. All these chicks pushing me out the way. I'm only five feet tall. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for that. But women, when you find your king, remember there's a lot of women that are out there ready to snatch that brother from you. Get ready, ladies. It's war out here. That's all I gotta say. Hmm. We're not doing this cold life thing either. Hmm. Hmm. She not. She says she can't be a cold wife. Nope. Say it slowly with me, y'all. <laughs> That's Bob Smith over there. He's gonna put the murals up on the wall. So he's already working on the strategy right now. We're about to get the gym popping. Three on three basketball tournament for the boys and girls. When is that? When is that? Three on three basketball tournament. Three on three basketball tournament for the boys and girls, September the eleventh. We're getting ready. I might gotta dunk on somebody. Yeah. Me and big ass ain't getting off the ground. Yeah, That'll so be it for now. How we look? We look great, King. We look great. Uh, How you feeling? Good? I'm feeling good. Yeah. This was a good day. Full moon in Capricorn, which is all about order, structure, getting it ready. Mm -hmm. Wipe my face off. Look, he said, wipe his face off. Ladies, <laughs> this is what you got to do. Ow. God damn. Mm-hmm. See, ladies? Rough as shit. what we have to do for our kings. Look, the back of the neck. Smith, you see? The back of the neck, the ears. And then look. Is she rough as shit? I'm like, lady, never mind. Give me, give me, the, give me the paper towel. You punching me all in the face. Come on, man. Yo, Mr. Woman, you mess with Bigger, bigger, bigger. Right. Hector didn't hit him off with an eight ball that fish give. Got him sweat. Look, he said wipe his face off. Ladies, <laughs> this is what you gotta do. Ow. Mm -hmm. See, ladies? This is what we have to do for our kings. Look, the back of the neck. Smith, you see? The back of the neck, the ears. And then look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they gonna ah, get Baba Smith. You need to do this umbrella. You know, like the thing in uh, coming to America. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay. Let me get the other side. Hold on. Let me make sure this side is good. Wait, wait. Look, see, I didn't even get that side, ladies. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, ladies? Wait. Oh, it's not even on you right now. You didn't even show them. It's not, look, ladies. I forgot the other side. See, when you're taking care of the man, you have to make sure everything, everything. I know I'm extra, but he told me to wipe him down. See, ladies. Sometimes you gotta be extra, cause you know what? Honestly, while you saying that, the man needs the attention too. We can't just be up here like whatever. You know what I mean? He wants the attention and he wants the love and he needs a queen by his side that's gonna do the work. Say what now? Ah, right. The feds just ran up in Puffy Crib. Oh wow. You know, you're educating the women, but at the same yeah, time, yeah, 10 minutes, you're right. an exception for one thing. What? Why is that? Why? The poor wife. Oh, oh Lord, yeah. here we go. Because mm -hmm. I cannot imagine how, in a situation, right, with somebody like him, for example, yeah. or like with yourself, you're well educated, you're charismatic, you're charismatic, you guys are both black men that are very strong and amazing and powerful. The reason why I couldn't do the co wife thing is because I want that man for myself. I understand there's a shortage of men. I have not discounted that by one second. However, as a black female, our main hope is that we find somebody that cares for us and that takes Somebody said you're going to get jumped at the block party by the hey, other queens. Yo. Continue. <laughs> yo. Don't jump me, ladies, because I fight. I'm a Zoe. I'm a Haitian woman. Yo. Um, yeah, Osiris yeah. is right. She they say lying? homeland security. No, he's not. They say homeland security is raiding Diddy, his Los Angeles house. It's on TMZ. Shit, I might have to come back. 
Right. It just happened like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, we only got 10 minutes left in this, you I don't think it's much info yet. All it says yeah, is that's that why I said I'm gonna wait till wait till uh get some more information. Yeah, like, it probably ain't gonna be nothing till like tomorrow for that. They gonna be there's gonna be news, but it ain't gonna be no information, is what I'm saying. Okay, so Genius say it's live. Let me see what I can find on the computer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Let's talk about Kiss new creator and. There it is. <sighs> oh, so Genius just dropped the link. That's how you get in and out without going through the actual house itself. But you can see they still have uh, personnel there on scene. Every, every house, there's three properties that I would say on this big piece of property. They all have uh, some some sort of uh, somebody there oh, just making sure that there isn't anything Miami being taken too. or anything moving in and out and or another person in that area. But that main house, there's still a number of folks uh, that do, like armored uh, personnel that we've seen go in and have not seen come out. But there's some of those... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, not wearing the gear, and those are the that first group that made their way in. They were here originally. They came with the uh, with the armored trucks. They did not make their way into the property. They waited outside, and now they are actually making their way to that front door, which shows you that it, their progress is being made. And of course, we were keep keeping an eye on the uh, as we call them. And it is what they are. The suits down there, I'm sure those are the ones that are pretty much running the show or where all the evidence is going to go to well, in the they end. They're still closet, outside, closet, so that shows you that uh, they're going to be waiting. If they already hit Miami and L.A., New York is next. Uh, We only got nine minutes left in this, uh, you know, so I'm going to have to come back. I guess yeah, change your title to would Puffy's House Rated and put a timestamp in the description box. Yeah. So people won't thank you clickbaiting. Five hours, 52 mm. minutes. Uh to say when they find something those are the guys that are going to make their way in and actually looking at and uh, taking things from this home but right now that's still that process i wouldn't even think has actually even started yeah absolutely and it's going to take a lot of time that is a huge mansion to begin with and then I it depends on what you're looking for it could be <laughs> as small as a hard drive or as big as boxes exactly. and boxes full of evidence well, or they information they're trying to collect and gather and where all of that information <laughs> is just like epstein they say he had an electronics room where everything was recorded at and shit. yeah i remember so Gene Hill said that. yeah so it ain't like they gotta go through and pick up hard they go straight to the communications room and that's where everything is that's crazy. Because remember, somebody else coming. said Diddy had cameras all around during the parties. Is also the tricky part. I mean, think about going into a stranger's home. You don't know where they put things. And so it could be very hidden. It, so this whole process, uh, it could take a lot of time in terms of them finding what they made entry for. So this is a methodical lengthy process and again this is taking place right here in Holmby Hills as well as his Miami home and I'm sure law enforcement officials from both sides in Miami and LA are certainly talking to each other as they go through this as well but still no sign of Sean Combs himself we don't know where he is uh, it's not clear if they're looking for him he may be in New York as Haley was mentioning on the ground there but uh, okay. clearly uh, this was in nah. all a very peaceful raid as they made entry and right now as they are making their way in and out of the property as they conduct their search but a search that is just beginning as you see those suits the investigators uh taking their time making sure everything is well, done properly That's and we we not in know. terms of what oh, they're looking for this ain't the feds this is the department of homeland security what the fuck did diddy do 
it, 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 I think somebody said human trafficking. For at this point, again, we have a lot of questions that we just don't know the answers to at do. this point. We do uh, have someone on the line right now, back. Hal Kemper. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, if you can make light of what we're looking at in terms of Homeland Security making entry into the Holmby Hills mansion of Sean Combs. Uh, Sandra, this is a Homeland Security investigations that uh, appears to be on site. Uh, what they're probably looking for is, well, I should say in, in general, uh, they look at uh, human trafficking and uh, sex trafficking got the being a component right. of that. And of course, there's been a, uh, uh, some rather uh, big civil suit stuff that's taking taken place, but also the New York case uh, where the statute of limitations uh, basically had been rescinded, uh, allowing them to look back many years in this case. Uh, part of it was there's a, there have been uh, allegations that uh, that he was drugging uh, young women, uh, oh, so that there shit. was, uh, you know, which which you know certainly implies that like it was rape right uh, that had taken place at some at some point. Uh, but I think what HSI that? is probably looking at is the interstate aspects of it. If there was any online activity that could have taken place, and uh, and that's usually where HSI would have a jurisdictional interest. Homeland Security investigations being part of the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, looking at the interstate side, mostly online and whatever took place across state lines. And of course, you know, he travels all over the place. So uh, I'm sure they're looking at him potentially transporting women uh, around the country and uh, and whether that was tied to a larger criminal activity. Yeah, definitely Homeland Security involved in any interstate, as you mentioned, and international uh criminal activity here. So what exactly yeah, do you think like everyone is looking yeah, for at this not, point? We saw know. such a, a large number of law enforcement make entry. Well, it, it's a combination of both uh, local uh, and federal. And it's, it, from what I understand, the local law enforcement has the specific lead at each one of these yeah. locations with the federal law invest, uh, federal investigators coming in uh, with them in concert. What they're probably looking for is any evidence that they can gather, uh, certainly any images, pictures, uh, video, anything online. I have no doubt that they're going in and, and gathering up any electronic media to include uh, any laptops, uh, any any uh, flash drives, anything uh, that, they, that he might have that might support whatever allegations, whatever reasonable suspicion that they have uh that led to this uh these search warrants you know they just to get a search warrant like this uh requires a a, a, a you know a rather rather uh, uh you know a certain substantial legal barrier has to be our legal argument or legal uh, uh litmus test has to be met just to get them to sign off particularly knowing with somebody with uh, with means like this, that if they go into their home, they're gonna be met with some very capable lawyers on the defendant's part to uh, challenge what was ever done. And everything they do there is gonna be challenged. So you can imagine not only did they have to uh, work with the uh, district attorney and potentially assistant US attorneys in arranging this, but they also are being very careful on how they're gathering any evidence, realizing that just about everything they do on site uh, will potentially be challenged in court by his attorneys. Absolutely, and speaking of his attorneys, we did reach out for comment. We have not yet heard back. Obviously, we want to hear his side. Uh, for Sean Combs's part, he has denied any allegations regarding sex trafficking and any investigation into that. But yeah, this this could take a lot of time in terms of uh, collecting that hard drive and flash drives and any computers they may find. Like I was mentioning before, Hal, it's, it's very difficult to know where someone would have that or would hide that if they were trying to hide evidence. And we're looking at a big, big mansion here. Uh, before we get back to you, Hal, let's go to- This is what happens when you have a new, it's hard to find that kind of stuff. Not if it's plugged in, it ain't, they got tools for that. Right, but uh, they have that's why I'm gonna stop it at mm -hmm. Go ahead, finish what you're saying. They have devices where they can see where you know, infrared and electricity. They can oh, see yeah, where it's yeah, running yeah. at. If he, he got cameras like that. that, he got a server room. If he got a server room, that room pulling more power than anything else in that damn house. 
Right. Well, all right, sis. We stopping it right here. I got a rule. I'm going to come back and uh, do a, a live on this in like an hour or two. He going to jail now. Yep. All right, y'all. Scan the area from outside in the sky.